All right. That should be much, didn't she? It's time to continue working my way through Limgrave. So what we're doing, and that was a DLC loading point, I think. Big thing is, I don't know precisely where to go next. I think if I recall correctly. Did a bit of looking, and I think I totally missed the point I was supposed to go to in order to get the sorcery staff from here. It's possible. Just gotta leave these ruins, but getting that staff would be nice. But that said, I should be able to get another staff soon, which should be also quite useful for me. Just in general, it was said to be over around this way. Quote unquote behind some ruins. I might like to get some Rilla fruit. Maybe. They're not quite right there. Behind some ruins and some. Oh, it was this guy. Okay, who well, I just did not see. And give me. Yeah, there we go. We got our first actual casting tool for sorceries. There we have it. Let's equip that thing. Finger seal plus one. Sink a day is not useful for me at all at this point. Sin staff, countless for casting sorceries, sad wasp grace, must equip to cast them. Same kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Interesting. I think, actually, then. Someone sees me, and I don't quite like that. Is it the wolves? It might be the wolves. Well, then, let's run up. Ooh, okay. Thanks. Burn, burn. And how can I... Hmm. Luckily, I can back out of the way a lot more easily than I might have expected. Okay, cool. Burn. Ooh, alright. Hmm. Don't have a... Oh! That actually puts me overload. Huh. Yeah. We're gonna take that off. And burn, burn, there we go. Keep on moving. Should be a decent, yeah. So, I went to the Ever Jail around here. Some ruins around here that I also need to get. It's mostly around just sort of this side of everything, but... No, not like that, not like that. But, hmm, a lot of things in this. It's a shack, I think, of some sort. Get some more stuff. Did not want that flower. Just want to... Oh, the crabs were down here. In general, I'd like to just make sure that I see everything with possible note. Hello there, hello. And it's just a turtle. Oh, a golden rune. Hello there. Here you are, here you are, let's... Switch out. Take you down. Oh, but I should probably, presumably, change out my spells to put just Glintstone Pebble on or something. If I've got it and I'd like to be using it. Come on, come on. This way, and uh, nothing seems to be around there. Just gotta thoroughly explore all the terrain. Mm-hmm. That... That's just where I was previously. That does not quite work. Go over here, and... Yeah, we can get around that way. Then we've gone past these guys. Yep, that carriage is being drawn over there. Anything over here, or... Nothing, or... Well, there's... Something on a chair over here, and that's... Oh! First Somber Smithing Stone. That could be useful for some things. I know that there's supposed to be a cave somewhere around here. I will take a note of that on my own time. So a Knight's Cow over here who I'd also like to take out, but that will again come eventually. Some birds, probably good to take out sooner or later, and alright, cool. Can I, well, not if I totally miss. Hmm, interesting. Keep on moving then. Keep on moving. Okay. 
Okay, let's kill. Uh, never mind. Should have used an actual spell then. Anything around this way other than that, or. Hmm. Big thing is, if I go over here by Agil Lake. Actually, I'm not allowed to go down into Murkwater. First thing. Oh, but actually, this is where Nera use would be. In that case, I should go back to the first step. Poke around. Actually, maybe I could go back to Fokiro's grave. It. Well. So the question is. How soon do I want to try to take on the. Queen Rots over there, who would give me the gold scarab? So, Murkwater Cave, for one, would let me. Eh. Go and take on Nereus, get Reduvia now. And then. Do some other stuff. Okay, cool. Some flight pinions. Thanks, and. did not quite work. But what we want are the foul feet. Eventually, at least. Oh, this is farther down than I expected. The big thing is, is that. Somewhere. That Yura is somewhere around here, and that we should talk to him. A bit of questline related content. Let's just see. These Runar crucifixions are not exactly pleasant. It's not where you want to go. Hello, then. Hi. And. Ooh, alright. And that. Hmm. A. An actual Glintstone Pebble would be good here. Right now, we don't even have any kind of projectile. Not meaningfully. Normal smithing stone. Hmm. Hello, then. Hello. Jump and slam. Then. Now there should be over there. We may as well take out this flock of bats. Hello, and sl Ooh, well, not if we miss entirely. One, two, or... Hmm. It's not bad, but... Thank you, and yep, we got a flask back. Cool. Hello, giant dragonfly. We will simply move on. Magic is useful, but it's not the only thing. So somewhere in the ruins around this way is going to be somebody to talk to, I think. Well, well, okay. Down there. Some other stuff. Hopefully there should also be a grace nearby, but I'm not holding my breath. Oh, there's a grace. Let's do that. And that out. Just a flight pinion. Okay, cool. Roa and... Hello. Touch that grace, and this is Gil South. Yeah, yeah. Seaside Ruins. In that case, we don't need that at the moment. Just take Glintstone Pebble. Sick of dealing damage from greater range and a different type than what we were previously dealing. So if I recall correctly, Yura is over this way. Roll is good. Hello. Hi. Uh, you must be newly tarnished. In fact, you do well to stay kind of see you. Like fledgling. A dragon roosts there. Funky. And it's as fearsome as it is majestic. Uh. So, Having fun. Stay clear. Okay. Don't give. Turn back. Don't. Okay. It'll come in a bit. I guess we could go and counter Nereus if we felt like it over this way. Yura. Hunter of Bloody Fingers. Alright then. Move over. These patches would give me the gold pickled foul foot, which would be nice to have. Increasing rune acquisition. And, ooh, alright. Ooh, that was actually really intimidating. Cool. One, three, four. Nice. Enjoy death. Thank you. Oh, and that guy was solitary enough that we got something just for killing him and him alone. Funny. Alright. And that's a way to take down Dragonfalls if I really feel like it. Something to pick up, or this is 
An Arterial Leaf. Those things are rare. That. Exceedingly rare to find. Fixable in veins, vein pulse pelts. Serves the blood, providing an enlivening, enlivening effect. Alright. Over here will be a decent weapon for one. We'll check. Flowers and, but what I really want is row of fruit to make. <sighs> Come on. Oh, interesting. You stagger easily. Insert land octopi. The arterial leaves can be used for making special food, among other things. But the big deal is I'd be able to make foul feed, which would allow me to... Oh, all right, and from this side, okay. Yeah, but this greatsword actually does have a higher crit modifier. That's what I was seeing before. And thanks, cool. So poison. All right. Stamp could be good on those guys then. Maybe we'll see. There is some corpses hung. What if I actually can I get that? Is that gonna range? Oh yeah, will. Who is this? It says oh, just a normal skeleton. Okay, cool. Break you down like that. And then, this is amusing. That said, presumably they would drop down behind me if I got far enough in. Maybe. Yep, they did do that. At least one of them did. Fire grease. And a mushroom. And there you are, yeah. Well, we took one of you down, which was nice. But, ooh, alright. And the fall damage also took you out a decent deal. We gotta hit you again. This is easier than the other... Skeleton resurrection mechanics that have been in Souls games, but it's still not all that easy. And a skeletal knight. Okay, I did not know that was an option. Ooh, okay. And die, die, and ooh, okay. Come on, come on. Ugh. Some of this. Well, I'm glad that you don't have to go crazy. How are you doing? We are playing Elden Ring. As I'm sure you can see. I'm working my way to a dungeon in order to meet a merchant. It's a skeleton's just dropped down over here. Oh, fair. I... You have been busy. Well, if you have to, you have to. There's no shame in that. And... Ooh! Oh, the kick. The reach on this is less than I expected. It's tough. Okay. A little bit more of that. There should be... Someone over here near you should show up soon. I drop a good weapon we can use. The best dagger in the game. Keep on moving. By the way, thank you for showing up. Get around here, weak foe ahead, yeah. Euro will eventually show up here. Get auto summoned old Kajura ahead. Should be the Urba. Thank you. Then, and then. At the place, or. It's a bit past that, actually. Cave ahead, there we are. So in that case, oh, invaded by Bloody Finger Nereus. Okay, all right. Where are you? Over there. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. Reduvia should be one. Ooh, all right. I. Mm, oh, oh, what? Huh? Oh wow. Hero was summoned, so we should actually wait. Well, that was certainly something. All right. Huh, okay. We're a bit far then. I guess, I wonder if Euro would have anything to say after getting summoned, even though we haven't actually taken out Nereus yet. I was thinking about taking him on alone, but his DPS is way too high. That's a shame. And Smoldering Butterfly. The fact that I could only get it from the ground, not the air, was actually kind of funky. Well, all right, three raw, nice. How much Roa do I have again now? Got 48, which would be enough for a bunch of foul feet. Three pickled foul feet for one. And yeah, we can just take out the Kaiden Frozen Raisin and that Frozen Raisin. Horseback Fed, Spectral Steed, Frozen Dried, dried Rhymed Roa. 
some better row of fruit that we would get from farther away in the world, up north in the mountaintops, which you can kind of see. You can see over on the top right this little bowl. Okay. Hmm. Keep on moving and see what there is to see. We got up to the top of this little piece of ruin, I guess. I wonder if there would be anything of no... Oh, come on, horse. Thank you. And over... Well... Can we... Well, not like this. That's for sure. Let's go past the skeletons. I don't feel like taking them on a second time. Mushroom would be good for a throwing pot, but at the moment, that's not a real problem. Get some more Roa. Nerea yeah, should show up around here, and we can wait for Yura so we can... Do a two-on-one rather than fight fair. Oh, and yep, this is where he invades. Cool. Can't go in the cave yet. So what that means is... Deal with him this way. Bloody finger narrow use. Hello, then. Hello. Cool, and... Oh, nice. Okay, and... Thanks. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really, really useful. And... Well, we entirely missed. Okay, uh, all right. Thanks. All right, and hmm. bloody finger. You and your cess blood. All right, and deal the last hit. There we are. Thanks. Oh my goodness, Nagakiba is crazy long. Didn't even really notice, and we got the Reduvia. Bloody finger vanquished. Okay, cool. Objective accomplished, you are returned to his world. Hmm. Let's actually just go in and activate, presumably, what would be the grace inside that cave. That Reduvia, we don't have the dexterity or the arcane to wield that yet. Distinctive curved blade, noble servants of the Lord of Blood, rips the flesh as it enters, inflicting blood loss to sickening efficacy. Possessed of its vicious design, perpetually coated in blood. Slash the Wicked Dagger, transforming its never drawing blood stains into airborne blades that cause blood loss, fight rapid succession. And this is... it's really, really good, too. And... Hmm, hmm. Again, can't use it yet. Would probably like to use it, though. It would be really, really good against enemies weak to bleed, a lovable sort. And... It, its name means hangnail in Latin. Okay, so over here I might be able to be able to use it by the time I level up a bit first. So we get a bit of intelligence, a bit of faith. That would be good for now. Can maybe actually go back and level up a few things first. I'll see. The big thing is we need a torch if we're gonna be actually exploring in here guys around, but Patches gives the recipe for the Gold Pickled Foulfoot, which I would like to use in conjunction with a talisman that increases rune acquisition on its own. The Gold Scarab. So what's past here? That's the real question. This is... Oh, oh Yura's past here! So we took down Nereus. Hello. Share of battle. We're talking about that warrior blood. A little. By Cess blood and zealots who stomp for their own, face more of them. Kinship with their ilk remains, manus percuits it, don't your emotions stay or blade. Fate permits. Okay, cool. There's a spirit spring right there. Escape this spot, but. What else is down here, if anything? This is... Oh, more skeletons. Hello. Thanks, thanks. And... Alright. Cool. Okay, I... Nice. There we are. Just one, two. It's sort of fast enough. Feel faster than them, at least. And these are... Oh, more slimes. That's great. And, of course, fire is good to use against them. Mushroom and a glass shard from slimes? Okay. Thanks. Let's check that out. Glass shard covered in dirt, worthless rubbish. 
essentially worthless, sparkles in the light, mistaken for an object of value when seen from afar. Okay. Basically a fake item. Poison bloom, and oh, there you are. Thank you. One, two. Take this down, and so what else is in here, then? That's the question. Oh, and you drop more runes, because you've got golden eyes. Nice. And that... About double normal, I think. It's not all that much, but keep on looking. Hello. One, two. One standard flask would probably be good to always have. Time for fire, but guess who doesn't really have much in the way of fire now? Me. Okay. Because I use... Yeah. Well, I guess we can try some of this. For all out of fire. Should probably switch some flasks and... Hmm. Another great dragonfly head. Great. Well, these guys are just very, very resistant to any kind of physical damage, but very weak to fire. You know, I might actually use that fire grease then. Sending materials? Only for a short time. Okay, cool. Oh, alright. Thanks, thanks. Oh, but it's since it's not pure fire damage, it's actually not nearly as much as Catch Flame. It's interesting to me. Alright, cool. Cool. Mm hmm. Okay, alright. Just gonna kill a couple more of these slimes just for fun. Got you. Hello there, hi. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that over there. What is. I actually did not notice that. Okay. Didn't know that door existed, and I wonder what's inside. Yeah, we can just let it hit us. And then, in that case, who is left? Anyone else around here? The big thing is, is that presumably. That would have been an enemy group. But I don't see... Didn't get any flash replenishment. Presumably there might be one more slime, or maybe it just was not tracked in the same kind of way. Either way, I guess... I guess I'll live. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> some golden tears from areas like Storm Hill could also be nice, but... There's just item ahead, and this is good luck. Open, and where are we going? What does this lead to? It's an item, or it's some kind of... Murkwater Catacombs. Alright. Hmm. So, Murkwater Cave and Murkwater Catacombs. Both options. First... Can't do that right now. Hmm, but... Five or so more levels, then I will be able to wield Reduvia. Should probably... Redo that. That over there, Murkwater Catacombs. There's no way down over this way, I think. It's just a fatal fall, no matter how you do it. But, it does not seem like anything. Just leave this spot briefly, but if it's a Catacombs, then in theory, Holy would be really, really good. Just gonna go back to round table hold and oh come on I all right please you've got to be kidding one two die all right thank you thank you slime travel to the table of lost grace and we can buy big things I think I want to level up Reduvia we'll stay relatively competitive for a lot of the game so. Took you for dead. All the same, without your arms then. And melee armament. Slumber smithing stone. This is good. And increase the arcane scaling even more. Yeah, yeah, we can stick with that for now. Bloodhound won't be useful for a while longer, so. Sworn and. Mmm, I do want to wait until I get. Demi Human Queen Staff, because that'll be good for a decent amount of time. And then once I get to 18 intelligence, I'll use a Meteorite Staff instead. It'll make things nice and easy. Hmm. 
big thing is, before any of that, I think I'm gonna go to Murkwater Cave, get the rest of her patches for the foul feet, and then just start using those for any kind of boss. Let's increase the rune acquisition there. Be an idea. For that, I think, let's switch one of our flasks to blue. Just one. Big thing is that if I'm exploring in the open world, I'll need to actually have one of those flasks. Otherwise, I won't be able to replenish it all ever because it's not like I'll get pure mana replenishment, only flask replenishment from healing enemy groups. And that's in crafting items, medicinal boluses, thickets, and elsewhere, and faint light, evergreen. So there are highwaymen around here. Presumably, we should be fine taking these guys on with just our sword. Yeah. Then, torch out whenever we need it. Okay, more cave moss if we feel like it. Oh, hello. One, two. Alright. A dagger and the highwayman set pieces of it. Let's check a dagger. Straight blade, moss and reach and capacity for harm. Jab in rapid succession, devastating critical hits. Former foot soldiers turned to bandits for you, Sagan, Ragged Hood. They literally only show up in this dungeon, nowhere else. Not a single other one. Then item there, and hello. Oh, multiple highwaymen. And, oh, poison, and oh, ouch. One, two, and... Assassin's approach is not what we want right now, then. So there's a lot of poison here. I was not expecting that. In that case, I will rest, switch out for cure poison, then, and go through. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let's get... Oh, but I don't have Cure Poison right now. In that case, then, maybe we go back to Round Table and buy Cure Poison from Corin. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Reduvia. Reduvia, though. That's the thing. Alright, alright. That's the big question. Is when I take on the Queen Rot Knights, do I use Fire or do I use Reduvia? Well, oh, we'll live. Let's get Cure Poison, High Hopes for Tarnish, even if they should be wounded or fall. So need to fight for their duty. Alright. Lots of good and useful stuff. Order Sean through, and then let's switch out our magic. Arise Spell instead of this, which maybe I could have used that actually. Take Cure Poison. Just in case we get poisoned again, like an idiot. Got Murkwater Cave. Cave and Murkwater Catacombs. I think the death route might be past there, but I'm not sure. Okay. It is interesting that you have to press a shoulder button to specifically choose a double hand, and oh, alright. You held your attack for a lot longer than I would have expected, and oh, when you fall. It drops a bell that alerts people. Oh, that's crazy, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, if you're tossing daggers, I... Oh. Who is coming? And I... Really? Really? Okay. Hmm. One. Dodge. How do I want to do this? One. Two. Um. Oh. guys are actually horrible. But all that does is heal half HP, so I can... Do uh, um. Come on. One. Two, and oh, please. One, two, three, and I maybe want to play this unlocked. One, two, okay, all right. Annoying. Let's get that torch out, and something incredible ahead. This is clear sky ahead. Mushroom, mushroom. This is gonna be a mushroom. It's five mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Use those for throwing pots at least, but still more than a little anticlimactic. So the boss at the end of this area is going to be a guy from other Souls games, actually. From the very first Demon Souls originally. Kind of an informal mascot lover ahead. He's just right through here. Yeah, it's right through here. She had time for friendship, good sort ahead, dastard ahead, but why is it always friend? Yeah. So, if we open that up, he'll come try to fight us. 
Didn't expect a liar. Hmm. Where do I have to go to make him show up? Or you have sending gate. Yeah, he'll try to teleport us to somewhere else. But we can't get him already. I can't leave through there, so the only thing I can do is open this and have to fight him as a result. Fun. And the cloth set. Maybe so. That just talking about the gods is... Oh, goodness. Let's check this. Cloth set, coarse material, commonly worn. It's all... Oh, and an acid... Acid breath. I Okay. Thanks, and... Ooh, interesting. What are you... Oh, you're using perfumes. Okay, funky. I slam and... Okay, all right. Annoying. So how do I want to do this? Maybe I want to run it and use fire? Well, that's decent. Patch as a boss is a funny idea for sure. Hmm, all right, and boom. Oh, okay. I, my lack of durability is certainly an issue, but I, okay, cool. Well, we can just try Glintstone Pebbles on you. Maybe, and... Hmm, how are you gonna block or not for? We can just use this then, and decent damage once we get you to half HP, you'll stop fighting, and cool. Brilliant tears, and nice toss, and this should be decent in terms of getting you down, and cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. Let's accept your surrender. Come around, have you? Rubble for mercy. Re aggro him if we feel like. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Golden rune and the gesture. Rubble for mercy. And no runes. Tarnished like me. Get that wrong. Demi human or some such. Innocent mistake. Not really. Play nice from now on, sure, forgive and forget. What I like about you, the untethered. What is a different different title? Nomadic. Sorcerer and Bandits, paying for my gruel. Showing them the ropes of thievery. Terrifying wounding, washing hands, legitimate shot, don't be a stranger, come next time. Okay. Big thing is. We can get another gesture if we attack him again. For fun. Let's switch this out in favor of Grovel for Mercy. So, we'll have to do that ourselves in order to aggro him again. Punch. It's gonna restart the boss fight. Mm-hmm. Let him take a stand and then use our gesture. Okay, cool. Thanks, and just roll, roll, and... Oh, wow. Oh, I was too slow for that. So if we grovel for mercy, except a surrender. Let's see. Hmm. So get us down to half health and humiliate us. Might actually have to use a Celestial Dew because he did kill us. So the question is, is there going to be a boss gate again now, or what? He's over there, and he should be hostile, presumably. Let's see. One, two. Well, all right, and they don't see us. Okay, okay. Thank you, Patches. And wait, oh... Extreme Repentance. Fawn, Slim, Patches, Emporium. Everything's top-notch. Oh, we already agreed, so we stopped. Okay, about the bandits. Make Quinn break. Splatter's good ones at that. Standard War, Natural Connection. Defeated Army, High and Mighty Lord. Throw it into the rubbish. A chest. Treasure chest, nothing special. Very valuable customer. Some coin. Long time coming. Give and take, give and take. Purchase, and we can just buy those. But what we want is actually... Missionary's cookbook. Eh, none of these are 
Pestering Bloody Finger, a single stone sword key. Shackle is good. These are decent, but we want that. So, this is where we can get the grovel, I think. Okay, it'll take me down. Damage me a little. I just don't want to get hit by a jump attack, is the thing. Hmm, eventually we're going to have to use a gesture to grovel. So, let's try not to die here. And... Hmm. Thanks. Can we ex accept? Accept the surrender, please. What if I grovel? Oh, what if I grovel? Oh, goodness. Can I grovel? Oh, we got extreme repentance. He used the gesture, but he killed us anyway. We did get the gesture, though, which is good. Okay. Extreme repentance. Dogeza uh, in Japanese. So, in that case, let's just... Open that chest. It'll teleport us somewhere. We can get another gesture if we come back, so... Alright. One, two... Yeah. Alright. Let's go back and... Does he have anything special to say now that we surrendered, even though the surrender did not work? Entirely. Hello. Seen the error of your ways. Hmm. Sure. And do you for? Anything we can sell, or mm, nothing we could get for much? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to wait to get this cookbook. Okay. So just teleport us. This will send us back to the entrance. We're at Sinning Gate. This is a trap. Teleporter trap, and yeah. Mm hmm. Another way to miss what. For cheating. I should have known, you skinny little thief. Mm hmm. The gods demand vengeance. Vengeance! Oh, goodness. I like that there's a little cutscene for doing that. And just over here by all the bears, but that's really whatever. Oh, but we actually have to get to another grace in order to actually deactivate to get out of the way of the sending stuff, because otherwise it traps us. That's right. Mm-hmm. Temporarily disables your teleportation. Alright then. Mm-hmm. Just gonna... Go back. Oh, more poop. And... Just rest at a grace over here. Good thing we've been here many times before. It's that grace. And we can just teleport back, tucked in. He'll yell at us for stealing and something like that. We'll yell at him too. Alright then. There we are. Now we can just... Go back to Murkwater Cave. What's that bandit? Funny if the bandit's all de-aggroed, though to be fair. Literally don't understand him. It's not like they could, even if he wanted to, and I doubt he wants to. Alright then. One, two. Amazing! Okay, Highland Gauntlets and oh, he's like alright. And you have been summoned. And okay. Poison bomb. One, two. Dodge. Oh, alright. One, two. Hmm, okay. One, two, three. Just gonna kill all your friends, Patches. Hope you're okay with that. More Highwaymen Gauntlets. Seen those, and yeah. Okay, alright. Those bells ringing, not that it matters now. Okay. We can just talk to you. Get some- oh, well we can buy that cookbook now. Oh, Been way in a flash. That's up what's not rightly yours. Learning experience. See you say, Patches Emporium. My goodness. You really love to hate him. Your vanguards, parry training attacks against them, enemy strike and counter accordingly, weapon is all they need. 
So in Grace Mimic and Gold Pickled Foulfoot. Thanks. The Shackle and the Stone Sword Key are what I would also like to have. So I think we could go and check out the place from before. Well, not from before, but check out. There's some kind of cave over this way that will have. Hmm. The Gold Scarab, which will give me more rune acquisition. Which is going to be very, very useful for me. It's more pretty much free runes. Mm -hmm. Gold fireflies, flight pinions, some other things. Let me just. Queen Rot Knight boss. Knight. Queen Rot Knight in a Stillwater Cave. An abandoned cave, Midwin's Kaled. The map, and that's basically a bit east of here and a little south. Alright. And oh! Well, I'm gonna avoid that for now. Let's just vault over the highway. Find this grace. That crow is not pleasant to see. This is Rockview Balcony. Go down the smoldering highway. Presumably. Nascent butterfly and this is it's rotting, everything rotting scarlet, earth at rest upon Celia Town of Sorcerer, and is nigh for us all. Nice! Okay. Hmm. Come back here later. More consistently, what I want to do right now is just obtain faded early flower. I don't even see that. And I faded early flower. Well, so be it. Gotta get down to around this way. A little bit south of the. It's basically actually directly east of the telescope. Hmm, just gotta find another grace. Yeah. Closer I get, the better. Because I'm definitely gonna die here. Sooner or later. It's a relatively mid game early, mid game area that you can access early game too, but. Hmm. Touch this. Gotta get inside that cave. That scarab and. Kalem ruins. Then, this is interesting, and he's on the other side, and there is our fire tank. But getting a plunging attack on that would be a tall order indeed. Smoldering Highway, I believe, is somewhere around here. Yep, there's another grain, just right on the other side. Now, what is this? What is this, Dark Souls 3? Okay. Cool. We're gonna have to go on the tree branches east of here to, and get to Ben Cave Dungeon, the Smoldering Wall. Hello there, your fingers, your fingers, let me read them. No. Please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Alright. Oh, bless you. Oh, are you Festivals or flowers? Grand festival to make the Star Wars turn. Hard and butt of a flower to be. You enter the heart of the Scarlet Rot. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to. Hmm. Get to the cave would take. Just in the canyon using a tree. Northwest of Celia. Killing from the west, crossing using a tree. Wall tree that spans the canyon. Intrusion moves to the right. That side is not walkable. Okay, cool. More or less east from here. Close enough. Well, alright. If I get past some of these guys and cross that canyon, and oh, big dog. I really do not like that. 
This should be, oh, past that. Abductor virgin. Hmm. Over here, and can I, oh, this is not good. How do I, can you get on here? I, I worry. Hmm. Stay out of the way of that, and this might be where I need to go. Maybe, yeah, there we are. Okay. This, ooh, interesting. Let's cross that canyon. And is this the abandoned cave? Yep, and that wall showed the end of being able to use Torrent, so. Yeah, here we are. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> Big thing is that fire would work on them decently well. I'll just run through here as fast as possible. Pool of Scarlet Rot. Hmm. How do I want to do this? This is a thing. We're rotting. Alright. Cool. Oh! We're already rotted. Great. And... That's all. Yeah. Funky. This big question is... Didn't think there'd be a geyser there doing damage to me. Hmm. Abandoned cave ends. Seek down. Okay. Wait for the bubbling to stop. Yeah. Okay, cool. Said the rot will probably beat us to death. Okay. Don't have anything to cure rot with is the thing. I... Butterfly, Stripstone, Grace, Mimic. Wings, Cocoon for its entire life. It's basically Nickel, Arcane, Butterfly, Rare to Find. I don't have any way to cure Scarlet Rod at the moment. Right, what would Flame Cleanse Me take? Cleanse Me. Flame Cleanse Me. Damage the Tear, Poison Scarlet Rock. Not Trisha Vows, and that's actually really far away. In all Urania. Hmm, maybe I don't need to be here right now. I would love to get the Gold Scarab as soon as possible. Make me a good deal stronger, but... The chance that that simply is not in the cards. I... Can I... Oh, there is... No way around that. Okay, cool. Well, alright. I am... In trouble then. Hmm. So how would I get through this faster? Maybe quick step with a dagger to go through quickly? Hmm. That's how you would do it in Dark Souls 3. A dagger to get through more quickly. Hmm. Dagger with quick step. This could be useful. Hmm. Yeah, that might be what I need to do. Hmm. Well, simply, yeah, this is probably how I need to do this, and just go through, go through. Nice. Okay, cool. It's Aeonian butterfly, and where is? Hmm. Yeah, this is. Gonna be some trouble, I think. Don't quite like that. But actually, if I stay calm, get through here quickly, tarnish, therefore, death, death ahead. Summoning pool now functional. Oh, okay, seek fire. So that's all I had to do, and if I die, I can just come back. You are the Queen of Rots. Or is... Worry of Mage. Oh no, that was the summoning pool, not the Stake of Nerica. So, okay, and keep on running fast and as far as we can. Not fun having to deal with rot, but you know, if it's what I gotta do, it's what I gotta do. Then we just run through as fast as we can, get to ideally the stake of America somewhere. There is one, which there might not be. And oh, a Miranda flower. It's great. Okay, so which way do we have to go in order to actually get to... Oh my goodness, that is not amazing. Thanks, thanks, and... Oh, poison, 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 I hate that. 
I really hate that. And then we run, we keep on running. Hopefully we get to the boss before we die. And that's... Let's just step on through, and is there a steak of Merica, or am I just dead? Come on, give me a steak of Merica. Give me a steak of Merica. I... There's no steak of Merica here. That's funky. Alright, alright, um, okay. Hmm. Any bulluses I could use, or what? This is gonna suck. Really gonna suck. Immunity. Poisons and Scarlet Rot. That could be okay. Maybe. Now that... Oh, and that goes all the way down, but we can... Rest, uh, clear the build up, and then just go. This is gonna last. We're gonna have to go through... Thanks, thank you. Alright. Then we just dash, 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 dash until we can get out of the way of that. Wait for that to go back down, I guess, and we have to go to get the queen rots, so we'll be chilling. Okay, I think that actually worked pretty well. The question is, getting that further cured meat is going to be its own deal. Oh, thank you, thanks. Alright. And just go avoid the geyser. The geyser. Hmm. Big rats, big guys. Gotta avoid that poison. And clear out this place more thoroughly later. Because actually, I probably want to have the gold pick up the foul foot in here for when I actually manage to kill the queen rats, because that will give me a good amount of runes in and of itself. If I can manage. If I can- wait, what? What in the- okay, cool, let's just cure. Kill that and- oh, come on, I- okay, cure poison. This is more than a little embarrassing, but at least I can get those runes back. Hmm, well, alright. Tree of boss runes, go in here. Let me switch out for a- well, a shield won't really be all that useful, though. Frankly, none of these will, but- Try this again, use fire on you, and... Okay, cool, and alright, just... Burn, dodge, okay. Thanks, and... Stay out of the way of you, and one, two... Ooh, okay. And, can I... Take you down, dodge, and... Okay, you're in the pool of rot, and now we have to... Stay out of the way of you, and... We need more... Tears and all, okay, cool. Big thing is, the blessing that you can use is something we cannot allow to happen, and... Oh, come on, you... Mother of... I hate you so much. I actually cannot afford to do this fight right now. Probably not. Damage you. Uh, it's actually horrible. Thanks, thanks. And can I run in? Slam it. Okay. Mm -mm, well. And how did we get Scarlet Rod on us? That doesn't even make any sense. I Okay. What? Immunizing cured meat. Cured meat. <laughs> Missile no solution. Body buff. Super river well. Armor's cookbook. Rilla fruit, sliver of meat, dragonfly head, and smoldering butterfly. And that will be tough. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sea of the Water King. Super river. Well, Waypoint Ruins, Tombs or Cave, so... We try this again, we're gonna be kind of SOL. I... it's worth an attempt, but I'm not holding my breath. One, two, three, four, five. Wait for the rot to go down. Okay, cool. This is... possible... oh, well, I should have... I need more fire. Is the thing. Gotta burst down... One of the guys using that Mickle and Blessing. Big thing is I think that using the Greatsword might actually be my best bet. At least until one of them is dead. We'll see. Big thing is we can stand away of that pretty reliably. So, which we are. Kind of chill. Kind of. And just stay out of the way of that end. Okay, that spear stab was not pleasant. Just gotta 
Try this again and again and again until it actually works. Funny how they have that poison attack. It'd be nice if that was an actual spell, just... I mean, it wouldn't be amazing, but it'd be funny to have just pure fire with lots of Aeonian butterflies, and they don't respawn either. Is the interesting thing, and okay, cool. Now run those, but their tracking is really, really strong. It's the crazy part. Alright then, I'll try this again. Cool, and where are my runes? They're over that way, okay. One, two, and can I? Gotta focus down the other guy once that goes through. And slam, slam, slam. And okay, oh, alright. Thanks, and there you are. Dodge, dodge, and use this to kill you and kill, kill. Okay, uh, alright. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks, and oh, right, alright, and cool. Lots of rot, I don't like that. And oh, you've got to be kidding me. I hate you. I actually hate you. Hmm. -hmm. So the healing you've got now is going to be actually vile. And how did I get rotted? What? How much of this is Scarlet Rot? I, okay, it's no sense. God damn, I hate this game. Okay. Hmm. So basically the whole starting arena is Scarlet Rot. Okay. Fun. Not. Hmm. Okay. Just gotta run. Quick step through. So I have to do it. There's no other way around it. Love her. Not really. Mm -mm. Big thing is, is that quick stepping is basically it's in a dungeon where you can use torrent. The only real way to get through mud pools. If only this one had a stake of America. That would be really, really nice. Okay. Alright. Cool and. Thanks. Actually, that was good. Well, I need to take it down a little by just hitting it on the head. Hmm. Just, I would really appreciate a stake of America right around now. Funk Soul Brother. If I'd gotten a few more levels, I could just be using Raguvi on these guys and... Try to activate blood loss and woo of other silliness and really, really whatever. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use that now. Maybe I will. But the runes, which to be fair, aren't that many in number. I one, two, three, and oh, all right. Let's get that over here. Thank you. Then we got another queen rod and boom. Well, all right. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Now you're here, and I... One, two, and... Oh my goodness, I... Okay. Cool. Okay. And use your blessing, or what? Oh, okay. Now we're rotted. Now we're rotted somehow. Actually, stupid. I hate this game. That was a really annoying attack to dodge. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. I... Hmm. We're at night. Not especially resistant to hemorrhage. Hmm. Do be a blood blade? Deals. It does not say how much blood buildup, blood loss buildup there is. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Well, whatever. I. Hmm. Extra life is so janky. 
So a few blood blades would actually do it. I'd be able to kite it too, but I mm -hmm. stop. Many runes do I have? That would be twenty six hundred. I mm -hmm. guess a couple more levels would be nice. Just use all these right now and see. Yeah, sure. Should have spent other ones on levels instead of just buying crap I won't even use, but whatever. Hmm. Level up, and that's not even all the way. Okay. Hmm. I could just actually take down enemies in here and try to get a few more levels. It's an idea. These Queen Rod Knights are just vile, though. That's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Recent quick step is cheap, but hmm. Really just don't know. Some of the items in here, some of which should hopefully be kind of useful. Maybe. Hmm. Giant rat. View over here. So the question is what relationship? this place have to Mount Gelmir? As it kind of suggests it might, but that's okay. It would be silly to sort of quasi-grind here, but if it's necessary, I guess. One, two, three, four. The ants broke the rat because I couldn't kill it in time. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Okay, fun. Alright. Hmm. That would, I guess, be another level, but... Can I... Oh, but... Right, none of that. So, I can... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is... Fire Grease. Okay. Hmm. Well, alright. Keep working our way through here slowly but surely. Maybe try killing other things in Kaled. Oh, there was that one spot you can kind of farm in, too. That's right. I, okay. Cool. Just roll. Oh my goodness, I can't even... What? Huh? Huh? Okay. This actually doesn't really make much sense. Whatever. Okay. Is that... Take this. Try it again. Alright. And we can just... Slam down on you. Two... Three and okay, all right, cool. Yes. Thanks and slam over up on you and two, three, four and okay, come on up. All right and one, two and can I? Got to stagger you out of using your blessing attack and okay, I need to one and heal and just oh my goodness, okay, you are in a position. One, two and can I? Slam. Okay, alright, and- Oh, what? What? I hate that. Mm hmm. I think there is a way to cheese this a little. By way of over here to the balcony, I think. Not your balcony can hit the bird over there and make it fall off to its death. If I recall correctly. Hmm. Let me just see. Not view. Balcony. Early game farm. Can just hit the thing. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Oh, but rot, rock sling might be more necessary. I'm not sure. Let's try this. See if I knock you down. Is this gonna work? That did not quite work. Deer ahead, try ranged battle. We have arrows reach talisman, so it's just barely not hitting. Is this gonna work a little better, maybe? I'm not sure. And I. Yeah, yeah. Alright. 
I do have a bow. I don't have any kind of bow on me. I could, and I can't use crepuses crossbow yet. All right. Hmm. In that case, what if I? Oh, who is and where is? Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Fun. Oh, and another rotting corpse. Fun. Yeah, okay, cool. Hmm. Interesting enough. And these ones are stronger. These rotten corpses are stronger. Okay, cool. Hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go back and try that crap again. Well, I guess what I could do is actually... Could I use Blood Flame Blade? Could I use Blood Flame Blade? Blood Flame Blade. Run all the way to Weirnia and get... It's 12 faith anyway, so... Actually, hmm. Of Rose Church, which is actually pretty far away, though. Hmm. I... Hmm. It's tough. Try it again. Maybe. Skagichi Blessing. Oh, they're talking about that, even though that's a DLC exclusive. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Hmm. All right. Two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. I worry. I worry about this. Hmm. Oh, but using stamp upward cut might work better against one of them. Just for the sake of racking up damage, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Mm hmm. So that the big thing is that they resist holy damage quite heavily, so that's not you want to be how I want to run it. Okay. Try doing holy damage to them, they would just retaliate and kill me. Hmm. Do you think that Reduvia? So the stats to use it is going to be very, very useful. But only because blood loss really good, regardless of what your stats are. Arcane stuff in general is not going to require as much investment. And thanks, stay out of the way of you. And just thanks, roll. And one, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The sooner I get this scarab, the sooner I can just start snowballing. It's gonna be great. Okay. Cool. I okay. Hmm. All right then. Maybe I should just run past. Maybe. The big thing is, is, I'm not really trying to survive here. I'm trying to win as much as just get a decent amount of runes, which is going to take some time. Get enough, I can just quit out after and get a few more levels each time, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Wait, well, using stamp upward cut on them is probably going to be better than what I was trying before, so. The fact that you need a torch in here, honestly, is very, very Dark Souls 2. I like that. Don't have a torch, you just won't be able to see, and then, well, good luck, and, okay, yeah, that's good. And if they don't have any kind of, is that a... Nice! Okay, cool. That is actually really, really useful on them, and just... Thanks. Take that off and- wait, what? Huh? Okay, and- wow, okay, I don't like that. Hmm, this would be a good way to take one of them down, but I- Hmm, just stamp it up or- well, alright. Hmm. The quick crit is good, but... I need to focus on bursting the first guy down. Mm -mm. Big thing is, I'll probably get another red flash so if that's what I'm going to be using instead of fire. Sense breaking just is and remains incredibly good. Okay, and dash, 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 dash. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. Could get two more levels, I guess. I suppose. Hmm. Put more decks in arcane. Hmm. The goal is to get that scarab. Okay, alright. You down it. Thanks. Die. Hmm. I don't want to waste that foul foot. It's one of the big things. Reduvia would be nice, but I think it would actually be just figuring out a way to reliably hit with those stomps and burst down Queen Rot Knight number one before his friend shows up. Okay. One, two, three, four, and use Cure Poison. That was actually incredibly lame. Alright. Cool. Funny worm attack. Mm -hmm. Try this crap again. One, two, three, and oh my goodness. Alright. One. What? What in the. No. Really? It was incredibly stupid. Okay, I can't even. That big blood stain is gone now. I cannot even. I just gotta. Now. Trying to farm it along the way is utterly pointless. There's no sense in it. Nothing to gain. Especially since I would have to deliberately quit out anyway. It's two levels lost. Isn't that great? Okay. And just leave this awful first area. If only there was a stake of America here. That would make things a lot more manageable, but of course there isn't. Okay. Keep on running. Keep on rolling. Mm, okay. This gold scarab would equate a decent amount more just runes and therefore a decent amount more levels if it's 20% extra and then adding a foul foot on top of that would be really, really good. Mm, okay. Big thing is when we- what in the- what? Huh? That's so finicky. My god. Okay. Actually awful. Uh, hmm. Big thing is, if I only need... Needs, well, I can't equip anything more right now anyway. There's nothing there, so I don't need to worry about anything. So let's just... Thanks, and... Knock you up. Then we just do that again. Knock you up, and... Can we... Well, alright. Thanks. Knock up and it, no, it, oh well, I, that went really, really badly in comparison. I'm actually not happy about that at all. And thanks and all right. Hmm. Mm, I really, really want Reduvia for this. I. Well, we don't have anything in the way of a fast weapon. Is the thing. Because uh, speed is crucial for this, but I don't have speed here. Okay, cannot. Mmm. Fighting two of these guys at once is also just ridiculous. Thanks, slam, and. Wait, what? How did I get Scarlet Rot there? I. Whatever? This is so stupid. I hate this goddamn game. Oh, they spat Scarlet Rot on me. Okay. Classic. I... Well, the question is. Hmm. Actually, what do I do? Also, I forgot to get a paper towel. Whatever. Hmm. One of these muffins ended up much wetter than the others. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'll live. Hmm. Using stamp upward cut to kill one and then the other is probably the only way I have any chance at all of survival. Losing that really, really sucked. I Reduvia has a good chance of being able to do it just because of how good Blood Void is. But until all the runes for it and I lost a bunch of runes just there. 
Hmm. Whatever. Whatever. It's just, I thought it would be funny to focus on getting items from the shop before actually using runes for anything, but it really, really screwed me. And I, I knew it would make a bigger difference early on, but still just, well, whatever. Okay. And just get behind it. Thanks. Take that. Ah, what in the... Thanks. All right. And dodge. Cannot. Thanks. Slam. And... All right. Let's do that again. And take you down. Thanks. Stance for ick. We can take that out. Cool. And... Huh. We need some of this. Once there's just one of them, we can take them on pretty easily, presumably, but... It's still just... Mm, uh, okay. And slam and... Alright. Let's do that. Cool. Thanks. Need to get one of you and... Well, I... What? Really? Okay. How am I... Scarlet rotted now, too? That actually does not make any sense. Hmm. So I could try kiting them using a flame sling or something. But that almost definitely would not work. Hmm. If I tried kiting with flame sling. Well. I tried cutting them with flame sling. It wouldn't do the poise damage I needed. And they would it just also wouldn't be fast enough to boot. I think it would not work at all. Big thing is making sure that I can actually get the initial critical and in first clean rot. That will be crucial. Thanks, and go up. Thanks, another end. As soon as you get back up, we'll just get the critical there. Thank you. Cool. Nice. And generate. You'll get back up and we'll use another and Alright, uh, okay. Wait, what? Huh? The hell? Okay. Honestly, I could just use, oh, I don't have Skull Resormament, I don't have the Intelligence for it, I don't have the anything for it, I, okay. Thanks, two, three, four, and, wait, what? Instant Death and Instant Scarlet Rot, makes sense, I guess. Cringe Cave for the funny money talisman. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And jump, jump. Fun moving. <laughs> Can hopefully do this, but it would require some luck. Some level of luck. Avoiding annoying things in my way. Yeah, okay. At least he did a spear swing instead of projectile with decent tracking that would be really annoying to get out of the way of. Mm -hmm. Keep on going then, and it's kind of interesting. There's just a giant Miranda Bloom in here for some reason. Probably the rotten Miranda Bloom. Oh my god damn! Okay, I just. You can't run. You can't run away from that. I mean, you can't roll away from that because it would arrest you. You have to. Maybe if I ran rolled towards it, but it's definitely just not worth it, no matter what. Okay, cool. I just knock you up. 
And then as soon as we see you stirring, we do that again, and... Okay, alright. You're in a decent position then. Good for me. Another one should be here now, so we just do that again, and... Oh, well, we messed that up. That's for sure. And then we get... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. Okay. Right, and... You over there are... Thanks. Slam. All right. All right. And just crimson tears up. And cool. Do this. And just dodge. Dodge. And oh, well, I uh, actually hate this. When are we going to use your blessing then? And I. Wait, what? I, oh, right. What? Stupid. Huh. I. The annoying thing is that... How much does Roxling need for intelligence? Roxling... Needs... 18, so I can't use that. Does he need Roxling to knock them? Down... Whatever, okay. Do that farming method by hitting that giant crow. By the Rod View Balcony. So just can't do that. It's just... DP DPSing down the Queen Rots is... Tough. The crits on this thing are good, but... Mm -hmm. Big thing is that they resist Holy so much that the Sacred Boy would probably do nothing for me. And I need stamp upward cut anyway in order to actually get poise break and critical that I saw before. Thing is, if you can take down the first one, you're god damn! What in the what the hell? Okay. Uh, it feels so janky avoiding those things. Okay, whatever. I'm all right. Do this, run in, and slam. And as soon as I see you stir it all, we'll... Oh, what? No, we need to be earlier, a lot earlier. Okay, thanks, and... Thanks, take that, and can I... Well, I... Okay, thanks. Well, I... What? Huh? Okay. Stupid. Okay, I definitely over... Underestimated. Won't get took to... Okay, does that inflict Scarlet Rod, or...? Yeah, I guess it just inflicts Scarlet Rod. Which... It's not like their spears have rot damage on them. Queen Rot... Knight Spear. Queen Rot Knight Spear does not have... <laughs> Scarlet Rot on it. Okay. Whatever. I, okay. Three, four, five. Okay. I need to be more predictive with going for the swing, going for the stamps on them. In that case, probably take a few hits just to get in the way properly. Oh, we didn't get the Goomba Stomp. That sucked. Reduvia, though, I would presume that it would be decent. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I just don't have the runes. If I hadn't spent all those runes on other stuff, I probably would have been able to get a decent amount of it done. And oh, I lost the runes I spent there, too. And I. What? Huh? I. Really? Really? I don't even. What? All jumps are the same length, so why did one work and the other not? Well, the answer is it's just janky and finicky, but it's not a satisfying answer. Okay, cool. Let me just do that and put you up. And as soon as we see you stream, well, oh, we actually got the poise break anyway. Nice. And you'll stir again, and we just use that. Do you know, wait, what? Huh? That makes no sense. I Thanks, alright, and just, as soon as you do that, we'll do that again, and thanks, take you out, and cool. Nice, cool. Then we can just probably use some Cerulean Tears, maybe, I, okay, alright, and just, what in the, what? 
God damn you all the hell. I hope you all kill yourselves. Okay. More kit on the spear one would be good, but... Hmm. Sickle one is tough too. But, okay. Quick step is good. I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, I hate my Chungus life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just another. Flask could be nice with a golden seed or something, but I don't think it's necessary one way or the other. It, I'm either going to win with the flasks I have or lose no matter how many flasks I have. Unless, I guess, I got more levels, but it's... It's honestly kind of a DPS check. Honestly. We just keep on running. We don't need to roll. Just need to run. Okay. Uh, wait, what? Miranda flower here? Annoying. It's just... Mm, we gotta make sure we can... Thanks, take you out, and... If we want to wake up, we do that, and cool. Some of the stamina to come back, cool. And... Nice. Knock, and... Thanks, knock, and... Alright, thanks, and... Wait, what? Okay. Can I? Okay, alright, and, uh, uh, okay, cool. Alright then. Dodge, okay, thanks. Knock you up, and knock up again, and break the stance, and, okay, cool. Thanks, and there's one down. We actually got one of them down, cool. Alright, and, okay, one. You're dead now, which is good for me, but I, okay, roll, roll, uh, wait, what? Roll, roll, and, oh, well, I need to roll one way. Right, run, 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 okay, interesting, okay, what if I, Santa, okay, I, wait, what, you are kidding me, okay, whatever, I, okay, annoying, I hate you, I actually hate you, thanks, I, nice, thanks, and, thanks, alright, and we can, stance break, you, use our final flask, cool, and just, we got this garbage now, and can we, nice, and dodge, heal, and, okay, one, two, and, okay, interesting, one, two, and can I, one, two, and can I jump, and, well, I can't, okay, can I jump, slam, and die, kill, nice, well, we, what in the goddamn, what? How is that not not a kill? Okay. Did I run out of stamina or did I, did I just not do a follow up? I, well, did okay. The big thing is, is. Got rotted somehow and that was really stupid. Uh, but the. Yeah, because I was about to use the foul foot, but I. Pff, I'm an idiot. Okay, whatever. Thanks. One, two, three, four. Okay. More the better, but I. Using the stomp is uh, the way to kill them. There's gonna be no other way. But we got that cookbook. We have the cookbook. Start making the foul feet. Know where to farm the fireflies and the other stuff, so we'll just do that. Get a good deal stronger. Lots of runes, so we can use foul feet. Time we kill an enemy of meaningful. No. Yeah. Then I won't have to come back to Kaled any time in the future because of a wait. What the hell? Huh? That just legitimately makes no sense. I guess what I have to do is wait for the first projectile to go away, so the game decides to just screw me over and make me not actually get up the ledge. I can honestly, it makes me wish this game had Demon Souls mantling. It. As cool as the platforming is, it honestly, mantling had its upsides, and that would have been one of them, just the predictability of it all. Okay, cool, and nice, nice, and okay, alright. What in the- 
What? Okay. Stupid. Mm -mm. It's actually a good deal infuriating. But I, okay. Thanks. One, two, three. Okay. Whatever. The big thing is, I wish it automatically switched back to the dagger. I don't wait to, because the only reason I have this finger seal in here anyways is just switch places here. Dagger and snow, dagger and finger seal. Okay. One more reason I have that is for cure poison when I inevitably get hit by oh, those guys, but using quick step is fun. It's actually a pretty peak strategy. Spears inflict poison, if I recall correctly. It is interesting that both poison and skull rot are part of rot incantations, because it does give them a sort of kinship, which makes some sense, but... Uh, okay. One, two... Okay, all right. There we are, and how did we get poison? Okay, and the big thing is I have to jump... to go on the right edge and jump a left, because if I jump right, it'll be too high up to actually get to. That's some trouble. Whatever. Whatever, then. Okay. Try this out. Thanks, stomp. Knock you off, and there we are, and cool. Cool. Thanks. Alright. Stamina, though, is not fun, and, well, we, okay, nice, and, oh, come on, alright. Interesting, and not in a good way, okay. I uh, okay, nice, and who's getting hit? Okay. Hmm, can I... Stomp it. What? Okay, cool. I stomp and up and all right, we can take you down. Almost. Okay, cool. And when you get back up, we'll just slam you. Cool. And all right, I can. Well, interesting. Cool. There you are. I can dodge. I'll use this and dodge. Oh, what? What? Thanks. Not really. Heal. Okay. Dodge. Hmm. Dodge, and can I swing, and you're gonna get up, and we'll just do that again, cool, nice, cool, okay, as long as I don't get, how am I rotted here, oh, because when you're by them in any way, shape, or form, they inflict rot build up, that's right, I forgot about that one, I forgot about that, that's funny, okay, cool, well, I'll just kill you, Cool, and, alright, and one more hit to you when you die, and there we are, let's use the spell foot, nice, cool. Finally, it worked, gold scarab, and lots of runes, presumably. Yeah, 9151, that's cool. So we can just leave this accursed place now, and come back to Kaled at a significantly later date. It'd be funny if I had to quit that in time. Defeated enemies, talisman, fix the of a scarab, care of treasures and precious things, scarab, increase the amount of runes obtained from defeating enemies. So let's return to the entrance. So the question is, am I still going to be rotting? And yeah, we're still rotted, and it actually filled the bar back up entirely. It's kind of crazy. And now I'm dead. Well, at least my blood stains right there. Cool. I... Before anything else... I'm just gonna get enough to use Reduvia. I do not need to subject myself to further torment, but stamp upward kind of just wiping them out is really, really good too. I was outright bullying them. Okay. Stance breaks and criticals with this thing are really, really good. That's just one, two, three, four. And okay, now we can use Reduvia. All right, cool. It's nice and light too. That said, since it's, since it's a boss, light weapons for fighting individual enemies. Weapons like these for fighting heavy enemies who won't speak for. Things we can't just The declination on this is interesting. The arc is funky. Well, we got what we needed more or less. 
big thing is there are fireflies over here in that pond, the golden fireflies. And now we have our scarab. So, so nice. I want to go to some of those catacombs now. Maybe, I'm not sure. Try this blood void. And. Wow! Okay, cool. And it doesn't even cost all that much. Let me just see. Yeah, the curve on that is wicked. But there should be gold scarabs through this area. Let's pick up and farm for stuff like gold foul feet. And that has zero gold foul feet on there. But this, presumably at night, has a number of golden fireflies to pick up. Oh, right now, actually. Nice, gold firefly. Three right there. Just want to see, can I dodge? One, two, three, four, five, and... Oh, well, I dodge. Never... Wait, what? Huh? Okay. Foggy. Okay, cool. Interesting, and not in a good way. I Okay. And, well, all right. Mm -hmm. Try some of that, but... Oh, you don't blood lost me, too, and... That was decent damage, but I... Okay, cool. Doing it at night is... Get the gold fireflies is definitely the idea. We'll see. And can I... Well, you're over here, so... Let's rest at the side of grace. Get rid of you. Pass some time until nightfall. Alright. Hmm. Big thing is, Redubi is good on Morgoth. That would be useful. Let's just do some crafting right now, and let's check the description of those fireflies real quick. How many four toed foul do I, feet do I have? Golden light, crafting items, close to minor earth trees, or magic, golden light considered to invite rooms. Kind of any dungeon, basically. Let's do some crafting. We can make. Yeah. Let's have a row up, but the foul feet are gonna be. Their own thing. The thing is, Big Bear should be sleeping now, so... Foul feet, I will need to find a place to hunt down. Though... Hello, hello. Let's get... It's these fireflies from here. Nice. And, yeah, that's just basically free. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Seven of those right there. Root resin, and then got a few more of those, maybe. Some foul feet that are down by the start of Weeping Peninsula, I believe. Let's check. Bridge of Sacrifice, Four Toad, Foul Foot. Foul, Impassable Great Bridge, southeast of the Grace. Impassable Great Bridge. Hmm. Passable Great Bridge. That's Kaled. So I could actually, the best way to do that would actually be to run. <coughs> Just to run past everything, and I guess we're going back to Kaled. Great. Nice thing is, is that presumably, not much should have cost me on my way. One thing though is, there's some ruins around here where I could get a good katana. That could be useful for Stormville, actually, for taking down birds, but eh, magic would also be good for that, too. So I'm probably just gonna dip. Keep on going, and that over there is... What are you? Hello. Hi. And can I... Mmm, that did not quite work. One, two, three. And... Nice, and that did not quite hit. I Okay. One. Uh, two. And what to drop? Lifesteal Fist. Oh, interesting. So get that on a certain weapon later. Sally attempt of sorcery over that way, and this is the... Astray from Kaywood Highway North. Hmm. Then, Merchant over here, Faded Early Flower, and Belt of Aeonia, Radon, and Millennial Lock and Stillmate, then the Scarlet Rot Blooms. Classic. Dear customer, right this way, right this way. Okay. Wandering Emporium by something. 
hungry so long. So, Odin Butterfly Poison Stone Clump. Oh, that's what the assassins were throwing. Boluses, Cave Moss, Scarlet Rot, Gears Rot, Illman, Poison Bone, Tower Poison Stone, Disc Extermination, Forgotten How to Craft Them. Interesting, so lost knowledge. Wings of the Goddess of Rot, Millennia, herself. Tip set alight, and common type of bolt. Nothing all that much. Sad, I actually wanted to give him some business. Alright then, alright. Thing is, keep going. Around until we get to the impassable Grey Bridge, and then there will be some birds that we can take on. Also, a dragon who we're just gonna run past. Fight eventually once we've got better fire incantations. Don't need to do things too out of order, but getting that scarab was incredibly nice. Yeah, more levels are always, always, always good. Keep following this. We'll actually get past the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, presumably. That, yep, that's it over there, and Decaying Exanches is over that way, too. And that, oh, is that a Knight's Cavalry? That is a Knight's Cavalry. Didn't know there were Knight's Cavalry in Caled. Redman Castle is over that way. I've been there before, even on stream. Big thing is I gotta find a, Oh, is this another merchant? Should be. Map Caled. Nice. Found you over here, and I think there should be a grace somewhere nearby. Hi. Purchase, and we have another cracked pot, another stone sword key, nomadic warrior's cookbook, great helm, champion headband, flaming bolt, gravity's advantage. Sure. Okay. Pot, a stone sword key, a cookbook. Raw bone, eh. Let's see then. It's advantage, and poles can bring flying foes low, yeah. John Millennia, Blade of Nicola, Vaseline Constantly Marred by Scarlet Rot. So Fist, Controlling Vital Enemies, Energy Infused Fists, Spurs and Conscious, Sales HP, Some Claws, Even Bill, and that's basically... Basically a... Version of the thing that the Black... The Dark Hand can use in Dark Souls. Basically the same name and all. So we gotta get to the Great Bridge. Past some of you, and this down here is a tier. Nice. The Windy Crystal tier. Excuse me, the Windy Crystal tier. What does that do? Wait, the Impassable Grey Bridge should be along this way, so we can just farm birds over here. You can really just run past things if you feel like it, know how to do it. It's kind of funny. So we got other guys over this way. And let's see, Windy Crystal tier. Effectiveness of dodge rolls with damage increase. Interesting. So the Grey Bridge is over there, Red Main, and those are the dunes where the Radon fight would be. Gotta go over here, and there should be birds right by this spot. More foul feet for more fights, and just doing this. Cool. Cost Grace discovered. Lots of Guillemots. So we'll just take you down, and. Cool. And flight pinion and more flight pinions, no foul feet. The big question is, do I have any kind of AoE that would allow me to take multiple out at once in any reasonable kind of way? I think that just using the greatsword would probably be my best bet. But the more foul feet we get, the better, and can I- well, whatever, I- okay, cool. And we got a couple of foul feet, let's just get a few more so we can craft. Let's craft- Ten of those. Gold foul feet and use them for... Use them in a bit. And we got another foot. So we have three or so now. Enough row that we can craft them pretty freely. But this... Buffs! Buffs are buffs. And you can get better buffs with spells oftentimes, but... Map has been found. Yeah, and this is Redmond Castle. Let's see. Is a bad omen a gift of great luck indeed? Yeah. Okay. A few more of these with the butterflies we picked, I mean the fireflies we picked up, and this is just... And we'll fight a boss, we'll use this for significantly increased rune acquisition. 
I missed that time. Annoying. Cool. Just don't have any kind of AoE right now. It's just the closest thing would be big swings on these attacks. Well, actually, the that wide swing could be good, especially if I aimed it low. Hmm. Okay. All right. We'll just aim low here, and can we take you both out in one swing? When we fly pinions, but eventually making arrows would be good, and the fletchings would be good for that too. This is convenient, that's for sure. And all right, we take another foul foot. We need six more of those, and it's cool. How many foul feet do I have right now? I've got one. All right. <clears throat> Item discovery would go up with arcane too, but yeah, this determines discovery, which means that at max level of arcane you would have 199, which is a little over double. 100, which would be well, if you had zero arcane, that's literally impossible. So it's a little less than double, whatever you can get at base. Okay. Cool. Six of those, but we can just come back here whenever we feel like. Whenever we feel like getting this. Also, we might want to give the spells we got to our master, the sorceress. It's interesting that she calls herself a sorcerer. Well, so be it. <laughs> come on, come on. And, oh, what? Okay. Take you out and, well, send you hurtling. Alright. Hello, hello. Got another foot, we're close. Good foul foot, and if we have the scarab right now, increasing it by 20%. This would be around maybe 8 or 9, and it's surrounding in a weird kind of way. Alright, cool. Another foretold foul foot, and one of them didn't drop a single thing this time. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we'll get one, and then we'll craft it, and then we'll weave. Oh, this could be a good time to fight. One of those Knights Cavalry, actually. So, do some item crafting, and Knights Cavalry are weak to what? Let's craft. Don't need that. I need this. Untouched by sunlight? No, we want these. Oh, but we don't have enough of those fireflies. Well, we have ten now, so actually, well, one thing we could, we could just go and do a few more firefly runs over here at the start of Mistwood. <laughs> That number is inauspicious. So I don't want to change that. Hello there, hello. Cool. Couple. Yeah. Row is nice. The best way to get a bunch would be going to Charburg, but we'll get plenty just going around here. Okay. Go over, pick up all of the fireflies from this pond. Uh, yep, yeah, there are plenty. Funny here. Oh, great. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Okay, then. I have to go back and rest at the grace again. It said actually having a. Hmm. Is that a bear or, or the bat? Couldn't even tell, really. Got a bunch of those, so let's rest. Craft another and take out the Knight's Cavalry. We have a bunch now. It's good. Cool. And we just have those basically for free. Over here was the Knight's Cavalry. Okay, but no, a Gule Lake North would be good. The question is, what is the guy weak to? Wormgrave and it's nighttime. Slowly becoming not nighttime. Knight's Cavalry. Knight's Cavalry. Pearls and Halberds, and they're weak to. They're weak to Pierce. And the lightning. Okay. Neither of which I really have in any meaningful sense, but. Well, I'll bear it. See if we can find the guy before daylight comes. Because if daylight comes, I disappear midway. And this is. Wait. An arterial leaf. Okay. Marked because it's special. And is there a Knight's Cavalry on the bridge right now? There is. Nice. Oh, there are Knight's Cavalry. Nice! Cavalry! Okay, but actually, one, 
to, oh, what if we kill the horse? Okay, and just stamp and break that down. Take the stagger again and, okay. Mm -hmm. Can I, well, we can miss. All right, okay, ooh, all right. Thon, not really. Okay, uh, oh, all right. Hmm. Basically a tree sentinel, but easier to deal with. Slightly. And, all right. Oh, well, okay, then I'll try that again. Got a cool theme. I don't, oh, okay, I, wow. All right. Mm -mm. These guys are awful. I, okay, and slam. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Might like to actually try to dodge some of you, but I, mm -hmm. Do, oh, oh, okay. Mm -mm. All right. I really don't like this guy. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Should come back later. Or at least when I've got a spear or something, because I actually feel like fighting them on horseback might be a better idea. Maybe. Hmm. All right. Stay out of the way of you. Maybe go take on Fort Height. Possibly. That was certainly something. So a fast weapon would be good for that guy, maybe. Maybe I could try Reduvia, actually. Just kite him. Said I am not quite sure how much time we'll get, because I think they do disappear when daytime hits. Alright. Alright then. Just gonna move over, try to take you out. If you haven't disappeared yet. Killing your horse could actually be good, but... Maybe I... Alright. And... Nice. Oh, right. I, okay, cool. Dodge. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try that. And just... Thanks. Well, that did not even hit. Okay, cool. Wow! That really sucked. It's the big question is when they show up in terms of nighttime. Because I know that the bell-bearing hunters are very, very inconvenient to make show up. Let's go to the stake of America, but... They won't show up. Unless we set it to nighttime again, so... There's no point to that. Really just no point. <sighs> this is a thrust attack. Interesting. Past time, try to make it night and see if anyone else shows up. Until nightfall. Okay. Alright, so when do Knight's Cavalry actually show up? Might be nice to take one down. There's also a Death Bird that would be nice to take her down, but I don't quite remember where it is. I think it's around the one of the shacks, maybe War Masters, but that is already where. Okay, so they do show up again pretty quickly and easily. That's good, though I still have to go back to the grace and reset that if I ever want to do it. This is annoying. Oh, they're high end. Just oh, okay, all right. Thanks. And ooh, the range on that actually leaves a lot to be desired. Okay. Mm -mm. Cool. Mm -mm. How do I want to do this then? I kill your horse, maybe. Well, I maybe I actually just want to let you get stuck on there and kill your horse. Yeah, okay. Cool. This, oh, alright, and is this place where I want to go, or... Mm, you did get over here now, so I... Well, I... Alright. Mm, take the horse out, maybe, maybe, and... Kill your horse, kill your horse. And... Oh, alright, alright. Uh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. What in the... Alright. Mm, it's tough. Okay. I'm using Cerulean Tears. And... Okay. Oh, what? Huh? Alright, I was not expecting that. Hmm... Just dodge. Take. And... Okay, cool. One. What? Okay. Okay. If I can find a way to just keep you out of the way. Not get greedy. Use that in response to individual attacks instead of... Maybe be a bit more defensive than aggressive. Okay. Set to nighttime. 
for Nightfall. Show me attacks could maybe be okay. Would hit both horse and rider, but don't really have a good way to deal stance damage quickly because Lion Squad, getting a weapon with a Lion Squad would be very, very good. But I think I might want to try to find a way to see if I can get it to jump onto the other ridge, away from the bridge again. Maybe. Maybe. Also probably like to get stuff from Seaver River well, like Charm Behind the Dragon King Soldier for one. Just free stats and not okay. Dodge and alright. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go for the horse and just cannot okay. Take and dodge. Okay, and take. Ooh, okay, nice. Hmm, Reduvia. Oh, Blood Void is really, really good for this fight. Take the horse out, presumably, and cool. Nice, cool. One, two. Kill the horse, and the world is your oyster. Dodge, thanks, and hit with the slash two, it seems, which is really, really good. And stay out of the way, and can I get in and... Okay, nice. Hit, and do, all right. Thanks, thanks, and slash. We're close, we're close. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need a bit more, I think. Mm -hmm. Run in, run in, and I... Block your charge and kill. Kill the horse, and that's no more horse for you, so can I... Yep! Good damage there. Dismounted you successfully, which means we can just... Slash... Okay, I... Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I need to... That's not good. That's really not good. Okay. Hmm, can I... Yeah, bleed on you, or what? I... One... Hmm, I really don't like this. I... Okay, and... Wait, you got your horse back? I... That was really stupid. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... The mo really annoying thing is how the commoner showed up. That would have been victory if it weren't for those goddamn commoners. Die already, you useless mongrels. You're literally wasted flesh and space and oxygen. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Killing the horse from range for a dismount, though, is a really good idea. Okay. Alright, alright then. It's time to night. Kill every single person there. So that nobody, nobody interferes. And then try again. Okay. Uh, just, were they moving over or what? Just, did the fight just take so long that I managed to reach the bridge? Probably, actually. I think that's what happened, and managed to alert the other guy over there, too, so. Nice. Die. No, I don't think it was these guys, though. If I'm missing, whatever. And then, got you over here. And I... Killing you is going to be crucial. Just, that knight's cavalry, though, is... Wait. Make sure you turn around and... Hmm. Gonna turn around and go away now? Yeah, I think. Oh, you're patrolling all the way over there. Well, okay. So it's these guns over here who we need to kill. That's fine. Otherwise, they'll start interfering and make the fight just untenable. And, alright, cool. One. What? What in the goddamn you. Okay. I hate you. I actually hate you. Hmm. Okay. That means that we can now safely use our Reduvia and maybe actually put on a bit more. Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. Use this. Alright. Kill the horse and can I slash and okay oh well I all right did not expect that okay uh, okay interesting and not in a good way cool one and can I 
Mm. Thanks. One, two, slash, slash, and actually get a couple off. One, four, mm, it depends. So there you are, that's actually a pretty good space route to be in for me. Slash it, okay, alright, alright. Mm. Kill the horse, not the rider. Well, both eventually, but focus on the horse first and kill. And nice, we can use this one more time, but we can dodge on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kill the horse, then we kill the rider, and. Ah, uh, what are we gonna dodge? Oh, nice, and now we can put that on you. Good enough, and. Take you down, one, and, one, two, three, and, all right, mm. tears, and just, oh, okay, one, two, and, all right, mm. you're decent to deal with as long as I don't have to deal with, mm. your horse again, so I can, thanks, and that's all gone, so, nice, one, two, and, there we go, first night's cavalry down. Enemy felt, so let's use this. Cool. Nice. Oh, we- Ah, dang it. Stupid. Heating thrust. That's not bad, but... We mistimed that effect for sure. At least we still had one of them up, but whatever. Heating thrust. Twist to build power. Keen of hitting. Unleash a flurry of thrusts. Huh. Capable of thrusting. Colossal weapons excluded. Well, I... That was fine. We did not. We would not have gotten that much anyway. Okay. So we could buy some stuff from Corrin, maybe. Tation? Sure. Get. Could get magic fortification, but uh, we don't need that yet. Heal. I hope. Storm should they fall, and it's missing the same in those descriptions. Tations and. Get rejection, sure. Walk in faith, prepare to reject all else, but aren't enough pitfalls to really make use of it like I could abuse force in previous Souls games. Shine through you. Okay. Both lost grace. I might like to actually... Mm -mm. Two next. Well, actually, Yura could be good. So the question is, what is Agil's hemorrhage resistance? Agil. Flying Dragon Agil. And it's... Actually got pretty high hemorrhage resistance. That's tough. I... Don't really have anything that does pierce. Oh, well, alright. Go over to our sorceress and... Give her that conspectus scroll we had. Aside from that, I... Well, we can get rid of this marker. Yeah. Hmm, hmm. Another ever jail over here with a crucible knight. Fire would be good against that guy, but. Hmm. Pairing is also crucial for that. Just thinking. Just thinking. Seaside ruins, and then, of course, a gill, but. Oh! And then we could actually go back to the stranded graveyard now and maybe go in and actually fight. Ulcerated Tree Spirit now? It's an idea. Mm -hmm. We got Cure Poison, we got some other things. Yeah, we can do it. Let's use that. Not enough stones for key. Oh, because you need two, and I don't have enough to buy one from that one guy. It's the other merchant over in the other spot. Over here, who I need to get some stuff from. Yeah, some stuff I want to buy. A cracked pot, among other things. No, it was that. Not that merchant, but... Not that merchant, but this merchant. Also patches. Yeah. Okay, cool. In that case, we can come back here eventually. Eventually. Maybe I'll go to Murkwater Catacombs, actually. There's a dungeon right there. Well, actually, there's also a gill. That would also give me some, this would give me smithing stones, so I'm conflicted. It's just, lots of stuff around here, just in general. Let's just go and work water, sure. Okay. Fight a gill and then 
Some other stuff here is Murkwater Catacombs. Presumably, actually, I should be using a Ash of War. Let's see. Put Sacred Blade on Lord Sworn again. That would be good. This could be pretty good. Sacred and Lord Sworn's Sacred Greatsword. Not Sacred Lord Sworn's Greatsword, but Lord Sworn's Sacred Greatsword. Interesting. And Hello Imp. Two, three. Oh, but it's an imp heavy catacomb, so some sort of hammer would maybe be good here. Okay, alright. Still decent, but. <laughs> alright, and. Oh, alright. The Fawn Bearish, too. No, actually, just their pick. Grave Glove War. And that. Moves in catacombs, Sandless Bell used to summon spirits. Oh, because they're actually bells. Spirit tuning, only a spirit tuner may perform this deed. Interesting. Alright then. Pick up some of these then. Torch is always nice. It said there are also spells that you can use to just get light, so. Light those. Worry of up, thank you. Bit late. Trap ahead. In what way? Oh, just this. Okay. That's painfully obvious. Alright. Oh, okay. Those darts hit a lot better than I expected them to. Two, three. Okay. And darts. And thanks. One, two, three. And there you are. And this should be easy enough if it's just... Hmm. One, two. So the lever's just here. Okay. Yeah. Mechanism unlocks. This should be short, presumably. Thief. Heavy door has opened. Root resin. Hmm. Okay. I might actually like to switch around positions of these, maybe? Yeah, so I can quickly switch. Health is always something I want to be on, but the other flasks might... A bit less. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's sort of moving right to left, kind of, you, in terms of two-handing. You start sort of in between, if you press X and R, well, up, up face and R, it moves you one to the left, which could, which would normally be right weapon two-handed. And then if you press X and R again, you'll stop two-handing it. Well, also, if you do this again, you'll just un-two-hand it, but it's moving it to the left, kind of. Interesting. Be wary of up and... Ah, oh, funky. That's where that trap is. A danger ahead. Thank you. Oh, okay, cool. I, wait, what? Never mind. Okay, interesting. I, if only I could just use this trap to get rid of them. Well, whatever. Okay. One, two, three. I expected more in the way of... Wow, alright. How am I... Wait, am I overburdened? Yeah, I am overburdened now. That was the problem. That was the issue. Right. Is that a helm on when I couldn't actually afford to have the helm on? Right. Thanks. Cool. And oh, that combo is brutal. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. And just one, two, three. Okay. Hate these guys a bit. And at least we can use Falfoot here. Honestly, it would be funny just forever have the Falfoot book buff active. Just literally always. Definitely would not be worth it, though. Go Skull of Ward, and what's the boss of this place? Don't give up Skeleton. Who is going to be here? This is... Try back. Seek friend. Close quarters battle. So this is... A... Grave Warden Duelist. Oh, wow. It's not expecting that. I, okay. One... Okay, two. I, this might be a Reduvia situation, actually. Maybe. Okay, I, alright, thanks. Hmm, nice. Okay, cool. Ooh, oh, wait, what? Oh, that was weirdly delayed. Okay. Cool. Grave Warden Duelist. Actually, we could say Slash, I think. Warden Duelist. Former gladiator to protect gravesides, weaker to slush and hemorrhage, actually very weak to bleed. Nice! Okay, so this is a Reduvia moment for sure. Imps can't bleed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Actually, in that case, I could just use the club for them, I think. Club should just bash them to death pretty handily. They're robots, basically, well, made of stone. Bludgeoning should be good. Want well, not if my range is literally useless, so... Can I... Mmm, anti-air. One, two, three. No upgrades, even. Oh, a smithing stone, that's fine. Hi, hello. Cool, and run in. One, two, three. Basically just the thralls from Dark Souls. Oh, but the... Basically a fake foul foot buff. Interesting. Just go down and... Thanks. Two, three. Cool. Alright. Cool. Interesting, but I, I keep getting hit by darts. Annoying. Cool, and just... Cool. Uh, what can I... Can I slam, 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 and dodge? Slam, slam, uh, what? Cool. Slam, slam. Okay. Using the arrows to do some of the work for me did help, but can't do everything. Big thing is we need Reduvia now. Might want to change out some of the stuff in my inventory. I've got a lot of things already. Don't want to have every single one of these taking up space. Uh, hmm. Okay. Alright, Grave Warden Duelist, we can try you out and alright, and you're gonna Thanks, cool. One, two, and nice! Very, very good damage there. Better take a face then. Epic Reduvia moment. And, oh, if both connect, it's basically guaranteed bleed? Maybe. I uh, can I run in and try to. Thanks. Just. Cool. Nice! Really, really good. And dodge. Ooh. Tough combo, and. Okay, cool, and. Uh, nice, run in it. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So that shockwave is basically a one shot. Alright. Maybe I just forgot to heal. Yeah. It. They give you a lot of runes, but. I was not expecting these enemies to be as. brutal as they ended up being. Two, three, but. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Another one over here. And just, just get over this way. Over this way, and cool. One, two, three. Alright. And one, two, three, four, five. This is more inaccurate than I might like it to be. Okay. So we'll them to drop down. And cool, cool. Thanks. Cool. Alright. Fun. One. Hmm. Cool. One, two, three. And the hemorrhage is good. Oh, a full catch it. That's fun. Build it by imps. Imps tongue. Undulating fourth blade because it's blood loss. An axe, but it needs more dexterity than I've got. Okay, cool. And you're gonna drop down over there, so. One, two, three. Oh, well, all right. Kind of tough. Should be at full health for this fight. Cool. Let's use this one. A little bit of health. That's all we can do with it right now. Okay. All right. So we can just... Could try using Reduvia Bloodwood up close. That would be funny. Does more damage that way. And two... One, two, and slam immediately. Immediate blood loss and slam and yeah that one cannot immediate blood loss on you or no never mind. Okay. Yeah that hitting in one two swing. Yeah, and that actually reliably staggers too. Instant blood loss on blood loss vulnerable enemies, so I can Oh alright. Thanks, and oh, okay. Not good. Wow! I did not get far away enough. Thought he would stay a bit more stationary. It's embarrassing. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Okay. Not the, not the best showing on my end. Really. 
Where these are actually... This is slightly better in some ways. Kind of just trade-offs. Okay, one, one, two, three, and... Wait, what, what? Oh, come on, I... Okay. Annoying. I, I can't let that stand. But if we have the... It's not evenly divisible by six, so I wonder why it gives 80 specifically. Well, whatever. One, two, three. Cool. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Nice. One, two, three. Alright, and... Come on, Imp. Thanks. One, two, three. They seem a bit more evasive in Elden Ring than they were in Dark Souls 3. Equivalent enemies, the undead thralls. Come on. Drop down and... Cool. One, two, three, and all right. Oh, okay, we all right. Uh, okay. Cool. Sling and one, two, three, and all right. You will try harder. The future ends. Okay. Tough, tough. That is not as much as I wanted or expected or intended. Now we just switch this out for the funny Reduvi again. Cool. All right. This, the simplest way to do it would be, of course, kiting him from range, but it's not as funny as just going in to stagger with a hemorrhage. So, and just one, two, and thanks. All right. One, two, and thanks. And oh, well, all right. And, okay, cool. Hemorrhage. Nice. One, mm hmm. One, two, and... Alright, I... Okay. Hmm. Hemorrhage on you. I think there some build-up issues and questions then. Uh, I don't like that. Really don't like that. One, two, three, four. That's a four-hit combo. One, two... Well, it can be a four-hit combo if he wants. Two, three, four, and slash, and... Oh, well, not if I miss entirely. Annoying. In that case, yeah, we'll just have to be silly about this one. Where you down from range and get a lot of funny hemorrhages, and there we go. Oh, cool. Let's just take that. Nice. Bellfoot, Banished Knight, Engval. Cool. And a decent amount of runes. Decent. I shot Engval's ashes. And that bash on Engval. Two knights stop the wings of the storm. And the other one bash not Oleg is a busted summon. Checked at the invitation of a grace given lord. That would be Godric. Keeping watch over Master's Castle for many years, getting renowned as a hero, hero of the fringes. So would that be Fringe Rogue Hero's Grave or, or what? Another way we can leave this place. This is Erd Tree Burial, I believe. It was fun. Okay. Cool. Strong. Mm -hmm. Well, alright. I will simply go back. Buy more spells. Let me go over to the sorceress to get some stuff. We would be able to use Scholar's Armament for something. It wouldn't be amazing, but it'd be usable. Alright, Ghost Glove Wart. Oh, we got more. Alright, not just the other Glove Wart, but Ghost Glove Wart. Right now, even after death, cannot be strengthened by merely corporeal Glove Wart. <coughs> Spirit nestles close to it. Hmm. So does that mean it isn't a bell, or? Get our scroll. Wooden Blade Phalanx and Carrion Slicer. To learn. There you are. Shall we That's the lesson. Give a scroll. Oh, is that a Academy scroll? days. Well, Not entirely unfamiliar. Sure one of your lessons. Inquisitive spirit. This is good, but I do need a bit more intelligence for it. Hmm. Scholar's armament. I can use that, and it would be useful too. Stars is interesting, but <sighs> probably not until much later, due to the resistance's work. About sorcery. Powers embedded in Gwinsto, nature of such power, amber of the cosmos, and amber is fictional. Has the vitality, the vitality of the stars. 
not be forgotten. Study the stores of the life they were in. And the sorcerers these days, the power of the primeval current. In that case, we... Hmm. It's a good weapon for some enemies, so... Honestly, I probably want to stick with Stamp Upward Cut. Oh, this could use that, actually. But no, we want basic stuff. Do completely and or two next then, maybe. Maybe Fort Height? We're actually right, I want to fight a Gil now. Don't have the keys, but if I got keys here. First thing to do is to fight a Gil. Go over, take it down. <laughs> Doing alright for ourselves, but yeah, I probably want to use. Well, actually, if we're going to be fighting a Gil, we'd want Flame Fortification. Then Rise Spell and take. This is good. Since so Master's using Magical Sword, Sword Sorcery is notably effective. Yep, it's busted. Sleeping Slashed, without delay after performing another action, magic affinity attacks. That's the Cuckoo as payment for their contract. These are pretty good. We want to have Flame Fortification here. Actually, we could also just use Sorcery on the head, but... Uh, um, we could try it, but... I honestly think that using Bleed might be more effective, because it's set damage once the buildup is through. Doesn't rely on me being strong in any meaningful way. But, there will be something over here. I'll be able to see it. A. An encampment of certain things, which a dragon will sweep down and just destroy. Waiting here to be burned to ash. There's a gill. Nice! Okay, cool. Alright. Flying dragon a gill. Hmm, and do we have we do have our flame fortification up, so. Alright, cool. I'll just stay out of the way of that. Cool. Hmm. How do we wanna Oh, you're in a very inconvenient location. Okay then, alright. I will okay. Funky! Alright, and wait. We can with one hit though, but that was an exceptionally bad boy streak to go for us. We approach you from a bad side. Big thing is, we can talk to Yura now, and though we won't summon him, it will make him an available summon for the fight. Yell at us for taking on a Gil and call us stupid, but that's life. Okay. Roa are everywhere. It's only the other things we really have to farm. So, Yura should be over this way then. Hmm. Hmm. Alright! Let's have a quick chat with our friends who we took down never use. Didn't say anything yet, I don't think, but hello. Don't be we'll turn back before it's too late. Don't oh well he didn't say anything yet, interesting, because normally I guess we have to die again. We had to talk to them again to reactivate that dialogue track after fighting never use. Either way, if I can manage it, Reduvi, it would be really, really good, presumably. The best thing would be piercing damage, so some kind of decent bow could work wonders. Maybe. It's an idea. So flame fortification, and... Alright. Gotta get our runes back first. Alright. Cool, are you gonna breathe fire now, or what? Cool. Uh, the big thing is that fighting them on a horseback is actually usually not such a good idea. Brutally enough. Might think otherwise, but... One... Oh! I... Oh! Did that actually do bleed? That might have done bleed. Okay. Slash... Slash... Oh, wow! That's actually really, really strong. Okay. Uh, mm hmm Can I... One, two, three, and... Oh, well, all right. Mm -hmm. Tough. Okay. So that... We would need more Cerulean Tears, presumably, but... And more Cerulean Tier class would be very useful for this. Hi. Uh, hmm. Alright. And slash and what is your Oh well after the first hemorrhage. Build up the rest take more, that's right. Got about that. And where are you going? Nice. Oh well. Two, 
three, four, five, and okay, nice. It's gonna run over this way then, and okay, cool. All right then. Hmm. Trading hemorrhage is still good, but just gotta run in, run past, run away, and cool. Oh well, God of Flame still got us, but we'll live. Zoomably. Her flame fortification is still on, which is nice. I. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Kills fun. This is fun. But what will we do once this is gone? Is the thing. Just run this way, and the fire. Will oh, okay. Cool. All right. Hmm. We're over here, and also we ran out of our flame fortification, which is annoying. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Take that, and wait, we don't have enough to use flame fortification. That's really quite bad. Okay, so what now? We can just try this again, maybe, and see if we can... Oh, well, whatever, right, okay. Hmm, okay, and dodge, and okay, cool. Try to get more hemorrhage procs, maybe. I'll lay the foot and just hack away. It's an idea. And, okay, all right, well, okay, nice. Dodge that successfully. Can we hit the head? That's tough. I, okay, nice. One, two, three, four, five, and... Mm. All right, cool. Hacking away with weird weapons at its feet is maybe quite good. Possible idea, so can we... Slash it, slash it. Nice, it heals down. Cool. Great enemy felt, so let's use this. Cool. Quick... Oh, we, ah, stupid. Stupid. Dragon Heart. Draconic Power available at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. I need to be better about actually using that. Okay, cool. Heart ends. Cool. Flying Dragon. A gill. Normally drops. 500, 5,000. So, yeah, we messed that up again. Whatever. Okay. Well, really, really big enemies had a long time between that showing up and getting their runes, so we'll live. I'll live. Whatever. Dragon Heart, Brittle of the Gravel Stone, seized by Dragon Tracker, protects organ and beats vivaciously. When used in Dragon Communion, consume a Dragon's Heart, the altar makes its power yours. Terrible and savage looking thing, heart has a peculiar beauty to it. Well, alright, we can talk to Yura. Kill the dragon, though. that foul thing to rest, but, hmm, in the end, early on, so later on when difference between runes and that will be even more significant, so that would have made it go to 100 and then 7800, which would have been crazy. Beautiful and that dragon, something you might like to know, brought back to his dragon dominion, overcome by hunger for the heart, yearning for its strength. Little island off the western coast, which is through Coastal Cave. One day shed their humanity, hunger for a dragon, their yearning only worsens. Eternal torment. Mighty dragon makes them, but deadly is ruinous. Okay, cool. Alright. Cool. Big thing is, most of the things which will make me stronger... I've got a lot of what I need. Rushing... Golden Scarab, and then rushing to a farming spot for other stuff is already good, so... So whenever I see Rilla, I'm gonna take it. Let's just continue. I have some stuff we could buy. Well, actually, buying the Stone Sword Key from Patches right now might be a good idea, and then I could go to the Hero's Grave. Could be fun. Big thing is that there's also the Dragon Communion Sacred Seal, which would be nice to have. We'll see. In that spot. Alright. Hello there, hello. One, two... Okay, buckle my shoe. And there you are, we can just take a few more down, I guess. Keep on bloodying and... Oh, great. Fun. Real fun. And, okay, we can just move in and slash, slash, right, and cool. Slash, take you out, and oh my goodness, I, what is weighing me down? Don't know what's weighing me down, okay, whatever. Just die already, die, and oh, the timing on that is 
It's a bit to actually get going, so... Oh, please, I can't see any of you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Alright, cool. What a less build up. That was a little embarrassing, frankly. We don't have any runes to use right now, so... We'll come back for the shackle later. Margith's shackle. Hello. To nature, we'll move on. We'll inherit the shop. Never forget a face. Point after I'm gone. Purchase and moving on. It's dangerous. One imp statue seal. Hmm. Got one of those. For that. Eventually, I think it's after we go to Weirnia that you'll actually leave. So for now, it's kind of not really there. And there we are, but. Oh, so being going over a marker says the location too. <laughs> Alright, I think actually I should like to memorize. Uh, none of them really matter. Maybe choosing between Catch Flame and Flame Toss, depending on what we're using. Maybe how far away it is. Let's get another red quest then. Okay, alright. Okay then. Yeah, what I should have done is just, when it's almost dead, use the foul foot. Especially if it's a weaker boss, so I probably don't have to worry about as much. Okay, cool. And I. Oh, alright. We can just run through and run through the poison. Oh, but wait! You only get poison if you're barefoot. Oh, that's actually very cool. I didn't even think about that. Thing is, we probably want the Lord's Runes Greatsword here. This. Take off our. That. Cool. Hmm. That guy. There's going to be a way to get rid of the chariot eventually, but for now, we are in a state. Poison Bone Dart, Fringe Book Hero's Grave. Fun place, as always. Cool. Can jump down over there if you feel like it, but we're gonna work our way down methodically and kill everything in our way. Hi, hello there. One, two, and these are basically ghostly banished knights, and well, alright. This thing with one was bad for me. Oh, they hardly drop anything. Makes sense, because you could basically go with your first thing, and not that bad to kill. One, two, three. Can I even lock onto them? Can't even tell. Whatever. Okay, cool. Slam, slam, slam. Okay, all right. Ghosts are coming. And then we'll come back down again. Eventually you'll start falling, which isn't great news for me. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. We're going to keep on going. Keep on going. Stuff, it should change its position now and start chasing me more accurately go around one way and I think it will yep now it's falling over here so we'll yeah that was stupid I needed to wait for it to go past me so I could run oh that's really bad actually that's actually really bad big thing is there are pots we can drop on it to make this thing disappear which I believe should get me a special kind of bow which I won't be able to use yet It'd be nice to have it. Oh, that was convenient. Thank you. They might have some sort of override to make that happen here, just so that in case you mess up and... Wait, what? Because I was... Oh, because I'm not fully armored? So I don't have a helmet? Weird. Okay. That's funky. Hmm. We... If it's going to show up there, there's a chance we could just get the shackle. I wouldn't hate that. Mm -mm. Around here, there are going to be more ghostly banished knights. And I guess it would make sense for them to be banished knights. But banished knight Angval is the fringe folk hero whose grave this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right then. Cool. Keep on moving. Keep on going. Hello there. Hi. One, two, three, and just. Hmm, alright. Sell the way of that, and cool. Slam, two. And I guess we could get a critical on this 
ghostly night if we really felt like it. Fair enough. Where are you going? They just entirely disappear. Dropping down is a way to get over, but it's also a way to not get over. Actually, just running past might be a better idea. Just want to go so far at a given time and just wait for it to catch up for us and try to get down on the side, maybe? This is decent. But it is very, very fast. Oh, it doesn't see me yet, I think. And hidden path ahead. You can use this to break the thing. Okay, I... Oh, imps. Fun. One, two, three, four. Decently durable, actually. Surprise to me, and I... Okay, all right. Cool, and slam down. Two, three, four. All right. Hmm. I do have to go to drop something down on that thing. Let's see. Once I break that, I'll get some stuff, so... You know that one spot there's supposed to be a... Oh, alright, I don't like that. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Okay. Funky. I'd say maybe flame fortification would be good, but it shouldn't even be necessary now that I know the trap is there. I'll go off and I can just avoid it. And that's no longer in a convenient location for me. Lovely. Okay, cool. Good thing is, if I'm fast enough, I can just run through without having to deal with the poison. I've got enough resistance. I've already got more poison resistance than I did throughout my entire run as a mage. Because I actually leveled endurance when I did not level... The only thing I leveled during my mage run, I only leveled intelligence and mind. Literally nothing else. Just a little bit of mana and mostly just pure magic damage. Which was more than a little silly. And there we are. One, two, three. Okay. We'll wait a bit for you to get down. Fall behind you, you'll pivot and it'll take you some time. Cool, and somehow we have to get up there to drop a pot or something down on that guy, so we'll live. We'll live. Thanks, slam, slam. These are fun. I want Assassin's Talisman, that restores health on it. Kill could be nice, but I have to get up there somehow and drop pot on it. Send a drop on it when it's rounding a corner, if I recall correctly. Well, we'll see. Just gotta keep down over this way. You should turn around eventually to try to get me, but we're just gonna use this drop down. Thank you, cool. There we are, there we are. We'll just slam two, and we can get a critical hit, and all right, cool. Nice. The time that took was kind of frightening. Okay, cool. Then we know where the trap is, or at least we should, so let's try not to die this time. Hmm. Okay, then you're right here. Wait until the... Trap comes out, and then we run, we run, get out of the way until it subsides. Until it will subside, and we can just break right, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay, I, okay, interesting. Two, three, four, and die. Okay, cool. That was an unpleasant surprise. Did not like that at all. Okay, so... Cool. Cool. And just run through before that happens again. Get over to the... That location. Question is, do any of the other impeds breathe fire, or is it just the one? No invisible, I mean, no illusory wall. It's just this, who is a weird surprise attack. That would mean, presumably, an imp up top? Presumably. I can get backstab on one, and then we can just dodge, and on the other, we can. Get an actual backstab again. Funny. Okay, cool. Just one, two, and... Ooh, alright. Thanks. One, two. Hmm. Okay, then. So what's over here? Coffin head, worry of death. Yeah. Lightning grease. Interesting. Fulminating materials, lightning damage to attacks. Knife for throwing, animal bone, poison ice tip. With damage and build up poison, mostly just the poison. 
There's really nothing all that much here, but whatever. Darts are an idea, but that's all an idea. And we're... How are we going to get into a place to drop something on the guy? Big thing is, why is it always surprise attack? I hear imps, presumably. I surprise attack from somewhere. I up, therefore, first off, target lock. Oh, and that's a. What is that? Down ahead. So what if I? Ah, more stuff. Interesting. So what is that going to be? Going to be a. Grafted Scion? Wait, really? Wow, okay, that's tough. One, and can I just dodge and... Wait, how am I supposed to get you that? I, okay. Urtree's favor, oh, that's really useful. Two of them, wait, what? Well, we died. Okay, cool. Hmm, Urtree's favor is really strong, though. Well, I gotta take a bathroom break. So what then is the way to take out a crafted scion? Crafted scion weakness. It's weak to slice hemorrhage and frostbite. Oh nice. That's an interesting idea. Let me see. Take a quick bathroom break. Decently weak to hemorrhage. And then in terms of resistance, is it? We get the slash. Okay, cool. I'll be right back.
Okay, it's time to continue. Try that again, and yeah, we're gonna have to use Reduvia Blood Blade. Try to take on those Grafted Scions, presumably. Yeah. Big thing is that Margit should not... I should have a good window in which to use the Falfa, so it shouldn't be a huge problem. The fact is, I can make enough on my own that I don't need to worry about wasting them by using them too early anyway. So I'm not really in a dangerous position. We'll live, we'll live. I, I might want to come back and kill those later, though. The big thing is I think I can get a golden seed from taking down some of these guys, which would be nice. Hmm. From the boss of the area, I could get another flask use, I think. Which would be really, really good. And out of the way of that. Cool. Thanks. Cool. One, two, three. And just drop down here. No damage even, so that's just the way to do it. Do I see? Yeah, I do see you. Okay, cool. Dodge just Dang, wow. Okay. That was something. Alright. The imp's over this way. I'll need to slam down then. Nice. And just do that. Stay in there. And cool. Nice. Okay, and well, we can... Alright, that was actually really, really, really bad. Okay, cool. Not expecting the imp to be as merciless and damaging as it was. So we can kill you. Okay, cool. Oh, there is only to avoid. Okay. Hmm. So I see the fire coming. We run. And we run straight back. Straight back and as soon as that goes away, we run in again. Alright, we can run in. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Hmm. So the big question is, do I just try to run past those grafted signs and come back later, or... Nah, if that's over there, I need to go fight them anyway. Okay. Hmm. No meaningful difference here. Okay, cool. So we drop down again, we'll get more stuff. Continuance. Continuance. Okay, cool, so... Grab this and- wait, what? Damn, you okay? Well, that was something unpleasant. Okay, I- okay. Annoying? Really, really, really annoying, but I- wait, what? I- okay? Can I- really, really, really stupid. No one expecting it to get me like that. Dumb. Hmm. Okay. Damage on the slash, but... Hmm. Okay. Alright. Alright, then. I may be making a silly mistake here. We got the Erd Tree's favor, which is the important thing. I don't really need to kill those guys. Just need to... Get rid of them and avoid them, but... Mm, stupid, stupid. Okay. Hmm. Just gonna... Run and pass. Actually kind of painful. Kind of annoying, kind of annoying. I Okay. Thanks, thanks. One, two, three. Hmm. So dropping down actually... Might be worse for me than just running away and behind. Maybe. Because then it'll... I'll be close enough they can know how to continue tracking me, it seems. Because there's a difference there. So like, one, two, and... Okay, can I... Nice, nice, and... Oh, thank you! Cool. What happened to the other guy? Thanks, thanks. Just go down, try to take out one without aggroing the other. Maybe see if I have any terrain I could use? Probably not. Well, whatever. I'll live. Maybe, maybe. I hear you're coming. I don't like that. Really don't like that. Then we just drop down again and no damage, which is good. So we just slam and oh, well, alright. Two and can I do that? 
Now you're coming, which I don't like either, so I can just do that. And oh, right, uh, right. Okay, cool. Dumb and annoying. One, two, three, four. I've got to take off a helmet. Use a great sword, right? I do have to do that. Stupid. Hmm, okay. And now we just run, we run back. And then, cool. Okay. Graphics are a little misleading, so we'll just. Oh my goodness, thanks. Two, three, four. Alright. Hmm. If I run on through and use. Switch to Reduvia again. Put on the helmet again. Pray. Hmm. Okay. Big thing is I need that. Maybe I could try to get back over the bridge, but... They're coming down. Cool, which means we can just jump over, take these real quick, and... I well, alright, we'll just get these and... Okay. Fun, fun. I need those tears. What if I use this to kite you? That's an idea, but I... Well, alright. Not really a great idea. That terrain is less... Oh, but maybe I could use... Can it go through those areas? But actually what I could do is lure it back to the fire. That's, that's a concept. That's a concept. Interesting. Delightfully Devil of Seymour. Okay. Cool. Hmm. 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 are always nice to have. It's items. It's... Oh, well. Didn't start running soon enough, so we're probably kind of in for it. It's items. It's levels. It's strength in general. Items. Okay, cool. We survived. We survived that. So, cool. Tough. Very tough. Okay, well, okay. Hmm. Either way, that is a one-hit kill, and you can actually roll through the wheels if you want to be really silly, but it's understandably usually not a great idea. Okay, cool. Run in, we take on you. Hello there, hi. One, two, fall, and... All right, oh, fun, okay. Interesting, nice, and one, two, three. That went... Pretty badly, quite frankly. And what if I use this and, well, did not time our plunger, right? Okay. Now we need to run. Need to run over and try to drop down again before we get spotted and tracked. And No, that hasn't spotted me yet, it seems. That's good. Hello there, hi. Get in. Thank you. And dodge. One. Two, three, four. There you are. We have it, and just dodge the dart. Before and oh my goodness! One, two, three, four. Okay. So learning the grafted signs is somewhere where the fire would kill. That would be very, very nice if I can manage that. Probably can't. And okay, cool. And just nice. I can run it over this way and take you on. One, two, three, four. Alright. Cool. Nice. Then. Yeah, but the question really is, how much how well can they navigate in this specific space? I managed to lose could I manage to lose them or won't? We'll see. Andrick Soldier Helm. Wait for the other one to get over on the other side, and then... Well, we'll see. So another one up top, so... Kind of irritating. Cool, just stay out of the way of that, and get this, this real quick, and is there a side path? That is not a actual side path, so we'll just move out of the way of you, presumably, and try this, try that, and dodge! Oh, well... Hmm. Well... That guy is so slow getting over the bridge. Honestly, I, I'll be fine. Maybe. Getting behind it would be nice, but maybe if I let's allocate our charges, this should be good for what I'm doing. 
Okay. Hmm. Uh, you know, I say I don't want to go places kind of early, but I'm here right now. But to be fair, this is also a limb grenade, so... Even if it's a place you're definitely supposed to be coming back to later, it is still part of Limgrave, so... Whatever. Hmm, but not having the helmet on, definitely, is what caused me to take my damage. Probably, probably. This poison buildup simply was not happening before. I kind of think that the helmet might be what's preventing it. I wonder how that works mechanically. Okay. Alright then. One, two, three. Roll around. Go down to the next spot. Before anyone else comes in. One, two, three. And roll before crossbow bolt gets me. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. And just go off to the side. And can I slam? Oh, and the jump if it triggers the stagger. Pretty reliably gets it too. So, good to go. Turn around again. Thank you, go up that way, we'll try this another time, but that big jumping attack is a one-shot, so I cannot afford to get hit by it. Crazy amount of things in here, too. Hello there, hi. One, two, three, four. Here you are. Get over here, we'll... Thanks. Oh, okay. And just one, one, uh -huh. dodge, one, two, three, four, okay, mm -mm. where I've got the better, more flasks I have, the better, will be Reduvia for the Scions, actually I want to wear them over and out, but, big thing is that the sun on the bridge approaches so slowly that, can actually do that and what what the hell really kill yourself the stupid so many so many runes stupid i really shouldn't be here right now but whatever if i'm not going to be fighting i got first thing i need it's going to be a while until I actually fight the tree spirit. I'm just doing this now. Pass the science. See what I can find. Probably destroy the chariot. Hmm. The big thing is that I might not have enough FP to actually drop the pots like this. That's the thing. Oh, whatever. Stupid. And really frustrating, too. So I should have farmed bears or something. Get enough to buy the Margaret's Jackal or just bought a spell. Those runes wouldn't have gone away, so that is... I haven't lost a lot of big blood sins this run, it was just an abandoned cave and then in here. It's... I'm going in over my depth in a way that isn't even really going to be all that rewarding. I don't even know why I'm doing it then. Not because I'm stupid, but whatever. Hi. How many would they drop normally? Divide by six. That's a... How much of an increase? Oh, whatever. I okay. Thanks, thanks, die. Okay, and just drop down here. Thank you. Flame fortification will be useful, but take some time to get that going. I guess the question is, even with flame fortification, would I be able to survive the fire? I have the impression the answer is probably no, honestly. One, two, three, four. There you are. Cool. We've got another fork hatchet. One, two, three, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can probably just run past things now, now that I'm not worried about accumulating a decent bloodstain. Well, whatever. Thanks. Cool. Okay. I'll just... In the way of that, out of the way of that, and... Cool. Cool. Let's go in and take you down and... Oh, come on. I, all right. Two, three, four. Take that. And, okay. Hmm. Big old gouts of flame. Really, it is kind of just, what now? If I don't need the bloodstain, I could at least try to get them through first, but I 
So what would trigger both of them to drop down? I don't have any way to get them down quickly, but... I assume we would make the other one drop down too, if we... Yeah, and then we can just go down the other way, and the other one should come shortly too. Yep, there we are, so... Let's just try this. Okay, cool. So being on the bridge is useful for me, but I... Thanks, alright. Well, okay. Let's actually just try to see if we can get you in the fire passage. And if so, what would happen? Can you come through here? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. Fun, alright. Get over this way, and... Cool, cool, and alright, we're just gonna... Wait, huh? Only once? Weird. It was an interesting idea, but... Hmm. I'm honestly probably better off at least whittling them down a little bit on the way back. Big thing is that now I know I can just... Beat them up by way of... I could get Reduvia down, use Reduvia to get them down a little, and then have the fire do some of the work for me. But the fire does not stagger them or anything, and it seems they can block it with their shield, or at least the damage ticks take time. Which is a little silly, but that's life. Yeah, and being in a somewhat late game dungeon, in the, well, more of a mid game dungeon, in the first area is. We need some interesting and funny things going on. It is still funny that these guys hardly take any actual... hardly give any runes, even though they're in here and kind of annoying to deal with. Just because you can access this area first thing, and I think they didn't want it to be too cheesy. Thanks, cool. Pointless repost. Entirely pointless repost, but it's fun at least. Okay. So we can go for two blood blades on the grafted sign, basically. We have to make sure that we can dodge the jump attack even when it happens as that is instant death no matter what i don't want that to happen cool okay two three four there you are hello friend hello and one one ooh, ooh that was really bad all right all right then hmm. yeah i the big thing is that going down here will eventually let me knock out the chariot i think I should focus on that first thing. Set away the fire first, but... And now that's declining, so we can go in and take down you. Nice and... Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Good stuff. Okay. Alright. Get past this, switch to Reduvia, put on a helmet again. Yeah, we'll be okay. This should be... Actually, though, maybe the Kaiden... Well, it's actually... Kaiden's actually worse against Strike. That's the thing. Get this on. And once the first guy drops down, the second one will be soon to drop, so... There we go. Then we just drop over here. Run behind. And cool. Thanks. One, two, three, four. And just dodge. Okay. All right. Hmm... Ooh, alright, cool. One, two, and- Oh, what? Huh? Oh, that attack is actual hell. The big thing is, if I'm at half health, I can't afford to try a single thing against them. No matter what. You know, rolling in, running away, whatever I do, is simply not going to work. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, then. Okay. <sighs> Tough. Tough. The thing I can really do is just get less greedy and continue just using Blood Boy to proc hemorrhage on them. The only thing I can really actually manage so I can- Oh, wait, what? Huh? What the hell? That didn't work. Was it faster or was I slower? It doesn't even make sense. And of course it was kicking my corpse. Go to hell. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, I should just... Ignore the science for now. We got Urtree's flavor, which I won't be able to equip until I have. Another talisman slot, but so be it. And then... 
run past them all, kill, kill the chariot, and then just, yeah, do it that way. Tough. I kinda hate this. I kinda hate this. Uh, there's literally nothing there, literally nothing there, but I, yeah, just, I don't know. Is I just not running as much as I was last time, or? Really, it boggles the mind. One, two, three. And we'll go through here. Thanks. One, two, and cool. Nice, and... Oh, interesting. It's not close enough, so I just did an aerial attack instead. Well, whatever. Keep doing d going down and figure I should be able to take out. The guys want to take out, so... Get in here. Get in. Thanks. Two, three, four. Thank you, thank you. I. Thanks. One, two, three, four. Right, and another four catch it. I wonder if sometimes they drop their greatsword, which I believe is a full berge. We haven't actually encountered any of the greatsword ones yet, though. Okay, so the fire lingers a bit longer than the graphical effect, which is annoying. Well, the graphical effect lingers a bit, lingers a bit longer than the damage, which means I need to run in a little before it's all gone, presumably. Sucks. Okay. So then, in order to knock down the pots, we'd have to go down here. More drop downs and... Okay. This is what and where. Were you down to something? Hmm. These are corpses. Lovely surface. And then and then what? What are we gonna do? Hmm. Scions could be interesting to fight here, but no, no. So how am I going to get to the? Oh, the elevator over here. Strong go ahead. Down required a hit and then something incredible. And then, oh, if you drop... Oh, that's actually just a trick. Okay. Now we're up here. Should be able to use a pot to knock them down. To kill the chariot, which... Well, we'll figure out the timing. It can take a bit. Now you were over here and we see a... Oh! Halberd Banished Knight. Stone Sword key right there. Fun. I can- oh, interesting. Alright, and can I- slam, slam, and just pull- I- oh, what? What in the- okay. Fun, not really. Hmm, alright, well. And what if I- hmm. Cool, can I stop an uppercut and- oh, huh, you are tough. Interesting, and I stop uppercut and- are you not poise breakable? Thanks. Okay, all right. And oh, I could do that maybe and stop and kill you and another hit. There we are. Probably would have killed me too. That was tough. Strong go ahead. Yeah, no doubt about it. So then, let's see. Figure out how to drop down the first off revenge. Oh, but if I can't lure you over here. If you're not actually going on the other track yet, it won't do anything. Hmm, okay. Alright, then we can... Ah, there we are. And we'll... Wait, what? Never mind, we can... That does not quite work yet. Hmm, this is actually really stupid. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there you're going, there you go, okay. Finally got the idea. How do I want to actually drop this down then? Okay. Then we'll try this. Some pebble. And while you're turning around, we'll try that. And can we? Hmm, no, that was way too high. Use this. Go for a aim for the head. Will that work? And just, can we? Nice. And can we? Wait, do we need a bow? Do we need a bow? We might actually need a bow for this. 
that's possible, but I don't have any kind of monocular or anything. That's tough. Maybe a throwing knife? Maybe. I am more of a little confused. Hmm, okay. And for that, presumably. And for the chain, maybe we could make it work. And once we hear that, we can... Really? Really? Okay. Hmm. I'm up higher, maybe? I am. Draw that again and connect. Huh. I really just... That's stupid. It's actually goddamn stupid. Real ring. It's the equivalent of the monocular. The Church of LA. Oh, do I? I bought that, didn't I? Didn't I buy that? I must have, right? Did I? I just never bought the damn telescope. Oh my goodness. That is stupid. Okay, I... And... If I can hit that with a bow at all, it's gonna be through some... Screwy. I mean, without a bow. I... Where the hell do you buy a bow? I have to go all the way to the Nomadic Merchant in the Coastal Cave. Go to hell. Kill yourself. Or just buy the stupid telescope. I'm actually infuriated. Said I probably this probably doesn't even go far enough. I bet it doesn't. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Go to hell. Kill yourself. Go to hell. Can't even. I actually can escape. But I just. <sighs> so many runes that I could have at least used for something, and I just. It's legitimately infuriating. What if I. And. Well, that did okay. <laughs> Thanks. Kill some sheep. Thank you. A beast deliver. Sliver of meat, and. How much will this deal if I use this on you? Oh well, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Beast deliver. Diverse beast boosts damage negation, so. How did I forget to buy the stupid telescope? It's infuriating. Whatever. Big thing is that I need to get the short bow. Almost definitely. Uh, blind, met him, direction, Borsh Blunt, couldn't find his nose, good egg, that's in one another. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's just try some of that, some of that stupid telescope. Yeah, okay. But aim at that, and then, so that on the screen, will I be able to... More or less. Okay. That could be worth using. I would at least be able to aim it correctly. Uh, I just... Genuinely hate this. Actually infuriating. Okay. It is funny that they have a dungeon just right off the side of the very first area in the game. It... Takes a certain kind, certain level of Kajones. And then, of course, Tree Sentinel, but Tree Sentinel isn't nearly as bad. It's just. They really just pound your face in right at the start. They don't ease you in it at all. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's just jump down, presumably, and just run past all these guys. I don't need to deal with that crap, honestly. Cool. Then we'll just run past 
All right. Breaking that thing is going to be crucial. Throwing knives might actually do the trick. Not sure. A bow would be really would be the best option to have, but that would require going all the way to Coastal Cave. I honestly don't really feel like that. And well, if you're coming over, that kind of made that decision for me, didn't it? Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. All right. Cool. Smithing stone and just a normal smithing stone. Okay, cool. Hmm. A lot of crap in my inventory right now. Don't quite like that. Hmm. Big thing is, I probably want to use. Throwing knives might do the trick. The big thing is that I don't really have anything else to use throwing knives for other than that, so it'd be a good little use of what I have. So I. Can, oh, come on. Alright. Two, three, four. Mask of Wondrous Physic. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. To drop down. Other spot. Question is, what if I went the other way? Is that even a, even an option, or does this lead to anything? Yeah, you have to go down here. That's what I thought, but I had to check. Let's go up the elevator again. Take out that banished knight again. Hope that I can hit the pots with a correctly aimed glintstone pebble, which, frankly, I bet I can't. <laughs> All right then. All right. All right then. <laughs> okay. Go over here. Try that again. Okay. Got a really annoying guy to deal with, but whatever. Oh, and now it's switching locations, so less damage dealt to us, but do have to take out that Banish Knight, presumably, to get that work, and I... Thanks! All right, and cool. Thank you. And... Nice. Mm -hmm. I Okay, cool. Nice, and can I... Slam it. Ah, oh, come on. Continue phasing. That can only end well for you. Well, definitely can only end well for you. The question is, what about me? I uh, am just... Ooh, ooh, Dragon Communion. That's only a good thing. And, okay, cool. And, slam, and one, two. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Ooh, what? What? All right, and... Wait, what the hell? Huh? Oh, they can just keep going. They don't need to do the jump. They can just continue swinging. That was a very unpleasant way to learn that lesson. I... I honestly should just say... I should just go to Crystal Cave, get a short bow. That is literally the only way I'm going to be able to hit those pots, most likely. Won't help if things keep, keep getting messed up for me, but whatever. Uh, I, mm, I don't need to be here. I don't need to be here. That's the big thing. But, cannot stop myself from poking my nose where it doesn't belong. I mean, getting Gold Scarab was nice, though, and that will only accrue value as time goes on, but I still just really, really, really hate a lot of this. Okay, cool. Let's get that guy down. Everything else will be much easier, but I... Okay, cool. Let me kick you down. That won't even send you that far. Well, whatever. I... Okay, one, two. Backstabs! I think we're a lot stronger in Dark Souls 1 than pretty much any other Souls game. Or at least easier to chain, which I guess in a way made them stronger. Okay, cool. This doesn't work. I'm going to have to try another way and probably cry. Thank you. Cool. All right, then. We'll dodge it. Okay, I need to... One, two, three, four. All right. All right, then. Cool. Go off of that and go in. 
Yeah. Okay. Rejuvia combined with everything else would be the way to take them down. Let's see. In the end, they're more of a trap than an actual encounter you're supposed to be, really, so... Well, whatever. Just gotta kill that Banished Knight and figure out a way to actually take the... Drop the pots on them. I think, basically, if you do it while they're turning, they'll collide, but... We, when you hear the noise, that would be your sound cue. I hope. By the way, once we destroy it, it'll be gone. I won't have to worry about it anymore, so... That's an idea. It takes so long, too. So how far up you have to go. Stupid. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, then. Alright. That's damage. That's damage dealt. And we'll... Go over have that before other crap happens. And... Although, there, we'll just slam you down and- oh, what? Huh? No! I- okay. Stupid. Annoying. Okay, just cannot slam down on you and- wait, what? Huh? Stupid. And just- oh, okay, cool, and slam down on you and- one, two, three, and- okay, I- oh, what? Huh? Why do you get poised for that bowl? Stupid. I really just... If I go back again and it doesn't work, I'm going to kill somebody, so... I can't be here anymore. Need to go to the Merchant by Coastal Cave and just give up. That's uh, Dragon Community Incantations are quite strong. There's no doubt about that. Also, the physical ones actually, so we'll see. Just buy that stupid bow. Give up on life. Okay. Uh, I genuinely am furious. Okay. Leg is good and okay, cool. Nice. And try that again. Ooh. Take that. Take that again. And take. And there we have it. You'll fall down. Cool. Thanks. Good enough. Yeah. Okay, cool. Decent enough to fight the trolls. And cool. Alright, and oh wait, whatever. One, two, and three. Okay. Fun enough. But that was what we needed for up. That's cool. For the bow. Alright then. Guess we'll just go down and try to get some stuff. Okay. Look around this beach a bit more in the future, but. <laughs> Indeed, I don't need to kill wildlife. It is a cruel thing to do, but. You know, if it's here, I may as well do it. I think the thing is, the only stuff I actually need in terms of stuff like that is the flight pinions and such, so I don't need the turtle meat. I really don't. And, oh, come on. Alright. Hmm. Can I take that? Roll. Can I standard strong attack? Roll. One tap as opposed to the others, so. Got a good angle there. It's gonna be string or ruin fragment. Glowstone and, oh, our first rainbow stone? Interesting. Simple processing, colors of the rainbow, distance above fall, children on the fringes. Well, we had that from Kale. Discover that race, at least. Get back here faster or something, but to actually get down there, I'm not sure you could. Just jump on that ruined segment. Maybe. Hi. What do you need? Don't, Don't want any trouble. Matic Merchant and Armor's Cookbook, Boluses, Short Bow, Arrows, and Stone Digger Trolls, and Land Squirts. Then Armor's Cookbook, Firebone, Firebone, Arrow, and Trolls, and Boluses. That's decent. Simulating, City Fogginess, Avoid Sleep, Border Loss, Broadsword, 
Iron Shield, Easy to Use, Heavy Wooden Shield, Iron Engage, One Attack Range, Easy to Connect, Have a Club, we need a Short Bow, and some Arrows. Do we have any? We have... Mm, all done? Be on your way. Ouch. That wasn't especially kind. So, there's a land octopus that I might like to try to beat or something, but... Well, we could just... Could I even get up here? Yeah, kinda. But it's just birds. Yeah, nothing all that special, but... Could presumably use this as a shortcut to that merchant. Okay, cool. Apparently, originally, this is where the game was supposed to start, where you would originally wash up. Oh, but we can jump on those ruins. Interesting. Now we have Catch Flame now, so... This guy should be a joke. Yeah, okay, cool. Two little bits of fire, and they go down. And we can't use that yet, so we need to use our... This. Okay, cool. One, two. Got both of them. Nice. Land octopuses to take down, but this should be the land of Crystal Cave, I think. And there are more of... more skeletons? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, and... Yeah, really just... really? Wow. Weird amount of skeletons, too. Gold pickled velvet. Oh, that's convenient, I guess. Well, whatever. Got a little bit more, but... I guess we can... Okay. Black Pinion. Fortitude. Is the waterfall, or... Well, that would just kill you. Big thing is, if we go over here by the spirit spring, the question is where it would send us. Let's try that. And that would... Aw. Oh. Can I even get over there, or... I don't think so. Up on this would mean... Or is this just a way to get down? That's the question. Hmm. If I jump up, can I get a top here? Yeah, I can. So where will this go, I... Oh, that just goes right down to where things started. Okay, then. Cool. Back to the first step, so it just loops around, basically. Okay. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted or needed, but... <coughs> Interesting, nonetheless. <coughs> ah. Ah. <coughs> ah. Okay. I am... Yeah, it's definitely an allergy to the dog. If it's like that, he's like cleaned up a lot of the dog's vomit yesterday, so. I've had a lot of exposure to its proteins and substances. Even gloved and all, so. Presumably that's why, maybe. Oh, but I don't think I can actually get down there, can I? Actually, I could. So that's how you do it, and that is one way to do it. Kill an octopus, get inside the cave to interact with the grace, so I can go back sooner or later. Probably just go, actually, get inside the cave sooner or later. I could just take on this cave now. I could. I probably should. Oh, there's Bach. Got beaten up, huh? It hurts. Revenge, yeah. I have to take revenge on the other demi-humans from... Mm. Okay. Question B, you to pulp and up like me? Well, probably not. Don't think I'll do that. Touch that grace. Maybe kill that land squirt, go back and try crap in. Because I do still have a bloodstain, relatively small one, but a bloodstain in there. So... At the very least, I could take on the octopus. Also, does seem to be an Ashivore Scarab over there, so... At least do everything there is to do on this beach. Cool. Giant land octopus. Can I cut off the tentacles and sever the tentacles or what? I, I know you can do it in theory, but... In practice is another story. Head's the best place to hit, so I... Oh, come on, alright. Cool. Hmm, eventually it'll regrow this stuff, so I... Oh, please, alright. 
What in the- what? What? Huh? What the hell? Guess we're going through this goddamn cave. Okay. Hmm. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh well, oh well. One, two, oh, but we- right, because we have the torch up. Right, okay. So we won't be able to do this in light, because I don't have this weapon. I wield the bolt in one hand. Okay. Oh, well, they're high. Cool, just... Uh, we have to fight in the dark. I don't have any kind of night vision, so... Oh, please. At least you're weak. Okay. But... Mm -hmm. Okay. Then to go farther down would be try rolling grass. And we got more, so... Just take you down. Should be others. The question is how I would take down the other demi human chieftains, what they're weak to. It's not a long dungeon, it's hardly a dungeon at all. Okay. One, two. We got you. One, two. Okay. Do you think they're weak to fire? Cave moss and. We went through that way. Bloodstain. Land Octopus Ovary. Milky White Ovary of a Land Octopus. Humans in order to bear young. Blood that runs through them. Only human blood. Old Knight Istvan. I don't really need that right now. Demi Human Chieftain. Chief. Hmm, which one daggers to attack? Get a slash and sleep. Oh, very weak to slash, so Reduvia would be good here. I will keep that in mind. Mm -mm. Soldier helm and yeah. Cool. Got enough light in here to make this work, so. Where is Chieftain number one? We got you. Dummy human chief and one, two, three, four, and alright. We can try that again. And can I mmm alright, all right. cool. Thanks, and another, another, or what what? Come on. I, what? Huh? I am horribly underleveled still, but it doesn't seem like actually hemorrhage staggers them even, which is tough. Okay, let's try that again. Just jump down. So this is still a good weapon using here actually. Weak enough. One, two, yeah, right. It's not that much worse, and it's faster, too. Okay, alright, let's just get our runes. There, those are, so... Just... One, two, three, four. Run, and dodge, dodge, and... Thanks, dodge, and... Mm -hmm. Dodge, okay. Thanks, take you out, and we got one down. That's good. Okay, a couple to go. Thanks, thanks. Oh, well... Other one should be coming eventually, but I think it's a certain distance away in the cave. The big thing is, I can't tell where anybody or anything is because of the lack of light. One, two, thanks. One, two, alright, we need to use this class of Prince and Tears, and where is the other guy? Where's the other one? I don't even see you. And, oh, over there, okay. Faster, which is good for me, so... Can take you down individually and cool. Let's just slash, slash, slash. Good damage. And just taking down the rest might be decent. We'll see. One, two. Okay. All right. Try that. And one, two, two. All right. And can we slash and one more, one more, and die. There we are. But we still have to kill the other demi humans, so can we mm, didn't really have time to use other stuff and they're still here. Now they're cowering in fear. So well Punishment, punishment. Okay, cool. Sewing needle, block the demi humans, price sewing needle, curve like a thing, price possession, tailing tools, armor alterations, and a set of grace. 
Interesting. So in that case, let's just continue. Anyone else around here who we still need to slice up or what? Some more coming actually now that fog wall is open. So on to, yeah, okay, cool. Fun. Glass shard again. Hmm. Frankly, the foul foot would not have been worth using there. Silver firefly. Cold water judged by sunlight or magic riches. So that would be items. And just go out through here. But this is not what you want to use. First off, weak foe. Seek church. Don't you dare. Let's copy that. Like an imbecile. And use. Well, I would have already done something similar. Hmm. So that. Words, concepts, phrases. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, cool. Close enough. Farther away so you don't accidentally proc it. Weak foe ahead, yeah. Someone else over there or what? Another demi human in our way before we get through. Yeah, but that wasn't even really a dungeon. And that. Oh, hello, demi human. Thanks. Cool. Smoldering butterfly. I should have been using this already. It's my one good one handed weapon. One, two, yeah. This is actually ridiculous. A falcon. And I do have the dexter at single sided blade, slashing attacks with its sharp blade, and affecting its thick armor and hides cover and tough scales, unique style with spinning motion attacks. Udon, firebone, and neutralizing boluses for fighting rot with fire and all that. Yeah. Application of dealing with rot, application of fire in particular. So the Chapel of Dragon Communion should be around here. Hole. I guess so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go over here and should be a grace nearby. We can actually do some Dragon Communion stuff, but greater stuff will come from other locations. Big thing is, I might actually like to have Wondrous Physic Ultra Garments. Let's see. For here, next is the dead dragon. Send the altar, ritual, dragon communion, and... Oh, it will be a while until I can use any of these. Wow, I should wait. Dragon Maw, Bite Foes, Hunted Dragon Species upon their hearts, pure and overwhelming power. Tear through with dragon claws. Spew flame and breath. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright then. I will... Maybe look around a bit more to see if there are items, but we'll see. Free raw. Then that, yep, Church of Dragon Communion. And up on top of here, or... Hmm. Beautiful. And, ah, Exalted Flesh. Figuring repast, delicacy of the bandwidth, exclusive benefit for heroes. And what's interesting is you can see that it's... Well, Flesh Pickle in a solution is that it's basically a fake item in that. Drawing Communion Place for Draconic Power Gathers over in Kaled. Something better than this. Mushroom and... Okay. Hmm. Did get that. The Exalted Flesh increases physical attack power for a given time, but only physical. Check anything else around here. We got... Some more birds we may as well take down. Okay. One, two, three. That did not quite work. Just flight pinions. Yeah, there are other items around the area, so. Just a great dragonfly head. Okay, I guess. Hmm. Keep on looking. Then that from a skull or Yeah, okay. Hmm. And the sheep are actually trying to fight me. Okay, then. Suit yourself. Do want to take on down that land octopus, but also we have box quests to do. Hmm, okay. Right, and this is... Oh, they're just crabs. Fun. Yeah, time for grab. Old god. Likely dog? Frankly, I think it's grab. I might be wrong. 
Oh, we talked about trying to take down those land octopuses and yeah Let's see if it works tarnish golden sunflower oh right there fun crafting items modern urge tree is retaining holy essence you can use that for holy water pots i think maybe okay i'm gonna give this stuff to buck <coughs> and fight the octopus go back try the Stupid stuff with the banished nut again, and that is a just a random turtle, I guess. Okay, one, two, three. Dog, neck meat and strip of white flesh. And what is this? This is smithing stone two. Okay. Hmm. Keep on going. And oh, there's an ash of war scarab. Exciting. That would be. What's over there? I hmm, try that and try that again, and we got oh one somber smithing stone. It's not bad though. You ahead, worry of dog, and just a shipwreck off the shore. Interesting. Hmm. Anything else over here, or probably not. Get a mushroom. And talk to Bach again, and yeah, Bach is over here in that cave. Did we even get? I don't think we bought the short boat yet. I need to go back. And, yeah. Hmm. Don't even have arrows either. I do have? Actually, let me see. I just don't have any arrows. I could craft some using. I could craft some. If you do a pulp just like me, give the sewing needle. Got it back. Yep, I did. There we go. Cool. Yep. Thing to say or what? Took a while, huh? Thing like that, a seamstress, so I get all of her in a reply. Sweet old mom, can't crawl up and die. Very kind, seamster like her, can't just crawl up and die. Okay, cool. Get that short bow then and escape this wretched place. Now at least. Once I can get a light spell, that would probably honestly be nice to have. We'll see. For now, I'm just gonna get the short bow. I can craft bone arrows now, which is good. Oh. Come on. You're gonna make me want to kill this guy. Send horseback, rapid succession, bows must also be equipped. Okay, be on your way. Whatever. And item crafting, arrows and bolts, bone arrow, we can make those. Thin and whittle, those are good. We can make ten of those, sure. Alright, cool. Ten bone arrows and automatically equipped, sure. Alright. More than enough resources for that. Cool. And just one, two. And with two in hand, we should be even better. One, two. Alright. Get down here, why don't you? A falcon, though, is it's interesting as a choice. I want to see if I can take out one of those land octopuses. Okay, again, from right, another somber smithing stone. Adds distance to the arrow's flight. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, then I will try this out and slash and. Oh, wow! We actually managed to sever it correctly. It's impressive. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Die. There we are. Reduvia is still just really, really good. Octopus ovary. Cool. Let's kill another. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just for fun, just for fun. Another land octopus ovary, and you have some kind of thing over there, so I run in, take you out. Slash, slash, slash. Nice, and now you don't have your tentacles, which makes you a bit of a sitting duck. Thanks, and ooh, alright. We need more to use the blood blade. Cool. Nice. And die. Die. There we are. There we are. Cool. Fun. Strip of white flesh. Slash up. We might be inflicting some blood loss there. Strip of white flesh, and yeah. We really got left. I think there is another kind of enemy over there, but killed the giant, which is good for us. Not for him, of course. 
And then, and then, well, actually not a giant, but a troll. How to figure out how to get this guy. Let's ash of war scare him down and can I, can I, mm -hmm. follow the path. What is he going to drop? Ashes of war are always nice to have, so. Lead on over this way, and can I just, for here, slash, slash, and we got stamp sweep. Oh, stands prevent recoil for a sweeping strike. Swords, axes, hammers. Okay. That was decent to have. Decent to get. Campsite over there with somebody, and... Basically, we're done with the coastline, at least. Wasn't gonna take a long time, but, yeah. Golden rune, golden rune, and... What about you? What about you? This guy over here, washed up on the beach. In the drop, we got you, so... Oh, they're Kaiden Cell Sword. We will take you down. Sorry. Not really. Beating to a pulp, yeah. Strip of White Flash. Got one of those already, so... Anything over here, or what? We should be okay. Let's go back to Hero's Grave. Try that again. Oh, but this is actually right by Stormvale. I don't think we can get to those trees. Don't think there's a way to do that. Underneath, basically, Storm Hill. So, then... What now? Could go to Dragonburnt Ruins, among other things, but... Do you want to go back to the Hero's Grave? Not like that, not like that. Cool. Okay. Let's try this again, and actually, honestly, I might want to stick with Reduvia. It's fast for one. Use the blood wood to do decent damage from a distance, and should be okay. Maybe. It said imps can't bleed though, so just have the speed for us. We might still want the great sword there. But the banished knight for sure. Banished knight for sure. Okay. I'm gonna go through. Try to drop down. See if it works. Yeah. The arcane scaling is useful for sure. So. Three, four, five, six. Oh, they're probably bleed immune due to being literally ghosts. It would make sense. Okay, one, two, three. All right, cool. And yeah, that didn't really work, did it? And cool, one, two. They're surprisingly easy to interrupt, though. That's nice. Okay then. Okay. Hmm. Means I can stance break. Just things I can't. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and can I? Yeah. Good damage. Just using it for the damage is really quite strong. And I. Oh, well. Alright, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, great sword for those guys, without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's. Oh, but would that mean I wouldn't be able to bleed the others then, or am I. Well. The big question is, what was preventing it from bleeding? I can't even tell at this point. I mean, preventing poison buildup. Mm -hmm. Okay. That'll break the chariot, and then we just go back normally through. Without having to worry about the chariot. Kill the scions, kill other things, and try our best, presumably. I am in a state. Fringe Folk Heroes Grave. Mm -mm. Short bow is crucial. Is crucial. Turning around is the one opportunity we get to just move freely, so. Yeah. Okay then, okay. Thank you, thank you. We go down, go down. They actually look a bit like Wayndale Knights, which is interesting. Those stone chariots, the automata. Hmm. Question is, there is something down there too, but I oh presumably it would just be indicating the presence of this maybe. There's a way to get back on the right track, so to speak, after getting Urtree's favor. Maybe, not sure. Come on, get over here. Four and all right. One, two, three, 
before. The reach does help here. Okay. Shackle and then stone sword key and a cracked pot. One of the nomadic merchants in Kaled. Hmm. Do have a good amount of keys already, though. This is a thing. We'll just jump and one, two, three, four. Okay. Cool. Come on, come on. Okay. Don't need to go to Kaled right now. What I need is Reduvion here. Then. Helmadon, and we kill the soldier and try our best to not die. We'll try our best to not die against the soldier. Destroy the chariot, and then we're kind of chilling. Kinda. We'll see. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Yeah. Oh, but we already sent it down, which is good. What we gotta do is find a way to take that guy down. The bleed won't be affected, but the damage itself should be. Maybe, hopefully. Big thing is just going to be outranging him. Alright. Outranging both of them. Cool. Got you in here and just reduce your blood blade and. Oh, well, alright. Damage is pretty good, but I. Hmm. I. Slash it. No such thing as hemorrhage there. Okay. We just need to literally just try our best to. Come on, come on. Blood blade you down. This is by the way of. Okay, cool. Pure damage. Okay, nice. Nice, and die, die, and. Alright, cool. Only took way more than it should have. Question is now that we've got the bow and the bone and arrows. Bone and arrows. There we are. Let's try this out. And can I? What if I. Hmm. There we are. When will you actually get down? To, going down this way. I. Cool. Cool. Nice. Then and then then we'll aim for that right there. This is the level of precision required is tough. Hmm. Wait for that. Okay. Come back. And cool. And can we? Oh, oh, never mind. Let's they come back over here is when I need to do it. Okay. Maybe missing my chances is the thing. Let's not miss my chances. To get a little closer. And... Okay. Once it comes over here and we hear the hit... We hear that thud, we do that, and this should be our... Q and boom! No more of you. Got an Urdrig rainbow and some great arrows too. Nice. That's good, that's good. Now it's gone forever. Cool. And Urdrig. I don't think we got any runes from that though. Well, whatever. I'll wait. And then we can just take it down for fun. Oh, you need to be really, really precise with that. Yeah, okay, cool. Boom. See if any of those respond. It shouldn't matter though. There we go. We got rid of that thing. So, cool. Try finding those scions. Now, maybe. It's an idea. Now, for the talisman from before. Urgery Grey Road through and through. Urgery Stone. Fit in battle went hand in hand. Tent with a golden great arrow. Or damage with faith. True worth used with holy infused arrows. Grimmed great arrow penetrates through enemies. I need a bit more for that, but that could be okay against dragons, maybe. Prefer a normal great bow, most likely. Great arrow, more just a spear, monster strength employed by a lord's army. Alright. Now we can just go down and through, so... Put that briefly and try this out. Yeah, I... Not having to deal with the... Those guys is going to be great. Very, very convenient. Okay, cool. Thank you, please don't poison me. And now the chariot's gone, and I don't need to worry about it when going through the dungeon. I can just go through at my own pace. Great. 
So the scions, killing the scions is probably gonna be its its own whole thing. We'll see. Hmm. DPS is pretty good, but I, being unable to bleed is hurting this significantly. They don't seem to drop anything though. When I three, four, five. All right, cool. And just thanks, cool. Jumping attack, but I. Hmm. So that is a bit closer to a standard plunging attack then. So now we hopefully take out the Scions. Let's maybe see what's down over this way. Well, probably that would just connect back. Loop back around if you regretted your decision. Thanks. One, two, three, four. Cool. All right. Thanks. All right. Getting close. And one. All right. Or not. Come on, three, nice, and mm, one, four. How farther can you get? Can't get that much far, and we basically knocked you out of the sky, which was fun. So we ended that animation instead of doing anything special. Well, whatever. Now we gotta rejuviate up. We'll live. Okay, maybe, maybe not. As soon as we see the fire kind of start to disappear, we run through. Cool. There we have it, and ooh, all right, one, two, three, four. Use this flask of physic, and I don't need the telescope anymore for anything, really. Now what we do is we switch out to Reduvia. We put in the helmet on, cool, and try the signs again, and hope that fire might be useful against them. It's certainly a possibility. Hmm, we'll see. Alright, alright, alright. So you drop down. Nice, and then the other one is over here, so let's jump over and thanks. One, two, three, four, and alright, we can dodge. Okay, cool. Interesting, we got a good amount of damage on one of them at least. So then, when you come through here, well, how long will it take you? Hmm, okay, nice. One, two, and dodge, dodge. Oh, not good. Thanks, not really, not thanks. Okay, and mm, this is trouble for sure. And okay, nice. This is pretty good though, and thanks, all right. Mm, very, very weak to hemorrhage. Exceptionally weak, and just run through again. And oh, can I, what? No, no, no. Oh, come on. I might like flame fortification then, maybe. Big thing is, if I spin down one of them, I can probably avoid the other, maybe. Hmm. It's more trouble than I might like. I really should just ret retrieve that bloodstain and try to do that later. I don't really need that. Oh, we need to beat these guys for any pressing reason right now. Either way, it, everything I can do in here, once I get this done, everything in Wingrave and Weaving Penetzel will be easy stuff that I'm supposed to do when I'm doing them. So I'm not worried, but yeah. It might be good to just go and try to get the... We'll get the bloodstain back, go through the dungeon, and then, yeah, come back. After getting a couple more levels, frankly, and try being the signs again, but being able to deal blood loss from range is crucial for being able to actually fight them. But I can't be too cowardly about it, is the thing. And then it just won't work. Okay, I need some level of recklessness in order to even win the fight. But Dragon Demon Seal is past your two. It's also nice to think about. In terms of blood loss. Golden Rune. Ooh, good. It's actually pretty nice. Okay, and you're here. Thanks. One, two, three, four. Bloodstain is where though. Cool, and just one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Gotta break down the other, get my bloodstain back, get Reduvia back, try it one more time. <laughs> yeah, it is funny that Yuri did not comment on a gill, but I guess it might be related to having killed Nereus first. I, I could see that. One, two, three, Four, all right, and okay, die. I okay, cool. 
And, well, you got gotten, which is nice. Cool. We focus on just escaping through the tunnel as fast as possible. And letting them get torched. It might be the most convenient way to do it. They're not crazy fast. So as soon as fire comes, just using my fire. We got... Where's my bloodstain? Okay, it was in that corner, so I didn't quite see it. Okay. <clears throat> More damage we deal, deal right at the outset, the better. The question is if I'm... Oh, I could, if I've got the bow, I could probably snipe one down. That's the funny thing. Let's try that, actually. Can we find a way to snipe one of them down? I did not mean to do it like that. And can I... I cannot see you. Yeah, you are in a very inconvenient location. Okay. What if I do this and just... Yeah, you're not supposed to do it like that. They're not gonna let you hit. That's, that is a shame. Well, in that case, we just put our Reduvia back on. Try this again. Once you stir, we'll... Nice, run back and... Run under. Cool, and... You're down. One, two, three, and all right. Cool. I, oh my goodness. I, okay. Nice. Right, so can I? What can I? What in the goddamn? You actually got me stuck. Stupid. The really annoying thing is that I was trying to get as close as possible, but that guy's hitbox is kind of weird, actually. It. I would have thought I would have been able to hit with the actual sword hitbox, but it was not the case. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I... This could be much worse. I will say that much. And can I... If you keep on running, I might get poison build up. I might get poison build up. No, I didn't. Narrow, but we did. Survive. Okay. Crafted scions, buying more spells, buying more levels. Buying another key and stuff like that. I have a shackle, the pot, the key. Shackle is honestly the big one right now. I'm gonna take a bit. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Alright, dodge out of the way of that and go for jump attack. Thanks, cool. And just for fun. The fire is for sure. Now I need to run this. Need a helmet too. Every little bit of damage reduction is going to be crucial here. Hmm. The fact that blood loss is a way we can deal with the scions more easily is very nice to know. Dealing with them with magic is actually horrible. I'm also, I guess, I started using aberrant sorceries, which I might use on Mo, depending on whether I have access to any by the time I fight him. Well, which I almost certainly will, because I don't think I'll be rushing to the DLC. We'll see. We'll deal. See. Okay. And how close do I have to get to? Okay, there we go. Cool. Alright. And disappear, disappear. Cool. Thank you. And, uh, slam. 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 Only so much fire will do for me, but it's still a decent amount. A Juvia, a helmet, and yeah. Soldier helm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, I run through. Grab that blood stain and try to get a couple of blood weight procs in on one grafted scion. Get as much damage in on both of them before everything is over and yeah, see if I can make that work. And you. There, and now we run back. Immediately, try not to get hand gagged and cool, and just one, two, and dodge, and okay, cool. Oh, the screen did damage. It's not nice. Really unpleasant. So the fire here is important, crucial, and thanks, and oh my goodness, okay, die, die, die. Thanks, and can I, mm, what about that, and what, what, huh? Are they more resistant to hemorrhage or something? Really? Oh, but what I could do is actually, if I lure them all the way back to the start, I could drop off to the other ledge. And they might not be able to pursue me. They might not be able to pursue me. That would be funny. Okay. Let's try that again and just cheese it. 
maybe, and just not even attack them, and try to lure them both through the fire, and back into other spots, maybe? We'll see. Hmm. The easier I make this for myself, the better. Though, to be fair, going here at all this early is inherently making things hard for myself. Well, it's nice that I was able to take the chariot out, though. This is making this a lot less stressful an experience. Still not stressless, but better. They don't drop anything. It'd be funny if they dropped glove orts, but this is not... Well, actually, this is a hero's grain, so in theory we should be getting... Grave love hordes, but it's not happening. Cool, cool. Die. Fun. Hmm. Margit's Shackle is actually going to be overkill for the Morgoth Margot fight anyway. We have we have Reduvia, and that will trivialize him for sure, but already. But still. And one, two, three, four. Get over here. Try that again. Nice dodge. And one, two, three, four. Nice. Hmm. So in that case, do I even want Reduvia? If well, I'll get a couple hits in on the first one. Other one, I will probably just not touch until, as long as we can make sure that we're cutting it correctly. Okay, cool. And roll. Roll was good, but hmm. thanks. All right. Take this, take that, and cool. The helmet back on. Nice. Cool. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Focus on getting to a spot where... Far enough ahead that they won't be able to just catch up and kill me while I'm waiting for the fire to pass. Which is, again, easier said than done. And... There we are, cool. I'm gonna do this, and alright. Then immediately just one, two, and wait, what? Okay. Another, nice. We did it. Kinda. Got a hemorrhage proc. So, what that means is we wait for that to go through. Start chasing us, and one gout of flame. Thank you. Another gout of flame. And they should be making their way over here, slowly but surely, or not doing that. Really? Okay. Hmm. I have some level of concern about that. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay, cool. Fine. Hmm. And that's going through now, so... question is... How far are those guys going to just go away? To where I okay there we are cool thanks cool nice and just stay out of the way of you and dodge okay cool need to just dodge that and cool interesting I okay cool and you're getting torched so I can dodge dodge it okay cool can I wait what no no what huh that makes no sense you goddamn go to hell okay if Maybe flame fortification could make a difference? I really doubt it, but... I just... It doesn't get staggered by the fire. So, if I were it at all, over, it's going to get me in that alcove. Which is really, really bad news for me. Hmm. Just two... Two grafted signs at once is not great. What I could maybe do is try to loop them around uh, the bottom area and then hit them from another spot, maybe. Then just loop them, but just looping them all the way back is probably not a winning strategy. It does not seem to be the case. If I manage to loop them down and We'll see. Drop down the ledge and loop them over there and go up the elevator. Maybe. Depends on how far they can get in and get in where. Hmm. It'd be a time-consuming, painstaking process, but I do really want to kill those guys. It... It's just the fact that the fire does not do all that much damage to them in the first place is 
very painful for me. It, if it one-shot them, or even two-shot them, that could be fine. But they were just sitting, and I was struggling. Hmm. Gotta get some of that back now. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Run and fire up. Cool. Nice. Go over, roll through, and just roll and... One, two, three, four. It's actually vile. How about back in for exactly 5,000 5, actually, which would be enough to do some things for one. But... Hmm. Reduvia, Reduvia. Hmm. We'll see. Try some of that again. I don't presume everything is really down where I want to be, though. Okay, cool. Drop onto some wedges and see. And just one, two, and all right, dodge. Oh, come on. Well, drop down here. See if you'll follow me. You follow me down here? Let's see. Will you follow me down here? I cannot quite tell. Do you even know I'm down here? They don't even know I'm down here. Well, I, huh. Interesting then. I, weird. So the only way to loop them, loop them around would be the way I did it before. That kind of sucks, actually. That really sucks, actually. Can we just, no, not right now. Can't use the shackle at the moment, or Go back by the shackle and come back, try this again, kill the sign some other way once we've got at least one more flask or something, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, this is actually vile. Okay. Go through here, go through the cave. We got torch, we got you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Over here, time for death. Three. Yeah. Death, 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 death. Thanks. Other ones were coming, which is good. No bell was rung, but I... Oh, what? Really, really? Bell on death? Hate that. He is still here. Okay. Cool. Hi. Oh, yes. I'm untethered. No worries. They may not speak a word. Never forget a face. Spillage of coin. And let's buy Margaret's Shackle. That's everything we really needed. Grace Nook without order. To raise God in the way. Unrefined guidance will be to true encounters. Great bolt, great arrow. Alright, thanks. Okay, so... Turn the entrance, try some other stuff. Yeah, probably just go actually beat the area. Okay. Actually beat the dungeon. Okay. Hmm. That said, the Banished Knight is actually going to be a human Banished Knight, which, well... Stamp Upward Cut is still just really, really good for this, so... Probably gonna just keep going. Take out... The annoying Ulcerated Tree Spirit with Catch Flame Spam. Should be really, really useful on it, presumably. Then just survive, hopefully. Don't have Golden Fortification, that's like by an Altus Plateau. But it does physical, but also does holy damage, so I... Wonder and worry. Hmm. Yeah, I got a good amount of stuff, but yeah, the cracked pot, the stone sword key. Some stuff I want to try to get. We'll see what happens. It's funny that it has the foul foot icon representing the money game. It's silly. Cool, and die, die, die. Okay, cool. Let's keep on moving. Move through here. Get dragon communion and seal from one guy. Okay. Hmm. What else is going to be down here other than probably owing to that drop down we had before? I. I got a mercy on my soul. Up here is anything or not? We need to take the torch out briefly. Anyone here or. What then is. Who appeared and where? I am. Hmm. Couple of crossbowmen. Let's see, can I? Alright. One, dodge. Two, three. Alright. 
cool. And... Hmm, alright. And just swing to... And, oh, alright, we messed that up. Annoying. Okay, and flies of physic are tough. Okay, cool. No longer crossbowmen, you're just men. Two, and... Alright. Can we just jump and slam? Yeah. Okay, cool. At the end of this, there should be a few more. Vanish Knight Phantoms. So, one, two, a preemptive crossbow hit, actually, which is nice. And then we have... what? Mm hmm. Anyone else? Big thing is, at the end of this, there should be... Oh, it's just... Oh, it's a, still a Banished Knight Phantom, but, yeah, whatever. Cool. Put a helmet on. Fire spawn. Cool. And if we... Gonna see me, or... Let's try to use a backstep on... Oh, well, never mind. That didn't quite work. Thanks, and oh, well, alright. Cool. Slash, 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 and alright. Slash, slash. You don't bleed, do you? Yeah, presumably not, so I dodge it. Okay, alright. Dodge it. Mm. Tough. Okay. Cool. This is what we've got going for me now, so I. Mm -hmm. Just see if I can make that work, or one, two, and. Ooh. Mm. We are kind of being silly about some of this, but I. Alright, and swing. That did not make it do all that much more damage as a thing, so I. Okay. Dodge, okay, uh, okay, nice. Two, three. Dodge, and slam, and... Mmm, okay. Cool. Alright, then. Mm -mm. Luckily, they don't have any kind of healing, but... Slam on their end. Can I... Dodge, and... Well, alright. So, Cerulean, and... Can I... Dodge, okay, cool. I... What? What? Okay, nice, and die. What? No! Ah, stupid. I... Okay. This has got a shield. We actually need to stick with a great sword. Just, uh, keep it relatively stunned, but maybe due to the fact that it's literally incorporeal, it seems to have a lot of posture, a lot of stance, whatever. Hmm. Okay. Alright then. Try that crap again, and it would drop Dragon Communion Seal on Death. And actually, if it goes for an incantation, that would be a really good opportunity to just go and stab it in the back. Well, whatever. And Lord Sword's actually got the same critical mod as Reduvia, so be decent to use there. <laughs> keep on running, keep on running. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Adds up over time. May as well. Got the shackle, which is good. Use on Morgoth and Margit during that fight. And two, three, and die. Alright, cool. It'd be nice if they drop something. It's probably too much to ask for. Well, whooping the. Whooping the sign around is a tall order. Might not even be in my capabilities. Annoying. Okay. Down there, all the way down there is going to be the boss. Okay, cool. It's just so many deaths. So many deaths in this wretched accursed place. One, two, three, and oh up, oh, alright. Dodge. Mm. Okay, cool. Okay then. So actually if we wore you over this way, probably work better. So I could oh never mind. Okay. Thanks. What if I slam you down? Okay, well, we need a bit more healing before any of that crap. Okay, cool. And just slam you down, and one, two, and... Oh, well, that still worked. Again, now that we needed it. Cool. <clears throat> All right, then. <clears throat> I'm going to take this guy down and rush in preempt him with a stamp upward cut. See if a stance break is at all possible. Dewey is not going to be the thing because he stays too much behind his shield, so yeah. Thanks, and take that out, and just dodge. Can we stamp and upward cut, and ooh, the damage on that was tough. Oh, that actually poise broke. 
Interesting, okay. Nice. Actually worked. Stamp and can I Mmm, okay. Cool, can I stack and oh really? It's good posture damage, but not good shield damage. And I Thanks and alright, cool. Another and just cool. Oh, alright, I okay, Stormwall is actually horrible. For me, for me. Dodge and can I stop it? Okay. And oh never mind. Okay, cool. I uh, dodge and thanks. Take and stamp it. Oh, the low stance actually let us escape. And dragon commune and seal from you. Nice. And that is compared to finger seal. Not as good. Form a strike with seal, dragon commune and grass, so no way. Dragon commune incantations, devouring the heart gives power. To primal nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. Incantations with one's arcane attribute. Hmm. Finger seal is still gonna be better until we get golden order at the very least. Dragon Moon Grease, and could use that on a Gil if you really felt like it, but I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna go through and deliberately die to the ulcerated tree spirit so I can just go to the stake. There is a stake of Merica right outside the arena, so be a closer way to get back. I mean, a quicker way to get back. Well, and a closer way to get back, but the important thing is that it's quicker. Close is just distance, quicker is time. So use this to skip all the way down more easily, presumably. So one, two, three, and all right, cool. And oh, all right, die. Okay. Out of crimson too, so. Hmm. This is that drop down from that wedge over there. Nothing all that special though, so. Okay, anyone else or is that all? Grave glove wart, so there's the glove warts we wanted and needed. All right, cool, and oh, okay. Hmm, okay, cool, and one, two, and what? All right, hmm. Maybe just using something like Glintstone Pebble would actually go to here. Nice, oh, wait, what, huh? Okay, annoying. Okay, and I thought a bunch of them, yeah, we're just gonna magic it up. It, magic does tend to be blocked worse by shields than fire, so it should be usable for that purpose. Hmm. Okay. Scions, and then... I just... If I can lure someone back over, it's gonna be tough. I feel like looping around the fire statue, using that as a way for them to get hit by the fire statue might be a good way to do it. As long as they can fight them one-on-one, -on -one, it should be okay, but... I'm not sure. It's really, really quite tough. I'm probably going to need to fight them. Legitimate and just really good at using Reduvia on them, but eventually the hemorrhages will stop hitting and the well will dry up, so to speak. As hemorrhages do become harder to proc every time you proc one on a single enemy. Harder to proc on that enemy every time, which is why Aguil is kind of funky later in the fight. And good stuff. Just drop down, we can get there a little faster. The other side, just drop down to the next part. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. I need all that garbage, so let's get down here. Cool. Cool. Then we can. Mm, oh, what? Okay. Never mind. Let's see over this way. And just one, two, three, four. Yeah. Roll. Thanks. Okay. Let's get this. Someone died. Probably an imp. Two, three. Okay. Rest are coming, so probably time to just spam with some pebbles. Alright, cool. Magic time. Cool, I... Alright. Yeah, this is actually very, very good. Very, very capable here. Love this. Love this. Okay. And you're over that way, so... This is what I should have been doing from the outset. Said I... Mm -hmm. There we are, cool. Fire is going to be... If, if you just need a pure projectile, that's your best option, but... If the goal is to... Well, the stagger's pretty good, too. So to target a specific type of damage, or to deal damage. Probably better off using something else. And there we have it. This is our... Tree spirit. 
Cool. Okay. Match flame, monster. Weak foe ahead. Not really. No boss ahead. Well, if you have fire, it's not much of a boss. But if you don't, well, it's different. Oh, okay, cool. Let's just allow ourselves to die. And I, Yeah, this is just really, really strong. But I, hmm. The amount of blast we have is not good, though. Not good for this. I, hmm. Yeah, just kill me already. I, dodge, yeah, okay. That timing was funky. Okay. <laughs> Some more flasks might be nice for this. Maybe. Maybe. Could just run past it, but... <laughs> Catch flame, and actually, maybe a shield, actually. I don't know. Actual shield. Oh, but it still doesn't have 100% negation. Well, I... Whatever. Need one in hand for this, so... Dodge and... Okay, if we stay behind you, we can more or less make it work, so... Boom. And... Alright, let's just... Ooh, okay, cool. Kind of... Oh, well... Okay. Not expecting that. Alright. Hmm. Fun. Yeah, the shield is not going to be the move. Frankly, none of it will. Whatever. A torch could be funny. Let's zoom skill. Strength and dex, but for fire damage, presumably, but. Oh no, it just scales the physical. The fire does not scale, except for the upgrade level, so. Well, I'll wave, so. I dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool, nice. Just holy, holy. Well, I. Okay, alright. Two ends. I. Okay, interesting. And just. Hmm, I. Big thing is, it's hard to tell when it actually does damage. We need more tears. Okay, cool. Interesting, and just keep on running, and... Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. One. Well, it had a range, but it's tough. One, two, three, four, five, and five, and there we are. Now I have to switch to the stupid sword. I needed at least... A couple more flasks for this, so I can dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. I, okay, all right. One, two. Right, we need two hands. One, two. Well, okay. Thanks. I guess I dodge. Oh my goodness, I, that sucked. Okay. I okay. And roll. And just rides around so much that's hard to tell when it's actually doing damage from when it isn't. This hits and just roll and thanks. Ooh, okay. Cool. Uh, alright. Oh, come on, I- okay? This is weird. Okay, I- I do need to go back to another stack. To another grace and just get... a bit more... So you can DPS it down really fast, but... You need... I'm running out of casts of Catch Flame. That's the problem. Alright, right. Exceptionally weak to fire, so this is undoubtedly the move. Maybe fire grease, but I want to be really silly, but nah, nah. Staying beside it as much as possible. Memorize, no flasks, flash charges, and that. Uh, no, we need. That should be good enough. Then we can actually maybe get it down with... It basically, it's first third with a greatsword and then use... Fire? Maybe. Should still be good. I just... The second phase, when it becomes more threatening, adds holy to all of its attacks, is... Going to be... A proving ground. Yeah. Get a golden seed from this, so that if you're, I could have picked up one just for free from Storm Hill, but did not feel like that. Did not feel like that. Okay. Golden Scarab again. It's nice to have that Golden Scarab. And the Evo just farm enough foul foots whenever I feel like foul feet. Whenever I feel like to just get more or less additional rune acquisition whenever. Big thing is, how much would I get from. 
killing the tree spirit. It should take some time to disappear upon death, so I should be able to make it run, but we'll see. I think we could land on that without breaking. It was pretty cool. So we just go through, run through without trying to take any of them on, just run past all these guys and kill them already. I don't need to kill them again. Okay. With oh, storm blade. Okay, cool. Hmm. Either way, we will go through, get our runes, go to the stake. Well, actually, we need to get this back first, so... Dodge! Oh, wait, no, we... Never mind. Okay, cool. Let's just get this. No, well... Come on, go to hell and kill yourself. Okay. Well, we don't need to worry about the blood stain anymore, do we? Wasn't much anyway. Not at this point. Hmm. Okay, cool. It's just the approach is what's tough. Actually getting it close in any kind of way. That's okay, interesting. One, two, and okay, I, okay, alright, and what in the what? Huh? Okay? How can I Dodge it, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four. I really just... What? Huh? Come on, okay? Annoying. This is just... You need to be always ready to roll, but I... One, two, and... It's just nothing seems to be... Actual... Uh, vulnerable position for it. I... Okay. Dodge, dodge, okay. What? Oh, that... Hitbox is lingering as I'll get out. It just carried me with it. Okay, and... Oh, you can... Nice. Repost this thing. That's fun. Okay, so we can get that down and then probably use... Catch flame from there. So I... Okay, alright, and... Oh, right, it explodes. I forgot about that one. Right. Okay, cool. Actually, going for stance breaks is... Might be the way. Maybe a good amount of damage to it. Maybe even fire greasing it could be nice, but I don't know. Okay, cool. I nice and just all right. Stab and cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, I stab and well we entirely whiffed. The fact that it's even something that can happen is so stupid. Okay, actually, what I could do is. Put the seal in my left hand, and then... Mm -hmm. Seal in my left hand, so I can just always have catch flame ready if I feel like using it. Maybe. Okay, cool. And just... Playing unlocked is going to be the way for this, for sure. I don't even have any doubt about that. Uh, cool, and... Wait, what? Huh? Really? Really? Whatever. Cool. And just... Can we... Slam and can we thanks slam and alright we're close to what we wanted in terms of the dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks, slam. We're almost there, but is it a head hit? Do we have to hit the head specifically? I might. It's possible. I just wait, what really? Okay, stupid. Thanks, body hit ends. Can we wait what? Just If you use fire, they're really no problem, but their crippling weakness to fire is mitigated by strong resistance to everything else. It's just... They move around so much and... And just... So the way that ends. Can I... What? Huh? Okay? What in the... Goddamn? Okay, and... Cool, I guess. And can we... Can we... We didn't even hit. I, okay? Weird. Mm -hmm. Is the head more vulnerable to posture hits, or it might be? It wouldn't surprise me, but I still just okay. There we go. Let's tears it up and try this again. Cool. That will get you in position for phase two. So cool. All right. Cool. And oh, that did not quite do phase two. Cool. Fun. And boom. Fire ends. All right, we need more cerulean tears. And I, okay, cool. What if I dodge and one, two, three, and okay, cool. 
And I, wait, what? Huh? How'd that get me? It generally does not even make sense. Okay, I... As fun as the idea of breaking its stance is, I'm gonna just have to focus on just the fire. I don't have a single 100% fizz resist shield yet. Whatever, whatever. And, oh, they actually just totally switched. That's funny. Whatever. Okay. Try this garbage again. Cool. And just dodge it. Wait, what? I. Come on, okay? Cool. And one, two, three. And dodge. One, two, three. And alright. We can. Cool. Crimson tears it up and cool. What if I use this and just stab it away for holy fire and one, two, and all oh, right, I, okay. It's really dumb. Okay, I, okay. Hmm, I do not have the staying out of the way is actually decent for that, but I, one, just too big to actually reasonably see what attack you're actually going to use. I, okay, fun. Not really. Three, four. Oh, dumb. Okay. Cool. Fire and Oh, right. We well, that didn't kill me, at least. But still, I didn't even see you were doing anything there. Whatever. Whatever. I Okay. And cannot even use this. I guess I... What? Stupid. Okay. I... Might not have the damage for this right now. Honestly. Big issue is just how much it takes to... Just using normal jumping hits would probably be good for initial part, and I dodge it. Okay, well, wait, what? How did that even... Huh? Oh, what? How did that even connect? Can't, just can't roll into the attack? Let's just talk about a lingering hitbox. Horrible boss. Okay. Come on, come on. Stupid. Is that attack literally just not avoidable? for stance damage and advancing and okay well whatever advance the stance but well, what in the goddamn it took so long to do anything there right okay cool hmm okay right up what why is everything you do so quick i for a giant enemy you just have so much okay cool Kinda worked, but whatever. I, okay, nice. And can we? Ah, oh, that was actually really stupid. Don't know why that didn't connect. I dodge. Okay, cool. Slam and dodge and okay. One attack immediately after each. Dodge. And, okay, can I? Oh, I need to. Ah, oh, oh, stupid. Not expecting that, honestly. Whatever. Thanks and dodge. Okay. To roll and can I? Slam and okay, nice. Another stance break. Hey, this guy's actually pretty easy to break the stance of. That is what I need to focus on then, just breaking stance. And and roll, roll and okay, cool. I, all right, thanks and cool. 
and, and just dodge. And can we stance break? Almost. Uh, roll, roll, and just explode. What? Just do two explosions then. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> but that definitely is how I need to do it. Maybe actually just, like I said, using a couple of catch flames after a successful hit. This will stand spring just to use up that. <laughs> up that FP. We'll see. I'll dodge, dodge, and okay, cool. Let me slam and and I dodge. Okay, jump, slam, and roll, roll, and okay, cool. Jump, slam, and can I jump it? Slam, and can I? All right, cool, and dodge, cool. Interesting. I all right, and can I slam? Okay, cool. Let's just burn, and there we can actually get the. Can we? No, we can't. Well, whatever. I. All right then. Hmm. Tough. I. Dodge. Can I? Dodge. Dodge. Okay. And. Okay. Interesting. I, mm, dodge. What can I? Okay. Cool. And run in. Jump it. Hit again. Maybe even get a third. That was greedy, but I. Necessary. Worth it. Worth it. And. All right. Okay. Cool. Fun. Oh. What? Oh. I like got Firestorm, actually. Not expecting that. Uh, so staying close is crucial. Get far away enough to not die to the explosion, but... Mm -mm. Yeah. So actually, break its stance, hit it with a bunch of high damage, bonus damage catch flames, and then repeat. That's how I need to do this crap. And just... Dodge and okay, cool. I all right and it's gonna hmm okay and dodge okay cool and slam jump it slam again okay you're gonna use lightning or what I do oh alright fun and it's not really not really fun. Nice and can we Oh stupid Really stupid actually Actually vile Okay well, we know the strategy we need to employ now, so we as well do that. Oh, what? It's a full 360 sweep. It's nonsense. That makes no sense. What the goddamn? So fast. Didn't even do the scream. Okay. So I can't rely on it doing a scream to telegraph it, it just sometimes it decides to scream. Actually vile. Okay. Sense brick's crucial. Dodge and okay. Well I just cannot yeah, just go ahead. Kill me already. I, this is not a winning attempt. Yeah. Okay. Going to the right seems to be a good idea, though. Hmm. Yeah. I just... It's tough. Sometimes it goes really, really well. Sometimes it goes really, really badly. And I just... Okay, cool. And just... Roll! And I, okay, that works. Kind of, kind of, and I, it's just dodge, dodge, okay, cool, can I, thanks, 
jump it. Okay, can I? Thanks, slam, dodge. Okay, can I? Slam down and dodge. Can I? Okay, can we slam? There we go. Let's just do that then. And burn you down a bit. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, well, that didn't quite work. I, okay, well, that actually worked better than expected. I, okay, I. And just dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool. Hmm. What in the. Okay. Really nonsense. Really just nonsense. When is your body a hitbox? Always, I guess. Okay. And then we'll. Do oh! What? Really? Okay, cool. Thanks. And being behind you is a bad idea, too, for its own reason. What? Really? Really? I. Come on. I what? What? Huh? Try that again. Okay. I gotta wonder what's up with this. Should check stances, stance attacks. Okay. Let's break, but using. I can use one basically, but I. Damn! Just. Eat me or whatever. Don't give a shit anymore. Interesting, fun, not really. I uh, okay. So, oh, what? Huh? Uh, interesting. Uh, okay. Dodge. Really, really. Okay. All right. Nice. God damn you. Maybe Blood Flame Blade would be good here. Maybe. Hmm. OK. 
back. Roll and slam. Slam and well, okay. Uh, I all right and can I one? I mm, just and can I? Okay, that swipe just missed me by pure dumb luck. Okay. I okay. Can I? What in the? Really, really okay. Annoying. Thanks. Thanks. And can I? Here we are. Let's just get that quick hit in. And being by the front is the only way we can really do that. Okay, cool. Great. And can I dodge? And okay. If we let it push us a little, if we roll into it. Works pretty well. Dodge. Okay, cool. And slam. Or not. And I. Okay, cool. And what in the? Really, really. Okay. I have enough stamina to actually avoid that stupid thing. Okay, whatever. All right, I dodge, jump it. What? Huh? <clears throat> How am I supposed to? Guess sometimes it just goes for the instant lunge, but if it yells, it'll be really, really delayed. It's uh, so unpredictable. Which, in a way, makes it more realistic, but it also makes it less. A lot more frustrating, too. So, dodge. Okay, nice. Slam. And, alright, we'll do that. Slam. Then we'll always need to make sure we have some. What in the. Okay, cool. Jump. What? What? Hmm. It's just. I guess I just need a lot more flasks. And a bit more defense, more damage. I'm just not strong enough for this thing yet. It's way too high level for me. Okay, cool, and just dodge. Okay, front and hit or not because it was too spicy for me again. And I, what in the goddamn? What in the. Okay, cool. One. Dodge, dodge. Hi, how are you doing? I'm in hell. Dodge. Oh, I. Okay. One, one more should do it, maybe, unless that happens, and I, okay, slam it, another, and slam, there we go, we got the stance break, yeah, this is the ulcerated tree spirit, which is basically a version of the snake soul from, or Dark Souls 3, actually, it's a reuse reincorporated boss, and it, okay, I, Oh, come on. Whatever. Come on. What in the goddamn? Okay, which side should I be on? Maybe I should try the try my left instead, but... Big thing is, is that I literally don't have enough FP to use fire magic on it. So fire magic does good damage, but it actually consumes more stamina than you would think. So I'm focusing on trying to break its poise and then... Take it down using... Critical attacks, which are strong on this great sword. Well, I killed another boss to get a money upgrade, basically. Another mini boss. It's not too special, but I, what? Huh? I okay. Come on, just dodge. Thanks and roll and can I slam? There we are. Should be fallen. Let's see, yeah. To get more levels. What must be funny? What? Stop. I, I don't. Is that Abba? Dom likes Abba. I don't know Abba. Okay. Okay. Okay, but it doesn't seem like I can stay on its right side. It rotates in a way that makes it impossible. But no, if it's not Abba, then, well. Really, what difference does it make? Okay. Is it Italian? Okay, I dodge. Oh, come on, come on. Man. There we go. Nice, we're getting kind of better at this, so let's move in. And cool. Mm -hmm. Stand sprint, hit the head, or nobody. Nobody got hit. Okay, it's okay. Not. What can I. Mm -hmm. I. What? Never mind. Okay. Stamp upward cut could be okay to use, but I just... 
Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Fun. Not really. Okay, and slam. And can we slam again? Can, well, I guess we can't. I just what? Uh please. This guy is vile. Okay, we got another stance break, which is good. Let's just get that off. Can we nice. What in the really? Why did that not work? I don't uh stupid, whatever. Okay. Come on. I just really want to not die here. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's because it's a reused boss from Dark Souls that they re-added to Elden Ring so that they could use the stuff they made. That's why. Uh, okay, cool. Nice. No! I don't want to start discourse. Okay, so I just won't say it. Oh, so it's just Boba, but Ty. Ty Boba. Oh, that's interesting. I know my mom and my sister like Boba. I remember it was kind of big back when I was young or in California. It's been around a while. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Okay. I just can't keep this up. I, okay. Well, I, mm, this is tough enough. Dodge. Okay, cool. One. It's decently punishable, so I... Okay, and... Oh, uh, what? There we are. We finally got the stance break. I don't think this guy's stance recovers that quickly. But hitting is more trouble than I like. Okay, cool. Slam and... Head hit is good. Can I... One... And can I, what am I gonna do? I, okay, I need to take you down and can I, well, just, oh, please, okay. And just jump it, slam, or not, or what? Oh, I rolled too early. Mm hmm. Yeah, or I think, are they cubes instead of balls or am I confusing it with something else? Hmm. Okay, now I know what you're talking about then. Dodge. Okay. One. Or not hit anything, I guess. I, really? I just... The annoying thing is how fast they are. It doesn't even make all that much sense for something so big. Okay, cool. And just keep on moving towards its tail. And then it should make it stay on its on this side. We can... There we are. Stance broken. And there we have it. Thank you. Cool. And then we can immediately jump and get another nice head hit and dodge, dodge. Okay, spam dodge, I guess. And how can I? This is more or less a good place to be. And okay, uh, right, right, and just roll, roll. Okay, cool. Slam and another, another. Oh, all right. Thanks. Just hit and thanks. Cool. Need to heal up before this goes. And thanks. All right. And wait. What? Can I? What? That makes no sense. Did I? How did I mess? Up? How did I not get that repost? <sighs> Honestly, it. The game. The games have changed ever since the Demon Souls. How sensitive, they are to repost. Because in Demon Souls, oftentimes they'll interrupt a combo, in order to pull off a repost. But the issue is, is that. I ended up continuing a combo when I wanted to be reposting, and it just really- wait, what the hell? My dodge angle was just wrong. You can get- you can see the cool grab attack now. It just eats you and burns you. This is the dungeon in the starting cave. And it's supposed to be really, really hard, especially this early on, but I just do not want to deal with it like this if I can help it. The faster I can make this work, the better, but I just... Wait, what? I... Okay. Nonsense. I... Okay, cool. 
Interesting. I oh right. Really? What? Huh? What? The dumbest thing is that it can pull that off without any warning. So that sometimes it'll announce the grab attack by doing a big scream, but that's actually kind of annoying because it means it'll actually delay it. Elden Ring enemies in general tend to have a lot more fluid combos than ones from previous games, which makes the game a bit different. And okay, cool. Uh, mm. Should have panic rolled, but earlier. And just cool. All right, thanks. And really, just this guy is named Snake Soul, and is named Snake Soul in Dark Souls Three, which. In, in the files, in the files, he was named Snake Soul, which... Originally, this guy was basically a giant puss of man. Remember the Idex Gundir fight at the start of the game? This guy was basically a giant version of that. And just try that again, maybe, and... Well, we're getting a little greedy, but... Now we run, we run! Okay, wow, that roll catch is annoying. And all right then, we can just run in. Stance break here, presumably. So, thanks. Cool. Hmm. Just the number of flasks we have is kind of an issue for this fight, as in we don't have as many as I might like to have for a fight like this. And okay, cool. And uh, what in the? Okay, all right. Thanks. I need to go and probably get more instant flasks for this, because the big thing is that I'm not really using what. I actually don't have enough magic, period, to actually use magic on it. I would just run out of mana even using all of my flasks. I would take enough damage. And the big the big advantage of magic with a lot of earlier souls games is that it didn't cost stamina. But it costs so much stamina here. You can cast fast. The DPS is decent, but it'll drain your stamina incredibly quickly faster than just using a great sword, so maybe I can do it if I have four crimson flasks, four health flasks instead, but... Also, there was a big giant chariot here, and I managed to get around back and drop some exploding pots on to destroy it. It's automatic stone robot chariot. Hmm. Hmm. It was pretty cool. Hmm. The big issue is, I am still here early. I went over to Kaled and fought a dungeon boss just to get Golden Scarab early. And I'm still early for this. Honestly. The boss is not supposed to be that hard. Uh, hmm. The big thing is, with the flasks I have, I should honestly be able to make it work. As I don't just, as long as I don't get one shot, I can probably make it work. Is the thing. I need to unequip everything other than helmet and then put on. Would I still get? Yeah, I can equip that and stay at medium load. That's nice. Okay, cool. Try this again and just dodge. Okay, cool. That's tough. It's tough. Thanks. Wait, what? Okay. So you just can't eye frame through it. But well You just have to be in a different place. Otherwise it'll catch you no matter what. Okay. Cool. Great. Okay. I am literally just doing a Probably. Well, the big thing is just the grab attack, which normally isn't a huge problem. It shouldn't be. It's about how much I have in terms of- wait, what? How did that hit me? Whatever, I- stupid. God damn you, go to hell! Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
nice thing is that after this, everything else should feel easy. I hope. And take you down a little and make sure we have enough to... Okay, you're just using your breath attack, are you? Maybe. I'm not sure. Just, oh, come on. And just slam and... Here we go, we got the stance break, which means... Chance to heal. And just... Can we... What in the goddamn? Why would why did I not get the repast? It it's so insensitive. Hmm. The big thing is you can usually make that stuff work by how are you dodging every attack I use? How did that hit me either? What in the goddamn? Just kill me already. I don't even care anymore. Crap. But just... They mark the point where you're supposed to stand to repose. With a big glowing gold dot. I stood there and pressed R1. And I did not repost. I just used a normal attack. Which is really, really stupid. Okay. Hi, alright, and can I jump? Okay. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I nothing is hitting. That's the thing. I Okay. Can I try that again or it did hit, but it just Thanks. Cool. Alright, one. And another slam and Do we need more? What in the okay. Here we are, I guess. Okay, give me the repost this time, I Okay, I guess I need to be a bit more to the right. That's still really stupid. Okay, cool. And just slam it. Okay, all right. And cool. One. Do Ooh, please. I need to kill, kill, heal. And all right. Interesting. And, and dodge. And can we slam? And can I, can I slam you down or what? Can I slam? Okay, there we go. We got another up. Cool. Gotta go to the right spot, and here we are. Nice. Thank you. It should prep for next phase now. Do a big explosion. Nice. Cool. All right. And just run in and slam or dodge. Well, or not. Annoying. Okay, cool. Thanks. Dodge. Hmm. Okay. Can I just swing and hit or what? Never mind. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Okay. All right. And... What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Never mind. I, okay. And what? Really? Really? All right. Mm -mm. Stupid. I, all right. Cool. Run in. Hit you with a big hit. And dodge. 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 Okay. Cool. Slam. Nice. There we go. Cool. The only thing left we have is... Actually, mm, I could just try spamming tree stuff on it now, but I think actually it's gonna blow up again, blow up again, and, okay, well, annoying, I forgot that was the thing you could do. Right, okay, dodge, okay, nice, slam, and dodge, 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 okay, what in the, god, hmm. it, basically at, I think it's 50% 25, that's when it uses that big explosion, if I forgot, I forgot about its second explosion. If I'd remembered that, I would've killed it. Probably. Maybe. I just, what a vile, vile boss. And just, all right, cool. Dodge, okay, cool. One, dodge, and can we slam, slam again, and cool, thank you. Okay, nice. Got the repost off. That went well that time. Let's just go for another slam if we could manage it and we couldn't. Not that time. Come on, just die already. And cool. Cool. Alright, and just physic up. That one's slower, but it's also less health, so I, we need to be smart about how we use it. Right. Okay, nice. And it's cool. Come on, can we. Can I dodge? Dodge? Okay, nice. And just. Where are you even trying to go? I. Does it make what? God damn! It's just, 
It's so big, it occupies so much space. There are a number of other fights against this thing, and every single one takes place in a much larger environment. We can get away from it, or even engage it on horseback. This is probably the most difficult tree spirit encounter precisely because of the arena. Which is interesting as a concept, but doesn't mean I enjoy it. <clears throat> Go to hell! Okay. Bump. This thing would have been presumably in Untended Graves in Dark Souls 3 originally, before they came up with the idea for Champion Gundyr. And wait, what? What? Huh? Doesn't even make sense. Uh, okay, okay. Just whip around through that, but sometimes the hitbox goes through me, sometimes it does not, and it's completely idiosyncratic, it seems. I just, really? No sense. I, okay, whatever. One more quick hit, and, well, I guess not. Thanks. Here we go. Cool. Just gotta get out so it doesn't stop us. Thank you. Cool. Drink that physic, and, which does not do much. Not right now, at least. Other than, nice. And, cool. Hit, and, slam. Thank you. See that coming, and be kind of lucky about when we get our hits off. And, nice. And let's go for another repasse. This is when explosions will happen, so we need to get our distance away from it. Cool, nice, and all right then. So that means we can just move in, slam again, and try to survive. That, cool, not bad, but I dodge. Uh, dodge, okay, cool. Uh, okay, nice, one. Dodge, okay, cool. Slam, and oh, nice, another posture break. And where is your head even? Okay, right here, okay, nice. And wait, what? You've gotta be kidding me, okay. Wasn't in a position I could actually hit it meaningfully in any way. I stupid. I, okay, nice. And I, what if I slam you again? Are you gonna explode again or what? I dodge, oh, come on, okay, cool. Let's explode again, please. This is your time. Yep, okay, cool. Nice. And just slam. Just dodge. Slam. Just give me another posture break. Repost, and I can just out of the way of you. And thank you. Try another. And just one more, one more. And there we go. Ulcerated Tree Spirit. Post it. And just thanks. We'll be what in the. What really? Okay. I just don't know how I'm supposed to. Do this! I, whatever. I can stay out of the way of you and try to not die. And there we go. Let's use the skull pickle foul foot and pop that. Cool. Nice. So we should get a lot of runes from this now. Golden seed and. Yeah, that's good. Mesh Knight Oleg. Golden seed, no runes in there. So what's done? The garbage is done. Took out the trash. Uh, okay, cool. Let's put our torch back on. Re equip all our crap staff and our talisman. Anything else in here that we need to check? Probably not, but. Got a golden seed, which means one more flask usage, actually. Something else in here that I wanted to kill as well. So I'll go do that. <laughs> this is. Return to entrance, read message, visions of romp. These are all people who had Urn Tree burial, presumably. All right, banished at Ola, golden seed, based on the illusory trees, shattered from the earth trees, scattered across lands. Its life itself knew that its end had come. So the storm, his banishment, attracted the notes of the grace given lord, slain a hundred traitors of the lord's hand, earned the hero's honor of earth tree burial. It's good for a boss, trap Margaret on earth, by the accursed omen. Short time and anti dragon, gravel stone grease. More for the ancient king, lots of storm scales, now can be to cause them mortal, mortal harm. Okay. So, I could... Some things that I should maybe buy right now. Maybe. Levels are one of those things. Yeah, I'm just going to put every single one of these right now into leveling up. Golden Seed. There we go. Blast and allocate fast charges. 
let's take one of those actually and then level up yeah and there we go have enough to use Reduvia, which is good but let's just get hmm we need a little bit more but at least we're gonna be meaningfully more resistant physical wise a bit more equip load okay there are some other guys down there who i want to take out i'm gonna try real quick it might be out of my wheelhouse at the moment it was two grafted scions who if you recall were the boss that we fought at the start of the game who was meant to be an unwinnable fight so it's going to be something but since the chariot's gone we can run through here in relative peace did kill the boss too we also got the dragon communion seal which is completely weightless but it's not as good the main thing is it scales up of arcane but eventually our best option by far will be the golden order seal that is a few areas off still. Hmm. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay then, okay. One, two, three, four. Then we got- oh, okay. Cool. One, what? One, two, three, four. Alright. Is that a Physic Flask? Okay. Hmm, but fighting one measly miserable Rapid Scion. Fighting two is going to be worse. Getting Urtree's favorite was nice, but it's not everything. And I want- Oh, well, I died. Die. What? Huh? I- Okay. This is really stupid. I- Whatever. One, two. Okay. Hmm. I just should probably take this guy out so I can fight as many of them at once as possible and then maybe try to loop them around? Maybe? I don't even know. One, two, three, and- oh, come on, alright, and- god damn, go to hell. Uh, I just don't have- I guess I could use the club. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to have to use the club to take the imp stone. It gives me a bit more in the way of durability by just putting the helmet on, but... <clears throat> okay. The more the better, the more the better. The big thing is, is that I thought about trying to get the grafted signs down somewhere, but I doubt rejection would work on them. Basically, this game's equivalent of force, and... yeah. Book Hero's Grave, and hmm. the thing left would be those two Rapted Sons, who presumably aren't going to drop anything special anyway, but knowing enough and hard enough that I feel like I need to kill them. Okay. But the ruins we got were, that was very, very nice. It was almost doubled over what it initially was. Did he using the Foul Foot in conjunction with Golden Scarab? Hello, hello, and I. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, but actually, the. Well, for one, the range is atrocious, but it also just does not stagger meaningfully at all. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to stick with that greatsword. Which is, I hate to say it. In the end, if I came back here with Bloodhound Spang, this would be a joke, but... Still heavy load. I took this off, and taking that off puts it back at medium load. Nice, and I... Rolling! Damn, you! Stupid! I don't give a damn about this. I don't have a good way to take down the Grafted Scions right now. Reduvia is an interesting idea, but it kind of sucks. I need the stats to use Bloodhound, Bloodhound Spang and then put Blood Flame Blade on it. Before I can do jack shit against them. I'm... I don't care about this stupid place anymore. Hmm. So then... So then... Over here might be good. There are the dragon burnt ruins. Just a guild like itself, which I didn't really even explore. Hmm. I'll fall. Hmm, 
well. I've got Radagon. Scar Seal. I would be able to use Bloodhound Spang if I equipped it, but I take more damage too, but mm, might be okay. Probably worth it. Juice is probably worth the squeeze. And... Yeah, now we're dead. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I I don't need to be there anymore. Just those two grafted scions, and at least right now I don't really care anymore. Mm -mm. We have the tree spirit. And that was nice, especially since we got a seed, but... There's nothing even to fight for. Killing that other thing, so I'm just gonna... Cut my losses and move on. But... Do you want to check out this lake? Mm -mm. This part over here. This area. And that is another cave, another dungeon, which would be nice to explore. Big thing is that... Other areas in the future are generally not going to have sort of skewed difficulty that Limgrave has, where there are areas that you're supposed to come back to later. They're all going to be very standard. It's just you either are here or you're not here. So I... Oh, interesting. That's something. Thanks. And... Oh, yep. Yeah, so using this on the baths is going to be a good idea. Thank you. Alright. Is there another or probably not? Okay. It is nice to get magic back, but the staff I have right now is not the staff I really want to use for the long term. Because it... There are other staffs, staves I can get that don't really rely on scaling, or eventually staves that have multi-stat scaling. Those are going to be what I want to focus on. And... Didn't really need that, did we? No. Hmm. Not then. A bit past a gill lake then. Just through here. Anything up top or probably not? Presumably not. Okay. Hmm. And then we got you. Got you in here. And anything? Well. Right, there are a couple more dungeons just in this spot. This area over here. So I might go through because that should not take nearly as long. Okay. Then we got some of you, we got some of you, we got flowers and other stuff. Hi. Alright, come on, just one, two, alright, and so these guys, but there's a cave right there. I think I'll go in. Two, don't mind if I do. Oh, but I also got a really good dagger that can inflict, can toss these blood blades that inflict pretty good bleed, bleed build up, even from range. And that is very nice to have. The Reduvia, which means hangnail in Latin. Which I guess you might know. You might know that. I don't know. Go through here, and this is the Grove Side Cave, which is going to be simple. Relatively. Eastman of Farm Azula. Farm Azula. What are they weak to again? Weak to. Slash Fire and Sleep. Resistant to Lightning. Weak to Slash Fire Sleep. See they to fire and not even to slash the weak to fire and strike and okay cool well I'll make sure not to then and then probably put on Reduvia if we're gonna be going through a cave we won't be able to see that and so hmm. let's just rest here real quick and the Grove Side King there are other catacombs too somewhere around. Yeah, there's an Urdry Burial Watchdog somewhere, so... Catch Flame is what we want to use on the Beast Men. Fireball could be nice, especially since there are two of them, but... Eh. Dog. Okay. Cave Moss. And... Hmm. Okay. Try this a bit more. See if... Oh, hello there. Hi. And yeah, we can just cut you off. Nice, nice. Okay. Fun. And... Ooh, alright. 
Oh, it's, ooh, needed a little bit more, but whatever. Cool. And here you are, well. Hmm. And dodge. One, two, three, four, five. And the blood, the blood lost got her. Sad. Okay. Let's check what else might be in this cave. And glowstone and, oh, more wolves. Hello there, wolves. Thank you. Rejuvia is almost certainly the best dagger in the game, according to a lot of people. Golden Rune, well, that's basically nothing. These are early dungeons that I'm going back to after going a bit later. East Limgrave is a bit harder than West Limgrave. Oh, I killed a dragon. I did kill a dragon today. That's right. Flying Dragon Agil, and I used, did it with this dagger, too. Oh, cracked pot. If the wolves have just gotten all the guys in this cave. How sad. Hmm. -mm. Okay. If I came back with more better items, just take down the other guys. Take down the Rapid Scions. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, too. You can go back and watch it sometime if you want. This man of farm is... Oh, oh, this is just a normal beast man. Just a single beast man. And oh, alright. Fun. Yeah, lots, actually. This game probably is the most dragon fights of any Souls game, and probably the best, too. Three, four, ooh, all right, and, oh, come on. I'm really just getting greedy with this. Burn, okay, cool, and burn, nice, nice, and, mm -hmm. I like this, not like this. I don't need that much more, so actually, let's just use the foul foot. And now, and, okay, cool. Burn, dodge, ooh, okay, cool. Big jumping slam, and there we go. Cool. Which we can get? Probably not much. It's dead, and we got the Flame Drake Talisman. Enemy Feld. Not even a great enemy Feld, just an enemy Feld. Yeah, and basically nothing for that. Okay. Not even a single level. Flame Drake Talisman is pretty decent. Let's see. The Red Ancient Dragon, Walls of the Living Rock, it's symbolic of all manner protections, and the better ones will have multiple dragons depicted on it. All right, cool. Let's poke around a little bit more. Joke of a cave, but getting that cracked pot was good. Because they limit your number of pot items compared to other Souls games. All right, cool. Let's just keep on going, and we got her. No, right, we were the wrong thing equipped. Let's just double hand this dagger, sure. And anything else over this way? I know that there, there should be another cave somewhere close by, I think. And sad. A slumbering egg from the owl. Symbolic of sleep. Symbol of the most sublime slumber owl eggs that will never hatch. Wonder why. Oh whatever. One, two, three, four, five, and well alright. Another strip of white flesh. No land octopus ovary though. Oh well. And oh they are really, really vulnerable to blood loss. Oh, wow. Here we are. I guess we could try just using the blood blade on it. Yeah. And the blood loss buildup should. Yep, and that got it. Cool. And th what they're doing is spitting poison, which isn't pleasant, but not all that threatening either. Oh, but let me see. I. Yeah, because we went down around here to get the. Oh, thanks. You're great. Fight that troll, but we didn't go all the way up. The catacombs are probably around here then. Oh, come on. Stay in place! Tracking's not that great, so I. Maybe I just need to use a Quintstone Pebble. Yeah, probably. Really? Okay, well, now you're dead. That one only took way too long. Okay. And yeah, now we can just get back on our horse. Good stuff. And then. Hmm. Who is over here? Actually, presumably, he's pointing that way, and I think this is, yeah, where we needed to go. Mm -hmm. I'm to buy a cracked pot, some other things, and the church was right over there. The way down with the troll was over that way. This is the high road that we have not yet taken. And examine this, we have to be off our horse. Point the way to the catacombs. Got a gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Nice. See it pointing that way to the catacombs, which are uniquely the one kind of dungeon that just gets marked off that way. And a is lily. 
Okay. Get down there. The troll would lead down that way. I'll just see that. Hmm. Well, all right. Try this one more time. Hmm. Okay. Should lead me to where I need to go. Don't think I can use that to get up faster, but we'll live. Here we are, and lots of commoners over here. Kind of sad, actually. Two, three. Ooh, okay. All right. Two. And just ruin fragments. Lots of those in a roa. Always good for making more of the foul feet. And... Hmm. Suddenly looked a bit different. Let's go over this way then and take you out. All right, well, we can just go through the forge. Only a little bit of meaningless chip damage. So then... Go back into these catacombs. And then what? And then what? Yep, there they are. We've been some other catacombs. But these are the catacombs we're going into now. And the Murkwater catacombs, which had a Grave Warden duelist at the end, which was a big gladiator who had been shunned. Not over here. And this is basically right under Storm Hill. Yeah. All right then. Just the more Roa, the better. Sometimes they give a bunch. Lord. Let's try this out then. This should be a cake lock compared to the crap we just put up with. So, yeah. Okay. Stormfoot Catacombs. Lots well, greats discovered. Rest here, Stormfoot. Yep, exactly, because this is basically the foot of Stormhill. <laughs> Guess I could go, go through the lake, go over here, and that gone through a lot of this area then. Limgrave just is kind of massive. In the end, things will go faster when I stop dying as much, but we'll live for now. Here we are, and proper death means return to the Ur Tree. Patience till the con comes, and the roots call to you. Return to the Ur Tree, and that's lore. Hello there, Imp. Okay, cool. There we go. Nice. Yeah, exactly. I'll Grin and bear it. Or frown and bear it. Nice, and one, two, three. They're weak to bludgeoning. Root resin, which you can use to make some things. Let's just get our torch back out. We s these dungeons are quite short, too. They're shorter than the others, in addition, just being easier as well. Let's get the glove ward. We have glove ward, which is used for upgrading spirit ashes, which are basically a special kind of summon. So, in other words, I probably won't be using them. Hello, Ben Hoyle, and just... Can we slam... Oh, well, I... Two, three. Hmm. I do have to summon sometimes to do some certain quests, and a great violet. I... Oh, hello. Hi. So, uh, but the range of this is dissatisfactory. Get in here. Thanks, thanks. And roll. One, two, three. Great violet is presumably for crafting. Graveyards, crafting items, you have ghosts, when useful and calling forth spirits. I think you'd use that for a sort of spirit throwing pot. Probably. And be wary of decoy. Alright, cool. Run through before the fire gets us again. Nice, and roll. Oh, alright, wanna go home, wanna go home, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, well, there's an item, but... Crowdling paint, hello, that's fun. Quite skull, human head, says hello, wistful fetish, voices and words on an eternal journey. Alright then. Go back through, wait for the other fire to disappear. Then, oh, that goes pretty far. That's scary. Okay. Not scary as much as worrisome, but I. What? Oh no, I. Okay. Got that? Maybe I could use flame fortification. Just in case. Just in case. I... Wait. Okay. Imp should start coming around here. Well, there was one on another side, but we didn't find that one. Oh, and these respawn. Okay, interesting. They might be tied to catacombs, but unlike the glove wards, they're not limited in the times you can get them. Interesting. Come on, come on. Gonna get down here or what? Gonna get down here or what? Guess not. It's not right now. Okay, cool. Let's actually cast 
win fortification. And just hope that helps. I, oh, come on, whatever. Two, thanks. Okay, all right. Hmm, and I, all right, there we go. Let's just, and okay. Can run through a little bit before the flame actually seems to disappear. But it's a gamble. The big thing is, should be able to take down some of you. So actually, what if I just use Glintstone Pebble on you? How much are we gonna do this? Okay, cool. Got a good amount of stuff, so we can avoid taking them all down at, on at once by just knocking them down, and just casting magic at them. Fun. Cool. One, two. Well, that miss. All right, and now we need to do that. Cool. One more, and there we go. Another, or... I think that's the last one. Okay. One, two, three, die. Oh, there's one more, actually. And go scroll for Three. Let's use for special spirit summons. But again, I'm not really using any of them. Oh, if you hit it, it... Oh, okay. I did not know that. That makes a lot of things different. I might actually like to go back to the other area now. Because I know what I need to do then. And I just... If I hit that, it'll lower it down. I won't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, cool. It means I'd be able to lure grafted scions over and hit them for relative impunity with Reduvia, Reduvia Blades. That would be nice, if possible. Where we have left, there we are. Two, three. Grave Guavort. There we are, just... Oh, alright. That was a big lunch. These guys are exact, actually modeled after the Thralls from Dark Souls 3. Fight very similarly. And they have the same moveset, more or less, which is interesting. As instead, there are these stone imps. Grave Glove Lord and Wandering Noble Ashes. Let's go horse ahead, try gesturing. I somehow I doubt that. Five Wandering Noble Spirits, after death, and water the lines between, search for something once, whatever it was has been long forgotten. Big thing is we gotta drop down. Gotta drop down. Nice to figure it, figure that out. Oh, whatever. And slam. Two, three, cool. All right. Another four Tatchet. They were in that mod pack that Dom and I played, actually. Two rules, scroll board, and oh my goodness. Two, three. Use these. Sure. And I will. Go back now that the doors are open and take on the Erdtree Burial Watchdog at the end of this area. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Traverse the Mist. It's interesting. It's actually parryable too, which is funny. Well, we'll see. Come on, come on, I. Thanks. Just slam. Slam and dodge. Jump and slam and... Okay. Thanks, cool. Slam, and is that... Can get a big visceral. I mean, big critical. Fun. And slam. And dodge. And slam again. And oh, okay. Fun. Slam again, and just dodge. And slam. Nice. And let's just use this, and then go for our... Well, whatever. We'll just one, two, three, and... All right. We don't have flame fortification anymore, but just... What? Okay. Die, 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 and die. Cool. How much are we gonna get? Probably not much. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. And how much? An okay amount of runes. An okay amount of runes. It's passable. Stuff I've failed. And still no sleep. And now, that statue is gone. Already found it. Check out those ashes. Noble Sorcerer Ashes. Remains of a normal sorcerer. Ask once to be given a place at Rally Rukaria. Talents were insufficient for the stone crown, so it couldn't gain admittance. Can only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Okay. Well, we can return to the entrance now, and... 
I don't know, buy some more sorceries. There are some slightly better sorceries I could get. Hmm. Go over to Sorceress over here. Buy some stuff. Hmm. I'll think about it. They point ruins. Hello. That's the lesson, sure. We've got Slicer, which I still cannot use. But soon, soon. Stars. Sun stars, pursue foes. All bodies come to connect us. Sorcerers from Celia. Which, so presumably it would be Wusat. Also made stars of a room, which is just a better version of this one. Stone arc and horizontal arc of magic spread outwards, depart from the academy, embark on journeys, troops of adversaries, pulls off in Roman packs. And then crystal barrage, grinstone crystal shards, charge and increases potency. Crystal cadre, pursue the wisdom of stone, secrets locked in the faint cogitation of the crystallians. Hmm. Be a while so I can use that though. Hmm. And it was slicer and phalanx that unlocked the scroll I got a bit before. Mm. Bit more to buy out your stock. Little ranks or ranks? Fabulous teacher. Oh my goodness. Someone's got a bit of an ego. Gone through here, so now I think I'll poke around this lake. There's some ruins in here which will also just teleport me. And then another short little catacombs area over there. Not all that complicated, but still nice. Let's switch out for another weapon. Eh, probably still go with a great sword. Yeah. Cool. Go out and mount your horse, but... Yeah, because it'll take a while for me to get the scroll that gives me. The other variations of Glintstone Pebble. All well, the other Glintstone Shard variations. That'll take a bit. Stay away from that Miranda Farm. We already killed those trolls another time, so... Keep on moving. Come on, come on. Going to continue my travels. We actually, up through here, was Patches. We found him. Very early on, and he did... There were a total of three or so traps. Well, maybe more, depending on what, you, what calls as a trap for you, but... Three unambiguous traps, which he springs on you during the game, because... He wouldn't be Patches otherwise, it's the important thing about him. He's always ready to trap you. And there we go, these are land squirts, not land octopi, but land squirts. Certainly something. Turtles which drop their meat. But I... I will be okay. Don't have to kill every single thing, especially if it's not hostile. Everything that's notable and an interesting challenge, maybe. And frankly, not even then. But, okay. Mm hmm. This is actually where we fought that dragon. So, yeah, and just a lot of land squirts, but some of them are secretly other creatures, and oh! Time for crab! Okay. Dodge and slam and. Okay, can I. What if I. Poise break you, Mr. Crab? Okay. They fight exactly the same as the Dark Souls 3 crabs, by the way. Which is funny. And, yep, we can even get the crab visceral, I mean, crab. Crab critical attack. Thanks, and, alright, even get criticals on these guys, too, actually. And let me just check, I'm at, still at heavy load, whatever. Hmm, so we'll keep the helmet off, you can... See my beautiful face or something. Death ahead. Well, actually, this is just a mine shaft. Okay. Go down through here. Wimgrave tunnels. Okay. Come on and oh, right up there. There was something else. But first, let's back with this grace. Touch the grace. At the end of this should be a stone digger troll who. Well, I guess I'll just use stamp upward cut to take him out. If he can be stance broken like all of the other trolls. He is over here. We can hop off onto a ledge. Some stuff, presumably. And 
All right, and this is... Oh, but... As long as we're in darkness, we should probably use Reduvia. Oh, a golden rune for... All right, golden rune for who? And oh, there was another one over that way. Okay, well, so we need to go up a little bit higher then. First, we need to use the lever to call it back. Okay, cool. Mm -mm. All right. I also fought a Knight's Cavalry miniboss, too. Which was fun. Was a big guy on a horse, so I used the Reduvia's blood blade to kill the horse, and then I killed him. And some commoners interfered one time, which prevented the fight from working, which was a bad feeling, but it's life sometimes. That is just right up there, and this is... This is actually a dead end. I think? Yeah, it's a dead end. Wow. Okay, cool. Oh, but what you could do is just drop off the side right at the start. Use this to get down to this area, which actually has the rune. Okay, cool. And... Alright, alright then. I... Okay. Embarrassing. Hmm. Let's just go up then. Go up here. <laughs> the tunnel should have a lot of smithing stones, which should allow me to upgrade my weapons. Well, it will, but you'll see. Come on, come on, come on. The nice thing is that I can make a lot of pickled fowl feet whenever I feel like it, really. It's convenient. Down that side, but down on this side we have the runes... And the other drop downs we've got to do, but we have to jump actually if we want to make those drops without dying. All right, cool. Shouldn't really matter, but actually I should put this down just in case so that if I mess up, if I die, I won't just fall into the pit and use my blood stain. Actually, it's not a blood stain; it's dropped runes. But hmm. over here we have. You and, yeah, you're very weak to... Actually, they're weak to magic, too, I think. Got smithing stone. Go on. It's probably not as dumb of a question as you think. Yep, there we are. Magic bypasses the resistance to everything but bludgeon. No? That's what my dad does. I don't, because I don't drink coffee, but... He makes his own coffee. Smithing stone and... Hmm. Where else? There should be some kind of... Teleport or something somewhere, so I... Hmm. Keep looking and just... Oh, rats! Lovely! Okay, cool. Come on. Oh, well, whatever. I... Alright. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Slam. 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 And one. Two. Golden runes and nothing else. Cool. Are you going to judge me and say, no, you have to go to an espresso place? Smithing soon and... Can if you want. You can judge me. Again, I just don't drink coffee in the first place. But you can judge me even harder for it if you feel like it. Hmm. Whiffed ahead. Presumably there should be a drop down or something. Didn't expect down. That. Hmm. See your passage. Time for look carefully. That is... Down there, okay. Let's drop down. Oh, wow. Well, it's, it's an entitled tourist mindset. That's what's going on. Oh, but wait, wait, I... Oh, no, I... Okay. I may be cooked. Oh, but to get over there, to make that secret way... Hmm. Okay. I have to go up, actually. Fair. Well, it... It's because they're tourists. Tourists are like that most places. Most tourists are like that. Frankly. It was much as I like to be a self-hating American. Americans are not the only bad tourists in the world. Okay, never mind. Maybe they are. And just, wait, what, and I, okay, all right, and, oh my goodness, okay. Stupid dog, I'm balling. Just die, and, okay, what can I do, and, oh, what, 
What? And I... Okay. Turn around. Get that. Mm -mm. Okay. No, not like that. I need to use this and... Oh, please. All right. All right. And come on. Okay. Thanks, thanks. Hmm. The miner is annoying here. And one, two. Fair. Well, I guess that's the upside and downside of America being kind of a global... I mean, English being a global language. American. Soul magic, crystal tunnels, break gem, FP appears a magic bolt. For quality, thereby easily broken, sorcerer wouldn't give it a second look. But it does scale with intelligence anyway, which is just kind of... Okay, why? If you have intelligence, you know, it's not even something you use when you're out of FP. Smithing stone, drop off of you. I didn't even see how to drop. Big thing is, we need to drop off midway in order to actually get to the boss over here. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Pull the lever. Hmm. After this, I'll poke around the lake a little more. Kill the scions, hopefully. And by turning off the fire, sp fire spray and then chill out. Okay, cool. Well, as long as it works. As long as you're satisfied. Jumping. And then... Weak boss ahead or something? Maybe. Oh, where are you? Oh, no, it's not the boss yet, actually. Where are you? Fire. There we go. We need hit a bit more, but we can just pick up smithing stones from here. Smithing stone. Then another. No, not a smithing stone, but a stone scrap. Small one, magic bowl, large piece. Okay. That's basically the same description with the exception of just saying large, so... Hmm. Okay, cool, die. The fact that we can hit them before they see us also helps. Take a bit of extra damage if they're unprepared. Okay. We are, and... That should be somewhere through explosive stone. Flicking fire damage, smoldering core, as tools for rock bossing while I forgot how to craft them. Alright. No Minecraft, I guess. Yep, we can drop down over there too, but... What else? What else? What else? Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Come on, come on. I... So far? Probably that tree spirit. Honestly. It... It didn't have cheese. There were a couple of knights I fought earlier who were sort of... From a later game area over in Kaled. The ones who dropped the Golden Scarab. And they were tough too, but not in the same kind of way. Was, I was able to beat them by just spamming the Greatsword's weapon art to constantly just break their stance and stagger them, which was a lot of fun too. So, we got a somber smithing stone, which is nice. Do tend to be a bit more... a bit easier to upgrade the somber weapons than normal weapons, actually. Should drop down part way, I think. I think. Let's see, and that is thing over here or there is nothing over here. Okay. Alright then. Alright. In that case, I guess the question is, what is the weakness of the Stone Digger troll on the other side? Do they even have a consistent weakness or another smithing stone? And those don't respawn. Get this going through. Let me see. Stone digger, troll. Stone digger, troll, and it's weak to. Hmm, it resists. It's actually weak to magic. Okay, cool. Guess I'll do that. Also weak to strike, but I don't have any good strike weapons. Not at the moment. I'm gonna use our basic glintstone pebbles to take him down. Hi, stone digger, troll. Can I just. Well, the issue is that I can't really aim for the head specifically. Is the thing. And, alright. Hmm. Okay, and dodge. And, can I hit? No, no, no. Ooh, alright. Thanks, and can we hit the head? And, okay. What? Okay, alright. That was actually kind of tough. Hmm, interesting. I, okay, let's keep on running. Cool, and just, alright. And hit. Hitting the head is just not. Maybe if I sniped it specifically, but. Their head is a weak point. That's the thing. And 
dodge. Okay, cool. Dodge. Okay, alright. I kind of like Taro troops from Sekiro, actually, but... Mm, annoying. If I had more magic on me, this would be easy, but... Not stone digger trolls, but actually it's trolls made of stone made of stone as well. Seems what well, that attack was funky. Hi. Uh, and dodge! Dodge. Okay, well, alright. Uh, dodge! And uh, what? Huh? Okay. That was funky. Hmm. Okay. Oh, but there's a stake of America, so that's no problem. Yeah, we just hit you with magic and it's simple. But unlike the other trolls who are biological, they're just made of magic. They're made of stone, basically. Just run past you. Not gonna drop anything good now. The big thing is your drops aren't important. It's the stones you guard that are. Okay, whatever. Time to fight. Again. And not die. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay. One more time, and this will hopefully not be as embarrassing. Cool, we'll just get in close, get this, and yeah. Slow enough that any kind of. Hmm. Yeah, but can't directly aim for your head, is the thing. Dodge. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Aim, and it's alright. Just... Dodge! Okay, cool. Three and... Dodge! Dodge! Okay, alright. Hmm... Thanks. Okay, cool. I actually... Wait, what? Okay. It's actually really, really annoying. I... If I had better magic, I could just cheese this down, but... As good as magic is, it's not gonna do everything for me, and... Okay. Oh, well, alright. Cool, I guess, and... Mm -hmm. See, so they got a tombstone in their belly. Okay, alright, and just dodge, and it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and. Oh, well, we're actually out. Okay, alright, and just run out of the way. Two, three, and four. Okay, cool. Nice. Right, so dodge, do the final hit, and right, cool. Need a bit more for. Wait, oh, come on, you imbecile. Hit you so much. It's just. Surprisingly high damage, it's just also surprisingly easy to keep going, but I- Oh, what? God damn! It's trying to use that foul foot, and it just- <sighs> Stupid. Weirdly difficult. Okay. Hmm. Now it- There are a lot of items to just buy from vendors. I've been prioritizing buying unique vendor stock over leveling my character, which, especially since I literally have been, I literally have the Golden Scarab now, which is actually just an outright hidden item normally. Normally, it's actually really annoying to find. I am not going to have money problems, so I'm just chilling mostly. And, oh, they actually come here? Whatever. Oh, but we're... Oh, please, whatever. All right, come on. Really? Okay, cool. Not cool. Kind of hated that guy. I should have just jumped down the ledges, actually. That would have worked just fine. Okay. Be a magic from a distance. The only way. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, cool. Just stay under, stay under, stay behind. Not much you can- what? Okay. Fun. The AoE on that was actually crazy. Okay, cool. I guess, and I- Dodge. Jump, and cool. Thanks, and... Another flask. Cool. I just cannot- Hmm. One, two, three, four, and it's just- Alright, then. Dodge. Oh, well, okay, cool. Thanks. What? Oh, I hate you. I actually hate you. I... Huh. It... A good magic build trivializes this guy because of how weak he is to magic, but... 
If you don't have a good magic build, then you resist everything physical except strike, and the only strike weapon I have is the basic club, which, well, the joke writes itself. Hmm. Okay, so we just we just drop down over here. We can. Yeah, this is a good way. Come on, come on. Keep on dropping down. Try not to die, but I. Really? God damn! That doesn't even make sense. Uh, stupid finicky platforming, and that's three thousand souls down the pipe. God damn. Stupid, stupid, stupid game. I I would like to think it should only get easier from here. Is there are a lot fewer vendors in general once you weave Limgrave. Which means I can just spend everything on levels. And so I've bought out vendor stock, it's just levels from there. Said it's there's so so few things I actually need that buying out vendor stock is kind of stupid anyway. Only a few things I would meaningfully craft in the first place, so it's just why. What do I have to meaningful game? Okay. Cool. But just the fact that you can't actually aim for his head, even though it's a weak point, is... Interesting. Say that much and I... Okay. Nice. 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 And... Okay. Did they fall down or what? Okay. Cool. Nice. And we need to take a Cerulean Flask and then... Use the... Oh, okay, cool. Use the foot. Thanks. And just... One more hit. And that'll do it. Now you're dead. And we're probably not even getting the souls we lost back. Roar and Medallion increases the damage of Roar abilities and the like. Yeah, we basically slightly did not get it back. Roaring Giant, Wars and Breath Attacks, Mortal Enemies of the Earth Tree, Bowling Rollers, Desert of Nature, Triggered Avalanches and Whipped Up Storms of Flame. Okay. A little bit more in a gill. Gill Lake, but frankly, first I want to go and see if I can buy another sorcery from the teacher. The things in the lake, but. Hmm. Killing those scions would be nice. There you are. Shall we commence the lecture? Anything to buy, or we could buy. We could have bought both of those if we hadn't lost stuff. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> We're getting so many extra things that losing the occasional stain is not the end of the world, though. So now we can go back here, probably actually turn every single one of my flasks to... Oh, blue, and then... Kill. Yeah, okay. So the side of grace. Actually, we have one health flask and mate. Eh, we should be fine. Let's turn them all the blue flasks and kill the scions and pray that it does something of note. Alright. What should we need for a level? It's already 4,000 for a level, so... Tough. Can we... Okay. Poison, but not poison fast enough to matter. Go down, kill some guys. Ghost enemies are not a problem, mostly, but... Yes, so we turn off the fire, we bring the grafted silence back through, jump off onto a ledge where they may or may not follow me. Either way, get them to a place where I can hit them without them being able to hit me. That would be the idea. And they're chasing me a little, but oh yeah, you really are chasing me. Uh, okay. Interesting. Die, die, die. Okay. Cool. Funky. There's a hidden area. The big thing is that there are these those giant pots up there. If you snipe the arrow and use an arrow to snipe the rope holding them up, they fall down and explode. And if you time it just right, they'll drop on top of the chariot and destroy it. That's what I had to do. I actually had to leave and get a short bow. This dungeon, this individual dungeon, is probably some of the most important parts of what happened today in terms of you know, deciding my game plan. Question is. I'm gonna be able to hit the guy from over here, or where? How could I hit them? If I were them over this way, where could I go? That's the question. Well, we'll see. Hello then, hello. Got fire, we got fire. And just, fire's gone. Cool. So just slam, Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. 
Okay, cool. Stop flask. Cerulean device is good. Now we have to go and knock this down. Yeah. Cool. No more of that. Traduvia, put on the helmet again. And there we are. Fun. Take down two grafted signs over here, ideally. That said, we do have some issues. Am I getting the way of that? No, there's light down there. Fun, and all right then, and then you're dropping down over this way, so thanks. One, two, and dodge, dodge. And now we can run and just bait them out, presumably, and one. Okay, cool, and just one, and okay, all right, let's just do that. Cool, and okay, nice. Another, and what? No, no, no. Now the idea is I bait them past here. Get them through here and drop down. Or are you stuck on that? Or you're not quite stuck on that. Okay, I, okay. All right, then we run out through here. Maybe try to get some individual hits. But the big thing is I drop down. Two of the drop down and... Hmm, almost like a spider. Oh, but, oh, you can't get through. No, you can't get through here. Why couldn't you before? Oh, it's, they it changed their hitbox a bit, it seems, based on the time and oh funky can we get you through here that's the question will you actually do something if that happens well we can run we can run and try to get out of the way and then maybe diagro them and keep looping that it's possible the big thing is that beginning back through is not nearly as bad as i expected which means well getting back through is not nearly as bad as i expected okay so where did you go Big friend. Okay. Not friend. Big enemy. And just using these hits, these blood blades on you is... Can we... Oh, okay, okay. And, alright. Thanks. And how much more can we... Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I said... Oh, what? Alright. Not fun. Cool. And dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is an idea, but... Question is how long you're gonna stay out of the way. How long it'll take, and we don't have anything to heal ourselves other than this, and I tire of this nonsense. Okay, cool. Big thing is making sure we don't die to the little ghost guys. That said, a two health blast would still be more than enough, actually. Jumping off ahead. Cool and should be oh well never mind. Okay, cool. Fun. How long it'll be until you leave me alone. Or ever. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Kind of, not really. And, oh, that was dangerous. Don't quite like that. Thanks, and nice. Cool, cool. And another blood blade will do it. Nice, cool. It's just, just for damage, it's good too. This is a way to hurt enemies. Okay. And there you are, kinda. Kinda. Okay, cool. Nice. And just one, one. Mm. Thanks. And okay, nice. And blood blade. And, oh my goodness. Okay. I. I can probably make this happen if I actually get a couple of red flasks. I don't need that many blue flasks for this, actually. A lot fewer than I expected. Big thing is, I should actually, I'll be on changing my flasks out. Go and remove the, not just the imp enemies, but the ghosts, because the ghosts were causing me problems too. And then we can just loop around, continue cutting them and kill them that way. And that will probably be what I do today. Tomorrow I will do a bit more in Isla and Britain and probably go to Weeping Peninsula. And then... Weeping Peninsula shouldn't take all that long. There's nothing hard there. It's all meant to be pretty easy. And then I can kill... Move on to Stormvale or something, or at least Storm Hill. Yeah, cool. And then we'll be chilling relatively. Relatively. And just... Alright, thanks. Oh, great. Great stuff. 
One, two, three, and oh my goodness, I okay, alright. Thanks. Cool. Not really. Okay. That was dumb. I should have killed the other guys beforehand. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> try this anyway, especially since I do still need to get my runes back. It's nice that you can actually teleport out of this area, which is not so with a lot of other dungeons. The big question is, is the fire still deactivated? So I get the feeling that it won't be. Okay, cool. Hello there, hi. Now you're right here, so we can... One, two, three, then... Yeah, that was it, it seems. If we go back up and jump back around again. I just... Grafted Scion is tough. It might be weak to bleed relatively, but it doesn't take extra damage, and it just... It's still tough to proc. At least the damage that Reduvi actually deals is good, too. Beyond just being from range, but... Cool, and two, three, and other one should be coming now. Where is the other guy? Oh, you're over there. Is the oh, you got a jump option, and I, okay, what in the, okay, die. Two, three, four, okay, cool. And it, it's still here, but it'll stay until we take it down. Interesting. So we timed that wrong. Need to get a bit closer, and once we see the flame just start to disappear, that's when we start running. And just one, two, three, four. Is this last? Cool. Switch out to Rajuri again. Got a helmet again. Cool. Two hand this stupid thing. Okay. Shut that down, and cool. Thanks. Alright. Goodbye, machine. Huh. Can I just... There's no way they drop anything of note, right? Grafted Scion. Field Boss. Wester Grafted Scion? Fringe Folk Hero's Grave, just... They don't drop anything meaningful. They just drop... Runes. Ranged Weapon Downfall with a Ranged Weapon Consumable. Corpse on the opposite end, so... There's actually no special reward for this, but it'd be fun to kill them. Actually, they hardly drop runes anyway. That is kind of stupid. Well, whatever. We'll survive. Cool. Cool. I, in that case, I'll just come back later and do more of this crap. I, okay, cool. And big ol' scream. Fun. And just, alright, alright. And one. Dodge. Uh. Hmm. Thanks. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Hmm. Just the degree of problems that. Okay, cool. And. Hmm. Okay, and I. Oh, interesting. I don't like that. Really don't like that. What? How did they. Okay. Can I try that one more stupid time? But I. They hardly even take damage from the fire. It's the really annoying part. It's literally less than a blood, than a hemorrhage proc. It's the dumbest part of it. Whereas I, how much HP do I even have? I have... Maybe I could survive one hit. Well, it probably is. I probably couldn't because enemies have their own resistances and own defenses. So even if I have my resistance, the fact that they take less damage is probably more due to their individual defense than anything else. I need to stay as far away from that as possible if I'm doing stuff in the corridor. Yeah, I... It's tough. It's certainly kind of tough. Okay, cool. One, two, three. <sighs> this is... It's life. Okay. One, two, three. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Kill this guy. One, two... That angle could not have come out of the cross, but the way it was facing. That actually makes no sense. Okay. Well, whatever. i do this crap one more time. So probably if I use the short bow, I bet I could deactivate it from range. Then maybe activate it from range, which would be funny. It would help. 
Let's just test that. See if I can activate it from range and just let it do the job for me via burning. One, two, three, and all right. Well, we took some damage. I don't like that. And the storm deck didn't even hit that guy. Maybe because it didn't go low enough. That goes lower than this, actually. This is the slanted nature of the normal attack swing. Hmm. Let's actually, we can craft some more normal arrows. Let's make more flesh bone arrows. Let's make more of those, actually. No reason not to. Let's see if I can deactivate the fire trap from range. If I can, then we would be really in business. We could really be in business. Two, and there we go. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, just... Okay, three, four, and... Oh, wow, well, we roll badly in the wrong way. Classic. Okay. Isn't that... Equip our short bow. She'll just put it in the other hand and... Try that. Cool. Now we're at... Still at medium load, actually. Interesting. Use that, and can we... Shoot this. Yeah! Oh, that was very, very nice. That may be strategic, then. It's an idea. Use it to torch them. Well, it would be a certain level of tough, but and we'd have to wait for one of them to go back, but it's an idea. We just go out, hurry them with a bit of Reduvia hits, and then try our best to torch them, if at all possible, depending on where they're staying. Would this put me at heavy load? No, it would not. That's good. Okay, cool. Do this, we use the arrow to reactivate things from the other end of the hallway, and then kill them for fun, because it's not going to be for profit, that's for sure. And there we go. We'll just do that. Jump over. You're going to come down, and we can just one, two, and nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Just run and oh my goodness. Okay, we have to run. We have to run for it. Thanks, thanks, and cool. Then we just do this as soon as we get to the other side and alright, cool. Nice. Come around, come around. Well or not, or not. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Get over here. Over here, where are you? Get over here. One, two, and dodge! And I. Mm. Okay. Big damage, but I. What? Huh? Okay. Big issue is that they weren't chasing me. They really weren't even trying to chase. They. were kept to just hold their space and make sure that. You know, they would threaten me if I was. Actually, in a spot where I could hit them. But if I couldn't hit them, they wouldn't do anything. Actually, what I could do is just shoot them with the short bow. Honestly, at this point. If I can hit them from far away enough, it would bypass their shield, presumably. Just aim for their body at a point where they won't be actually be trying to get me. It'd be farther away than I could hit with Reduvia, but whatever. Okay. There might be a way to get them to approach me, which would also be good. Two, three, thank you, thank you. Bone, bone. Uh, uh, okay, cool. That ends, okay, we rolled that right. Strafe a little, one, two, and well, you fell again. Cool, and slam down on you from above. Okay, so the bow is good, the bow is good. We should just make... We don't need flight pendants for basically anything else, though, and that's the thing. We just get... Actually, we could... Mmm. Fire bone arrows. A oh, poison bone arrows. Those would be good. Let's make a bunch of these and then just try to apply some poison to them. It's... If we can't beat this fight fairly, we can beat this fight through. Subterfuge. Okay, cool. Then in my inventory, in my gear, I've got great arrows. Don't need those. I need the poison bone arrows. Fletched. 
And one, two, three, and oh come on! All right, thanks. Not really. Get them to a spot where I can poison them. I will be a happy camper. Poison them. Let they let them die to the poison and to my arrows and. That's how you beat something that you can't defeat normally. Something even longer range than magic arrows. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that actually went for the critical? Weird. I wonder how it decides stuff like that. Oh, whatever. Oh. Okay, cool. There you are. I can. Four ends. One, one, two, three, four. Now the only things left would be those guys, and yeah. Thanks, and just zoom in, shoot, take that down, cool. Nice, thank you. Take this out again, kill that imp, yeah, cool. One, two, three, four, and oh, all right. All right. I think that was a backstab instead. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Try this another time, and hopefully we can do it this time. We'll see. Okay. Get our Reduvia out. So Reduvia and our bows. Well, magic could be an option if I could hit from far away enough, but I think you need a lock-on for that, and that does have a relatively limited range. Thanks, cool. Let's use that, and all right. Thanks, get down here, and one, two, and all right, cool. Thanks. And we can move over, reactivate some stuff. Presumably. Who was just hit? I. Okay, cool. I will go over. Reactivate this from the other side. We'll wait until you keep going or maybe don't. Hello then. I. Alright. Let's use this. Then. And we got you and let's just poison you. Should we get some poison in? And, alright. Thanks, thanks, but you're not coming. Well, I, okay. Poison. Poison on the other guy. Poison. Poison. What is your poison resistance, is my question. And who are we hitting? Who are we hitting? I. Hmm. Alright, and can we even... Is this even actually usable or workable? I don't even, can't even tell at this point. Thanks, cool. Thanks, I, wait, what, really? Okay, cool. Whatever, I, all right. Thanks, and, okay, cool, and, mm -mm. what if I, don't, oh, what, no, 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 I, okay. Somehow I get the impression that maybe they can't be poisoned at all. It would suck, but it's possible. Thanks, and, mmm, poison buildup is certainly something, I, okay. And now you're over that way, and I don't like that. But I can just use Reduvia, maybe. Well, not with the way this is going now. Not with the way this is going now. I need to wait for you to go back into the corridor and then just shoot the fire turret and hope that it gets motion activated by that person, by the rapid sign. <laughs> okay. Where are you going now? You can't reach me anymore, so presumably you'll start making your way back home. Maybe. Big thing is that I don't actually have a good way to... Oh, what? Oh, there was another guy there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, I don't want to stick crouching, though. Stand a crouch even when you're rolling? Okay, cool. Alright. One, two... Okay, cool. Hmm. So then... Where are you going? Drop down now. We got far away enough, so... Hmm. Let's go down, try to activate the fire turret again. That got on the other side, so we sneak up, just use the arrow to proc it, because our arrow damage is basically nothing. Arrows are damaged, we can't even activate poison is the thing. That's the issue. Oh, come on, you... What in the... Okay? Ah, <sighs> stupid, stupid. How far away do we need to go before... Maybe assassin's, pro assassin's Approach could be useful, but I just... Hmm. It actually could be, but I... Hmm. Where are you going? Which way are you going? 
slowly backing up into the corridor, but you're doing just that. You're backing up. You haven't turned around yet. Assuming to watch. Don't like that. So then I... <laughs> Fire is how I need to do this for sure, but... It's easier said than done. Hmm. Alright, alright. Then we just continue sneaking and try to do this and... Activate it from the other side to torch the guy? Maybe. This is slow and painstaking. Don't presume we would get anything of actual use or note out of it, but... If you're just gonna stay over here, we can do hit and run tactics, maybe. I... Where are they going? They're going to move back, but they're turning to face. That's the problem. They're gonna get their backs turned, which is why... I guess that is the advantage of basically being a spider. Some of them do describe Godric as a spider, if I recall correctly. Which... Where then? How do, would we use that? Can we actually reach the turret, or... Maybe, depending on the way, you'll hit, butt up. Oh, come on. I'm not doing anything yet, but we'll... Huh, okay. It's not aggroing you quite yet, but we can hit with that, or what? Or not? How do we actually hit that thing? Yeah, that is maybe good for me. Maybe good for me. So now we can just use that and hopefully torch. Hopefully torch them. Eventually. Okay, so, once we get the guy over, we can, or not, or not, oh my goodness, I, okay, okay, whatever. Hmm, so, you weren't there yet, how am I going to actually activate and aggravate you then? Let's get him close then and start crawling and thanks and, oh my goodness, I, okay, come on, I, Thought I'd be able to actually activate the fire part. Well, whatever. I, okay. Cool. Just gonna have to use Reduvia. And can I... Hmm. I, all right. And cool. And all right. Cool. And dodge. Oh my. What? What? No, you... Come on. You've got to be kidding me. The fact that you can do that is ridiculous. Okay. Cool. It's just funny way to actually kill that guy. Just using the corridor is a way to rack up damage, but, okay. Just wait until you retreat into the corridor. This is slow and painstaking, and yeah, Satz's approach could be nice, but fire is not going to happen because if the fire comes up, I think it leaves the corridor. Don't know if it's that smart, but it happened the other time, so I, yeah. Makes sense for it to be smart enough, given that it is a human sort of enemy. Enemy that did used to be human. Uh, stealth. Stealth mission. Pain. Suffering. Where are you going then? I. Okay. Hmm. That blood loss is going to decline. Okay, cool. Run in and use that. Cool. And dodge. Cool. Thanks. Alright. And. All right, and wait, what? Damn you! Go to hell! Kill yourself! Okay. I can try warping them, but I just... <sighs> this... I honestly don't even know why I care so much about this. Other than that, well, they are mini-boss enemies, and they're mini-boss enemies who suck. So... Let's memorize. We don't need that. Let's take Assassin's Approach. It's a decent. Sounds as footsteps reduces fall damage and sound. It'd be useful if we went for a stealth approach. Yeah. Bow to deactivate straps and the stealth approach. Yeah. Maybe try to get some cheaper doobie hits off, but it really is just silly. And again, it's just, they don't even drop all that many runes. I'd get an okay amount, but it's not going to win any prizes. I guess I might be able to buy another spell from the Sorceress just to have it, but... Hmm. Yeah. Big thing is that once this is through, everything going on, will, everything from this point onward will be 
a challenge I'm supposed to be when I meet it. There's never going to be anything else that is just beyond my pig right, that I get in over my head on. Okay. It's imps, imps, imps. Let's go into Kaolid early, beating the Tree Spirit early, beating Tree Sentinel early, beating these guys early. It's just... It's really about it. It's... And be fair, you are maybe supposed to go in here for the Dragon Communion Seal, but it it's a bit funky. And, oh, come on, I should have gotten on one side of you. Whatever. Okay. This uh, uh, loss is decent. Slashing damage is decent, but maybe if I had a katana, it would be good, but I... Okay. It almost killed me. I would have sucked. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. Got a little bit more. Another imp. Another imp. And just... Okay, cool. And one, two, three, four. And I will take the bow back out and snipe that again. Just to put it down. Thank you. I like that. And then you have what you find. Crack and sign again, and oh my goodness, whatever. Three, four. Question is, what might it be like to actually get a stance break on one? I'd only probably be able to get a stance break on one of them. Because of how ruthless and aggressive they are. Two feet is good. Two feet is good, but. Hmm. Okay, we try it again. We just try it one more time. If it doesn't work, maybe I'll just not try again. And you're gonna stir. We have to go back this side. Cool. There's really no place we can just fight them with impunity, is the thing. There's no real cheese for this. That's the thing. And dodge, dodge. Mm -hmm. Do oh, come on. Alright. Thanks. And okay. Take you down with a bit, but you bleed. Take the flask and just keep on running through here, probably. Best we can. And just get over this way. And, alright. Kinda stuck. Kinda. One, two, and just dodge. Okay, cool. Huh. Thanks. Tank, and. As long as we, if we get them stuck on each other in this hallway, we're actually kind of good. Pretty decent position, but I cannot. Nice no, dodge it. Okay, alright, alright, and cool. Thanks. Oh, what? No! I really just. Uh, stupid! I got too greedy. I. I don't even care anymore. Maybe I'll come back eventually when, among other things, I just have a better Reduvia. More upgraded. I do think I'm gonna stick with this thing for a while because it is just strong. But this is disheartening for sure. Okay. So the question is, what could I do? One thing to do real quick to close things off. I could go to the lake, or I could go to Fort Height and beat up the guys there. That sounds more fun actually. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. But of course, being spirits, so they can't be bled. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Gotta get my blood stain back. Oh, okay, cool. And just slam. There we go. Get my blood stain back. Pray. Not do this garbage. Eh, actually, maybe. I just. I cannot. Let go of this fight. It's too interesting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wow! Should imagine a stance break from that. It's kind of crazy. Okay, and just dodge, dodge. Can't actually stun luck, which is surprising to me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, nice. But the stamina was kind of an issue. Okay, cool. Put that back. Thank you, another smithing stone, I guess. Okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Try this, and shoot that again. Yeah. 
cool. The fact that it doesn't seem like in status then is really, really annoying too. So I was kind of relying on that. Nice and die anyway. <laughs> it's just there aren't really other spells I could be using, not any other tools I could be using that would make this meaningfully easier. Maybe just more flasks, getting more golden seeds, but it's it's like it's a matter of skill, not getting greedy, just only attacking when they finish an attack, and I know they finished, but I... Okay, cool. One, two, and I... Okay, alright, thanks. Die. Die. And can I... Mmm, that was really, really dumb. Cool, and just... Alright, that was actually horrible. Thanks, thanks. What, what, what? God damn you! I have no poise either. It... The fact that they were able to break my poise so easily, too. The big thing is, is that I need it to be locked on to the first sign that drops down when we run behind if we actually want to hit it with a couple blades for an easy couple of initial, for an easy first bleed proc. It's just, the damage we deal is okay. The big thing is that they're weak to slash, they're a bit more resistant to standard, but even though the Reduvia deals slash damage with its attacks, apparently according to the wiki, its projectiles actually deal standard damage, which is weird. Well, whatever. Uh, okay, and oh, alright, whatever, die. Need one more hit. Hmm. Another spell, another hit, and one, zero, three, four, five, six. Cool, cool. Hmm. Can I? Take you out with that, and well, that was surprisingly fast. And can I go on again and slam? Thank you, cool, I guess. I just. Feels kind of futile. I do actually like the fact that I've been wearing this Godric Soldier cosplay this entire time, because it's what I've gotten just having dropped from enemies for free. Three, four, five, six, seven, and alright, cool. Nice, and all right. Oh, come on. Okay. Interesting. Not good. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Can I... Mm. Dodge, and can I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Even with dealing slash damage with it, which they resist. Good damage still. One more time. If this doesn't work out, I'm just getting in blood stain, buying a spell to use up weaving. Probably going to Fort Height to get... A little bit of stuff from the the guy there do that quest line, but cool, 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 nice die. Okay, cool. Hmm. Stance damage though is its own beast. Okay. I do not like all this. I am in a state. The fact that hitting them with. Getting the fire trip to reactivate is probably not something I can actually use to my advantage. It's tough. It deals pretty good damage, not more damage than we can really deal right now, but. And just one, two, and oh, alright, and thanks. Cool. Nice. And block. Or just run out of the way. Thank you, thank you. Alright, and can I mmm, stupid, stupid. Alright, and both of you are on your way, so I... Maybe I'll just actually go back and shoot... No, that won't work. That won't work at all. Ah, uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. No, I didn't want to switch that. I didn't want to switch it. I right, okay, cool. Thanks, and... Mmm, can I... Alright, and dodge. Okay, thanks. Dodge, and... Mmm. Take, and dodge, dodge, and... Oh my god damn! I keep... I just... Didn't have enough runway. <sighs> this is actually really, really frustrating and really, really stupid. <sighs> it's... You know, what am I going to do? Use Waterfowl Dance? That would take the entire game and I don't think I'll even ever have that much dexterity. Uh, oh my goodness, I, I'm just gonna go, for, go to Fort Hyde, that's something I'm supposed to do right now, 
not underleveled in the slightest. It, it's just normal. Okay. I don't need to, I don't need to do this to myself. Okay. And my blood stain should be through here, so let's sneak up and kill you. Thanks. But, oh wow, that is actually a bit less effective than intended. Three and die, 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 and all right. Cool. And we need to use this on you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And can I just do that? Oh, what? Never mind. Okay, cool. Heal. And kill. All right. It only took that much. I just... The amount of talent I've spent here is inordinate. What I should do is just run over to the fortress over here. And actually drop down using the gravestones to get to Fort Height relatively quickly. Kill the guys there and just be done with this for now. Yeah. Okay. By that, we bought everything she sells. Cool. For now, eventually we'll get more sorcery tomes. Let's just escape this place, go through Fort Height. That would give us, among other things, a couple, one of the halves of the Dectus Medallion, which we'll need to get to basically mid-game. It's raining. I... Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Okay. No reason... Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Over there is where Yura is, so... I want to just bypass all these imbeciles. Things left about would be various incantations. I'm actually relatively close to being able to use something like Litany of Proper Death. So that could be nice. We'll see. I uh huh. And here is Those are the gravestones to get down more quickly. Hop on those and see. Yeah, yeah. Alright. And there we are. Cool. Gotten down the cliff. There and then. See, little area is actually important. It will be more important later for reasons. Oh, hello. Hi. So you might as well try to take out some of the walls. But the range on this is actually less than I would like or expect. Okay, cool. And slash. Cool. The actual physical slash of the weapon is not meaningless, but it's very, very minor in terms of damage compared to everything else. In terms of the projectile deals most of the damage, the blade itself does a little bit extra, but only about less than a tenth. It's kind of silly. For there is the way to Weeping Peninsula, which we'll probably go to tomorrow. All right. Hmm. Question is, down there at Fort Height, what am I going to find? I know that there's a crazy knight with some blood powers, so we'll use our own blood powers on him. There are also... Should also be something else, maybe. I think, okay, there is a graveyard over here with wolves and also runes, so... One, two... And, oh, the bleed, bleed proc did not kill. And, oh, okay, interesting. Well, all right. Die. Die, and... Other wolf, other couple of other wolves, but... Oh, those are better golden runes, actually. Better than before, but... This is actually... We're basically an Eastland Grave now, so Eastland Grave is a bit harder than Westland Grave, so it makes sense that we get slightly better rewards. Slightly. Oh, another wolf. Cool. I want a smaller golden rune. Okay. And, oh, well, okay, alright. Fun. Let's continue taking these wolves on. Single Reduvia. Blood Blight will just kill. Two collecting runes and golden rune, golden rune. Golden rune and, yeah. Golden rune. Another wolf. Okay, all right. Use that and kill. Fun. Thin beast bones and what else we got? Herbaly flower. 
And anyone else over this way, or... No, it's just the Mistwood itself. Okay. Alright then, let's use our Tears Flask and take these guys on. I... This is actually really, really useful. Really, really useful. So normally, Reduvia... This Reduvia Blood Blade, it's called that Reduvia specifically because the normal Blood Blade skill is different and it actually deals damage to the user upon use. Which makes it a bit less useful. So, having a projectile that we can basically spam. Almost for free at mid-range and then use to inflict water loss buildup as well. Which is very, very nice. And over here, well, let's drop down into that spirit spring, so. Hello then. We're just gonna. Yep. And that broke our fall. Nice. This would has some things, but the main thing is just. You can avoid this for now. The, the area will change later on when we make some plot developments happen, but as of now, it's pretty standard. Okay. All we gotta do is poke around a bit more so we find anything that Beach might have. A land octopus to kill just for fun. Then, yeah, yeah, I can beat up one of these things just to show you how. It is a tentacled monster, but you can actually chop off its two front tentacles, which otherwise it uses for pretty damaging attacks. So we can just slash, slash, thank you, and oh, okay, alright. Cool, I could, wait, what? Okay. Nice, telecut mechanic. The beak is the most vulnerable part of its body by far, so I... Okay, cool. Nice, and die, die. Alright, cool. Now it's got its kids. Land Octopus Ovary talks about... It's a man-eating octopus, because it can actually only reproduce by filling its ovaries with human blood, specifically. Goodness. Like a dream. Maybe a bad one. Okay. So we've got a couple of wolves around that way, but first we should probably go to Fort Height. Which is over here. Up on that hill, and here is our grace. Hello. Do Kenneth's quest real quick and survive. Okay. Finish up his quest real quick, and this is... Fort Height West. There's another one? Presumably. I'm just gonna continue this garbage. And yeah. I'm not it's not garbage anymore, because I'm not trying to kill the stupid grafted scion anymore, but yeah. There is somebody here on the road. Hello. This is Talk. You are. Demi Hoon's Rax Roth, now their mother's been taken. Lord Kenneth, Knight Bedeviled by Blood. So that would make him... Presumably a Bloody Finger, a servant of Moog, the Lord of Blood, maybe. As otherwise, because it should be a Lord of Blood, Ash of War. We'll see. When we kill him, we'll get Bloody Slash from him. It should tell us. Okay. More row is always good. Lots of that. We can store about as much as we can hold, too. Oh, and they're just here. Fun. And, alright. This is just good. Exceptionally good. Yeah, I... No reason not to use this thing. Oh, but a ballista's here. Ballista, nice. Okay. So where and how can you reach me is the thing. That's the question. Nice, die. Okay, cool. That uh, pumpkin head should be somewhere around here, I think. Another golden seed. That's good. That would be useful, but... Alright, and can we... Alright, nice. And just thanks. Out of the way, and... Thank you. That pumping head's right there. So one, two, and... Mm. Thanks, and... Oh, oh alright. And take it out. Now we need our cerulean tears. The question is... Will this hit the head, or this would hit the head, unless I had a way to... Oh, goodness, I can't get through there. That sucks. Hmm, and... Ooh, alright, and... Can I use this? Hmm, that's a bit annoying. And just dodge and dodge and... Alright, another one on you, and dodge. 
Uh, oh, okay, cool. It's your weaker. That's good. One, two, three, and as long as we don't hit the head helmet. Pumpkin helmet, sanctuary stone, and yeah, we're fine now. Sniffing stone, brass shield. That's all your stuff for me. that shield covered in brass, covering point in the shattering, no skill. This will be used instead, and it's actually pretty good. Equip that shield, it's our first. Oh, but we need a bit more carrying capacity. Yeah, Blood Rose is right here, oh funky. Blood soaked soil, crafting items evolved by those who serve the word of blood, gore to his inevitable reign. Speak for yourself. And another golden seed. Question is How many do we need for another flask use now that we have one? Extra use. Various birds. <laughs> Go over get get. Roa would be nice to have, but blood roses are maybe a blood grease recipe or something, but I just more than a little confused. Rodely flower and assume we can't just hold things down to acquire like you couldn't sick it all. Well whatever. It's a different game. And just as most of these to be fair, I'm not even really gonna be using. Go around past the boys. Somebody must be in there manning it. Let's go over. The Godric soldiers still follow their commander, even though he's serving a different lord, not even Godric Moog. Moog doesn't really have his own soldiers in a standard sense, though. It's interesting. So then, let's go over here and praise the death. There's nothing here. Okay. Hmm, alright. Blood Blade is crucial. Forward height, and then use that. Probably, oh, well, it was a bad idea, but he didn't hit me, at least. Another blood rose, and, okay, cool. Let's do that, and, oh, rat, rat, oh, oh, my, what, huh? Oh, that's not good. Thanks, and, oh, the rats are more, actually, put up more of a fight than the other guys, that's funny. Golden rune, and, can we get an item, or, oh, did you hit an explosive pot and kill yourself? It looks like you did. How sad. For you. Okay. Blood Rose. Three Blood Roses. It's interesting how we were able to get these early. Well, early is a relative term. Then we will keep on moving. Get over here and just take you down. Cool. Got you up here too and just... Is this the range? Yeah, that was perfect. It actually goes along the ground really well too. That's the curious thing for me. And just rot, rat, rat, and someone else. Another firebomb, so let's just do that. And oh, we actually got some flasks back. That's fun. So this does count as an overworld area. For the sake of enemy groups restoring. Oh, commoners had that altered. Altered. Cloth removed, stand for commoners. No commoners remaining with their wits about them. Classic. Oh, right, we want this. Anyone else in here? It does not seem like it. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook, and that is... Repertoire... Yeah, you can get Blood Grease. Oh, an arrow, blood and bolt, drawstring, blood grease. And that could actually be... Depending on the build-up, that could be something to use on the Scions, but I won't do that now. I'll just come back with better weapons and just choose them. So let's actually just... Maybe use Assassin's Approach? Yeah. Alright, and can we just... Now that aggro's broken, just... Stab you from behind, and what are you going to turn? This guy uses Bloody Slash, so. Yeah, there we go, Mr. Commander. Thank you. One, two, die. Ash of War, Bloody Slash. Cool. That is Blood Oath Skill, granted by the Lord of Blood. Exactly. He was a Moog servant. Sands coat the blade in your own blood, in which rending Blood Slash in a wide arc. Presumably it would deal damage if I used it. Blood Rose, and... I think the other part of the medallion might be on top of there. Either way, the other parts of the battlements are also accessible, and I may as well kill the guy manning the ballista. Make him pay for all the pain and suffering he inflicted upon me. Okay. So, oh, you can actually drop it down? Some parts of it can. That's just... Hmm, would not be a good idea, but maybe I'll do it anyway. 
should be the second half of the Dactus Medallion. First half, I mean. It's the Medallion left. Then in our inventory, we've got depicting the Erd Tree. Both halves can join. Activate the ground with Dactus, connecting the Altus Proto to Leonia. Design to Fort Feralt and the Dragon Barrow far to the east over in Kaelid. Have to go over there before we can go to Altus, unless we want to be funny and use one of the alternate paths the game does have for us. But I would prefer to go and do a bit of Kaelid exploration before that happens, so. Over here, well, a couple of towers down this way. Any items we could get, or what? This is Smithing Stone. Let's go around to the other side of the battlement, go back to Kenneth, and I think that will be the end of today. We spent a lot of time bashing our head against walls, so to speak, so it'll be nice to do something tomorrow, which presumably will be a bit easier. Change rigged Tabard. Chinmel Shmuel dropped over the shoulders, put soldiers in a lord's army because they were punished. They counted as new items for the sake of that. You can actually break these things if you want. It takes a lot. Yeah. It really takes a lot. You drop down into here, or... It does not seem like there's any way to get inside there, so... We'll just let that be. Actually, can I? Well, I can't use my horse in here is the big thing. Hmm. What if I went around on the outside wall? Well, I don't think I can even do that. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. There's nothing over there, so... Rescue the Great Kind of Height. But there's no Fort Height East. Maybe it was intentionally, int originally meant to basically be west of Fort Height. Or, I guess it, it wasn't meant to imply presence of other Fort Height races, most likely. This is the guy who told us to do that, so let's just go over and tell him the good news. Presumably. Okay, over here we got you. Hello, and you'll give us an Erdsteel dagger. Hello there. I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Hello. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Maybe so. Oh, okay. Knight's dead to boot. Well done indeed. Right to trust you. Reward is promised. All yours and an Erdsteel dagger. It's decent. Head to the fort. Communication with the demi humans. Don't believe me. Mingling made possible, not with behind, rule true order. So let's want to uphold it. Just you watch. Enter my service, bright thing, stout warrior. True order. Return to the tarnished eyes of yours, find a cord, sure. Something in you await you at the fort. For your knighting by the Urtree Blast. Okay, cool. Dagger we got is okay. It's oh, I don't have enough faith for it, but it's Faith scaling on pure physical damage. Grass crest engraved upon its blade. True loyalty for self-defense in times of peace. High standard and difficult to wield. Attack power skills with faith. New brain, we got this. Carry knights, combined swordsmanship, creating pressure upon foes, striking waves of steel and sorcery. And then... That's the cuckoo by the accounting payment for their contract. It's well in motion. Go back over there real quick to see what he might have to say. And then I will close things out for the day. I actually did get a decent amount done, I would say. It was alright. Thing is, are there any enemies here anymore? Now that we've killed some of them. Killed the big knight, so presumably it maybe be free of... Yep, it's totally peaceful now. How pleasant. Okay, cool. Oh, but no, the blood rose does respawn. That's good. So good old Kenneth... Let's find him. And oh, the demi-humans have taken over. Should have known it wouldn't be so easy. The absence of the rest. Okay, and okay, fun. All right, all right. And can I slash slash and ooh, all right. What? Hmm. Okay. Then and then and then we'll just use that and slash and slash and all right. Mm, slash and oh my the time that takes is actually kind of vile okay slash and hmm but you got hit by the slash but not the projectile it's funky 
I could just use normal hits with Reduvia for this. I probably should. Okay, tool. Yeah. What what is good for single target, but this is not a single target. Well, was not a single target fight. So I guess he's going to be surprised that all his slaves rebelled. Idiot is as, uh, idiot as he is. Okay. Well then, any more anyone else in here or it's empty? Yeah, let's just go up to the top where the knight was, where presumably he will be. And then just get whatever he gives us in exchange for entering his service. And, alright, whatever. Cool. And just can we hit almost. Yeah, cool. Cool. Nothing meaningfully drops, so we'll just keep on going. And there you are. Hello. Sorry, so my fort fell fate for land without a ruler. Of that awful Godric. Take the reins of Wingrave. Look to your hope, some of the raise your knighthood as things said. Search apology, search post haste. Take the reins. Okay, cool. Well, at least we talked to him, so. Let's go back to the hold real quick and. Maybe buy a spell from D Hunter of the Dead or from Corin. Contation? Sure. And I. Mm, Neither of those would be... Actually, that could be good against maybe a demi-human queen. We'll see. Uh, Death through brother arms, what can I do for you? Contations and... This is a good one. This is a good one. Holy damage. It will take a bit for us to be able to use it. Once we can, this will be really, really good for just destroying undead enemies. We'll see. I hmm. Order's Blade could be nice, but for now I think I'll just close out here and yeah. Did a bunch of number of things, but can it hide Wimbrave Air? Sorceress, you're up, but I guess these are the teachers are marked differently. It would make sense. Certain important locations are marked differently. Presumably, well, I, what if I zoom in a little? Oh, and they're getting marked together because she's tied to the location. Interesting. IMS Barbe, Church of LA, Merchant Cafe. It's marking to show that they're together and another nomadic merchant. Actually, I, how much do I have right now? I, another nomadic merchant right over here who wanted to buy some things from, so I may as well go do that. And then, yeah, that'll be it for today. Tomorrow, I guess. A bit more of Wimgrave. Maybe a bit. Let's clear out everything through here. I did go through most of the Mistwood, but not everything. Most of this, but not everything. And then maybe... Maybe Stormhill before Weeping Peninsula? Not exactly sure of. Sort of best order. Well, I think I'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. Either way, we have Merchant off in opposite direction over through here. Over, no, no, and over that way, that way. Good old Caleb. Good old Caleb. Hmm. Hello there, hi. Do that, walk over the fire. Buy something, will ya? Purchase and... Well, you're not the one with anything of note, it was... The other guy over here who is painfully far away from anything I can pick up. I... Still, I... Want to go buy that guy's stuff because I know that the cookbook and the cracked pot he has, I should have just enough to actually use the thing now. And you are... Dog, 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 dog. Okay, cool. Thanks. And we can just stay out of the way of these annoying rot dogs. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Interesting. I think it's it would be amusing to delay fighting Margit as long as possible, so... I think that's what I'll do. Just... That said, Reduvi itself is already going to be really good, especially since we already do have the Shackle. But we'll see. I... <laughs> We'll see about it. 
Golden rune, golden rune. <laughs> then and then. For this one I pass the dragon, which should be somewhere around that way. This is the cathedral dragon communion is over there. That dragon is exceptionally weak to fire, but still pretty annoying. Hi. Sure. That's oh, cracked pot needs more, so I should oh, okay. It's a lot more expensive than I expected. Gore's cookbook, but actually I think should be another grace around here that I could at least activate. You buy his cracked pot. Yep, there is a grace right over here. Let's activate this. This is only a gate front, I think. Alright. Use that. Yep, this is... No, Southern Aonia Swamp Bank. And we can get another flask use real quick. There we go. Cool. There's some tears, and we got that going. Good. I guess we may as well buy the pot, but again, it's not like we use the cracked pots for much. And this is... What material? And... Oh, faded early flower. That's what it was. There we go, and... Marionette with... Ooh, funky. Alright, alright. Mmm, you're funky. I don't like that. And you don't have any kind of blood, so I can't inflict blood loss on you, but... Hmm. Still actually hit, but... Drop more runes because you are gold in the eyes, so die. Oh, that was quite nice too. Well, I. Now that we have a grace over here, I think I'm just going to. Yeah, interact with that guy by his cracked bot and leave. But remember that he's got stuff that I want. Okay, cool. Just go over and talk to you. Hello. Fire cracked pot, and we have five ants. But wait, oh, are there actually 20 cracked pots maximum? Okay, yeah, it's tw I think it's 20 cracked pots, then 10 ritual pots maximum. Redman Castle, you actually saw me do everything over here before, but and this desert over here is mostly empty, actually. There are occasional items you can pick up, that's just Radon's arena. I, honestly, I kind of feel like just going on to take on Morga Margit right now. It's wouldn't take all that much. It'd be a good way to close things off, and then we can just explore, explore more Stormhill tomorrow. The big thing is that with Margit dead, we would get our first extra talisman slot, which would be very, very nice. Very, very nice. Another seed, which I don't believe we can use yet. Golden seed, but we need another... I think at this point we need two seeds to actually get more in. Oh, winds. Uh-oh. It's for Derica. We'll be over here. Come back and talk later. Yeah, we still can't. We need one more seed now. Oh, but actually, I think, I think this is a seed. So, no, it's just a stone sword key. It's all windy. Let's go through and take on Margit real quick. Just for fun. It would help. Do know his moveset well enough that it really shouldn't be trouble, but we'll see. Thanks, and just, oh my goodness, okay. Don't disappear on me. And we're gonna drop wild strikes. Fun. So while the bend told to continue swing, followed up with a normal or strong attack. Heavy affinity too. Stout away on the side so we don't get hit by the fire ballista. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then we have to get off our horse. If we had dismounted while moving, I think it would have been a bit faster. But yeah, let's just fight this guy. It, that other talisman slot is too important to delay this long. Nice, nice, nice. This is really, really useful on him. And Castleward Tunnel. And cool. Summon Sorcerer's Year. I don't feel like it. I really do not feel like it. Cool. Alright. 
And around here, you're able to see something funny, which is... A random soldier is going to basically forcibly possess the image of Morgoth. I mean, Margot. He's just appearing. It's a projection, an illusion. This is the best character in the game, by the way. Hmm. Describing ambition as a flame is interesting because of how fire is anathema to the early tree. Describes ambition as a flame because it's rampaging and destructive to the order. Okay, cool. Let's do this. It's decently weak to bleed, so I dodge and dodge. And, okay. Want to, ooh, all right. Good thing is we don't have that much of the way. Thanks. And do, ooh, all right. Yeah, he, he does. And good stuff. Yeah. Big stick person, huh? Yeah, just... Ooh, all right. And cool. Finding him this weight on is a bit easier, so. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, alright. Okay, I definitely overestimated myself. The big thing is that Reduvia Blood Blade is decent on him because he's weak to slash, but probably be better off just using normal attacks on him. Okay. Oh. Huh. Well, his stick holds a secret, actually, you'll see. It's a cool one, too. Dodge, okay. One, two, three, four. Ooh, all right, and... Dodge, ooh, I, okay. Nice, and, oh, what? Yeah, the disjoint on him is actually kind of ridiculous. I... Not having an actual build definitely hurts this. It's, hemorrhage is definitely how I want to do this, though. The bleed buildup is incredible. So, just... Mm, nice. Dodge. Go for a jump attack or something I can actually punish. And... Dodge. One. Okay, alright, and... Okay. Fine. That's one way to do it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Big thing is, is that I don't need... Don't need this many blue flasks anyway. And did he end up getting really big and becoming an omen or something? Or... Okay. Even with both the blade and the projectile would be nice. I rush in it. Dodge, swing, and oh, all right. Dodge, oh, come on. I, okay. Yeah, I... You find him again later in the game, and his attacks are a lot faster. Big thing is that I'm treating him like a boss like Ishin to dodge as soon as you see it, but this is... He's literally basically the, the first real boss. The intro boss. I... Was he looking for... What was he trying to do? One, two, three, four, and dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool, and all right. Thanks, and dodge. Oh, interesting, cool. Just dodge, dodge. Okay, one, two, three, and okay, cool. And swing down. One, two, three, and dodge. Okay, all right. Done. Dodge, 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 and dodge. Oh, come on. I need to roll towards him when that happens. Okay. The big thing is that... The bleed procs... I probably actually want to save the bleed procs for phase two as much as possible. When he becomes more threatening. Maybe. It's an idea. 
Go I. Mm, dodge. Here's a jump attack. One, two, three, four, and. Okay, cool. Just blood. And alright. One, two, three, four, and. Ooh, alright. Thanks. Alright, cool. And roll in. One, two, and. Dodge! 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 Okay, cool. Crimson Flask, and just. Thanks, alright. Cool. Mm, I, oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Okay. Fun rolling it. Okay, cool. Go and. Dodge! Oh, what? Really? Okay. That was obnoxious. I, okay. Dodge! 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 And what in the. Okay. Dodge! Uh huh. Need Cerulean Tears. It's. He doesn't have anything. It's. He's conjuring weapons. That's what he's doing. That's why he can do what he does. And. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. We need more healing. And. Well, I. That. That phrase has no meaning. That phrase is completely devoid of meaning now. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay, cool. Let's use this then, and can I... Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And, uh, all right. Thanks. Uh, dodge! Okay, cool. Die, 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 and... All right, cool. Pop this foot. Nice. If it's meaningless, don't say it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Good amount of... Runes. Thank you. Sorry for being harsh. Do you get a talisman pouch? Equip pat. Equip slots. Small weather bag knit by hand. Ruling war. Those attempting to come war by the elderly finger reader. Talisman equip slots. Since two fingers, figure readers settle with lives eternal. Even one is even supposed to have served as a wet nurse to royalty. So then, this is good. This is good. It's HP, stamina, and equip load. Only a little, but we'll get stronger versions of that eventually. I what's this rest over here? And honestly, I'm gonna keep uh, buy more stuff from that merchant. Sure. This is Margaret the Fell Omen, and the Stormbell Ray should be right behind that, more or less, so. Let's just go buy his cookbook and his stone sword key or something. Content ourselves with that. Got a little stronger to boot, so that's nice. I'll do that, and that will actually be it for today. Got a decent amount done. I guess. At least if you... We did get Gold Scarab, and that is incredibly useful. Incredibly useful. Hi. Cool. Let's buy... Matic Warrior's Cookbook, and... Stone Sword Key. Cool. This gives you rot stuff. Okay. Nomad Warriors. Yeah, yeah. Good amount of those. Just trying to get as many as we can. We're going to open things up whenever we find them. So we'll just actually buy up the rest of the spells so we can level up it after that. Mutations and get Order's Blade. Those who have lived in death, felt cannot be revived, stand that devout reason, all for the perfection of the Golden Order. Holy damage, to nearby foes, same kind of thing, basically. Okay, cool. Let's learn a couple more incantations, and we get Darkness, straight from Guidance, Darkness that is without grace. That's up before you, and Magic Fortification, and there we go, cool. And no levels right now, but not all the spells that are available to us at the moment, so we're chilling. There are hmm, other stuff up north, and they're in Storm Hill, but we can get done with that eventually. Storm Hill over here will be tomorrow, I presume. Maybe some other stuff up top around here, maybe around a Mistwood. Hmm. But definitely down here at the lake in Weeping Peninsula. Just the amount I had to do to deal with. 
Tell my waste on the stupid grafted sods, and frankly, that tree spirit as well is trouble. So the minor herb tree. That's fun too. Got a bit of kale, though the only thing we really explored was in this cave, and we all we did was kill the boss. I ignored most of the enemies, so. Now I'll come back tomorrow and continue fighting things. We've done pretty well so far, given that. Well, it's just. I would have liked to level up a bit more, but I've been using my levels to buy spells. Which, in the long run, is probably a decent idea, but still. And then, and then, and then. Hmm. Yeah, but I am decently close to being able to actually use Bloodhound's Fang, which is this curved greatsword, which is a very, very strong item. But I guess I'll be back. See you around, Sanaragon.